Jamming with the hottest disc jockey. Disc jockey. DJ Dork Genius. Please send your records to that dorky review show at gmail.com or get ready to die. Ha 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 ha. Accepted by the way. Need more than pennies for your wishing well 
apologize is accepted. Read everything on a one day scale. Say some shit to try to egg me on I don't take you serious, nigga, cause you got leggings on Now you're watching me drag a nigga like RuPaul Your only claim to fame is looking like Lil Duval And where the fuck is your friends at? Get you a dentist You got Mr. Egg Gums, nigga, who you kidding? You was in your feelings on them comments a while back Sorry, deuce, but a bitch, the only thing we call that This dude is fucking weird, you need to cut your struggle beard Pants tighter than your fucking girlfriend, you fucking queer We won't talk about your songs cause they all whack I hear this from everybody, nigga this is all facts Get your guns Get your knives Get your team Get your boys Nigga like Keenan and Kale You need all that You said I was the GOAT Don't make me pull up the Carfax Must be a size 8 and fitted You just large cap How you dripping with some Walmart shirts I'm 16th Street Baptist Finna bomb y'all church They got me woke Now I'm back to alarm y'all first The newspaper already told me They all got murk Church Do we got a problem here I'm riding like I'm Paul Revere Rapping on a golly tear Had to get this nigga out of here This nigga gay Somebody get this nigga back the bitches what? sucking on Kenny Wayne balls cause you sacrilegious. You asked for this, now you ain't gonna be rapping after this. God to these rappers, these niggas calling me Lazarus. You better clap back, nigga, don't let your fifth jam. You balling, I'ma turn you to a ghost like this. Six man, six man, six man, six man. Excuse me six if man. I'm gay. Almost ready. Friends, send me back six on. One minute. I gave him love, but I ain't get it back from him. <laughs> like he's snapping, right? Today. That's the real I ain't here to stagnate, I ain't here to play games. I'm here to get it straight to put respect on my name. I'm here to put that work in picture perfect with the flame. The flame is good material, J Rizzy contains until I choose to let the world view my everyday pain. But with pain, you live and learn to stay on top of your game. And I ain't here to talk about the haters, stay in your lane. Even though they motivate Jay in the room to complain Truth be told, the open lanes, they won't admit what a shame But you know my style, and keep a smile as humble remains I can't let them see me sweat, why Jason chase death And compose concepts based on the nonsense Hell no, I stick with my day ones like Velcro Cause streets filled with too many characters, Chappelle show My view is different than most, so I'd rather get ghosts Than subject myself to other than growth and love you are jamming with the hottest disc jockey. Disc jockey. <laughs> DJ Torque Genius. Please send your records to that jockey review show at gmail.com or get ready to die. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Autobots, share the stream. Let's go! Yeah, you know what it is, man. Welcome back. Uh, another day, another freaking dorky. Pretty much, uh, if you are here for the first time, I'm a live music reaction and review show. So, of course, welcome to that dorky review show. I'm your host, Nonsense, a.k.a. Dork. Nonsense, a.k.a. Dork Genius, a.k.a. Chris Nonsense, a.k.a. Your mama's favorite dork, a.k.a. Your dork for hire, a.k.a. Game Dork of Game Dork Plays, a.k.a. Dorkies for Now, pretty much, I rap, I produce, uh, I mix, and master 
I offer such services on the show that you can, of course, win on the uh, giveaways that we tend to do at the end of each stream. If we happen to get uh, there via the amount that people send if they are skipping the line throughout the show. So in order to get played on tonight's show, all you got to do is send your records to my email. It's that dorky review show at gmail.com for those of you on TikTok. Uh, you guys can uh, get any of the information from my bio and, and description and stuff like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Again, it's 100% free to submit to tonight's show. You can also, um, you know, so I got to get that, the other freaking site back up. Uh, but it's free to submit, but you can also skip the line if you want to get played quicker or get more than one of your records played in a back to back Yo, fashion. Sir, my this song's going to burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your it eyes. Cold, man, man, man will talk to an actual bird like I'm going to chew through this beat like a termite. Like him, Don't make me put you or actual Best. worms lie. Don't like my old shit, I'm thinking you were high Like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye view when I'm cool, better act like you surprised Head to McDonald's, I'm about to still feel fried Of course, jeez man uh, if we do happen to reach at least 100 by the end of the show, that's, of course, uh, how we end up doing the giveaways and stuff like that. So for those who want to try to win free beats, free mixes and masters, free uh, interviews on the show, free merch, free, you know what I'm saying? Free, free, free. I think I've taken too you many drugs and I'm in another universe and I was trying to get buzzed in a studio that's and do up. a verse, but now I'm seeing an image of Coolio on Jupiter. If I was in the hospital, I probably want to do hey. the nurse. Out of all eight these movies I'm watching Ferris Bueller first I'll walk right up to a bully and be like homie do your words if you don't got any gas a freaking razor scooter works this one ain't for the kitty so super Steve you can curse I'm spaced out and I probably that one's gonna take a little bit to freaking come on for a freaking second we got another one that freaking was gonna show the thing but let me just freaking go here uh and again let me I freaking really see. No, no, you can't do that freaking now. You take forever. Other freaking cutaway. Now, for those who do not know, we are. I really want to oh grow God. up because I, I don't want to. No, no. I really want to no. grow up because I don't want to. Because I had to press the button like a. I really want to oh grow God. up because I don't want to. How many times did I press? I really want to grow up because I don't want to. Stop, stop, You know what? I should just let it freaking. If it does it one more time, I'm just going to let it freaking play. You know what? Because I, I, I was hitting it and then. I guess the 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 thing had freaking froze while it was freaking going on, so it was just like, yeah, I'm not registering that right now. Anyways, 100 what? So basically, as people, again, it's free to submit. All artists freaking send through my email. We're streaming live on all platforms right now from TikTok, YouTube, BandLab, uh, Facebook, Twitch, uh, yeah, Twitter, you know what I'm saying? You got it, we got it, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're live from our platforms. All artists freaking send. The line does tend to get freaking long throughout the freaking show and stuff like that. You must be patient if you intend to get played on the, in the free line and stuff like that. But if you intend to get played, you know, like one more than one of your song played back to back or again, just played quicker, uh, you guys can always pay to skip the line via Cash App, PayPal, or Super Chat on the YouTube side stuff like that um you know what i'm saying but it's free to submit to the show now again when people are paying to skip the line i always keep track of the amount and stuff like that would we'll, we'll usually do this right so let me let you guys see the view that everybody else freaking sees right for, for like youtube and everybody else they see that anytime i hit one of the because you guys didn't get to see that essentially right that lets you know skip the line uh, uh prizes and such at at least freaking 100. The, the cutaways that I had hit that you guys did not see. Essentially, I'm the only I gonna... think I've taken too many drugs and I'm in another that? universe and I was trying to get buzzed in a studio and do a verse, but now I'm seeing an image of Coolio on Jupiter. If I was in the hospital, I probably want to do the nurse. Out of all 80s movies, I'm watching Ferris Bueller first. I'll walk right up to a bully and be like, homie, do your worst. If you don't got any gas, a freaking hey, razor That other one was trying to freaking, uh, you know what I'm saying, pop up the skip information. Uh, I don't have to hit the, uh, well, no, you know what? Let's freaking do that. Yo, nonsense and Sir Mike, this song's gonna burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your eyes. Birdman will talk to an actual bird like, I'm gonna chew through this beat like a termite. Don't make me put you or actual worms lie. Don't like my old shit, I'm thinking you were high. Like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye view when I'm cool, better act like you surprised. Head to McDonald's, I'm about to steal your fries. You know what I'm saying? Um... 
But what was I gonna freaking say? First of all, honored by that odd future freaking comment or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? That was, that is something that I wouldn't have mind minded at a, a, a certain freaking time or so at that. Like, you know, shout out to Odd, Odd Future, you know what I'm saying? Earl, freaking Tyler, you know what I'm saying? Domo Genesis and so like that. I definitely still would love to make a record with, you know what I'm saying? Freaking those three, if not the whole, you know what I'm saying? Gang and shit like that. That would be, that would be uh, freaking dope. Um, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to everybody in the freaking building right now. AD, freaking bars was freaking good. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is. Shout out to everybody on the freaking TikTok side. side was freaking good. Limbo, I freaking see you. Uh, who is freaking Jux? Welcome freaking back. You know what I'm saying? On time to freaking see. Code Red, of course. Always good to freaking see you. Rob him was freaking good. Thank you for freaking sending. Uh, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? FTO. Uh, uh, Dak, you know what I'm saying? What's good? Share it up. Hit that freaking like button. PF was freaking good. Miranda was freaking popping. Tapper. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure that the band lab side working properly. Share it up. Hit that I freaking like it. button. P Had to mute it. Had to mute it. Uh, the Wraith, Maurice, and you know what I'm saying? Mateo. Uh, make sure that you guys send to my email. Again, uh, do not post. For you guys, I know a lot of people tend to pop up post in the freaking chat or whatnot. I don't mind you doing that when your song is playing or if you do send a skip and you're trying to freaking get the, the specific link played or something like that. But when you submit your song, it must come to my email and until your song plays, if you're in that free line, don't post your thing in the chat. It confuses the, 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 the chat, you know what I'm saying? And it just looks like spam anyways. You literally turn people off if they like a record, click on the freaking link and it's not the record that they're freaking hearing and shit like that, right? Um, so I will just be, uh, kind of remind you guys about the sort of, you know, review show etiquette and stuff like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and head right into Freeline. I appreciate y'all freaking patience as we run freaking through. And of course, happy Queen's Day. No, it's Thursday. What the freak, man? Happy Thursday. I was, listen, I was in the past for just for, for a few freaking seconds there. All right, we got Miss Chief. Miss Chief in the freaking cusp. Let's see what's up. So, yo, can you play Ransom and stuff like that? So, again, there's a line. There is a line. Everybody must send to my freaking email in order to get in that line. Uh, and, again, if you want to be played immediately, you can skip the line. Other than that, try to wait uh, uh, patiently and stuff like that. I do not uh, announce the lineup and stuff like that just because skips do tend to come through the freaking show. Throughout, it changes the actual freaking lineup. So if I did something like say there were three people ahead of you, if one person comes and sends a six song back to back skip, you know, that sort of uh, 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 pushes you, you know what I'm saying, freaking back and creates a situation where it's just harder to freaking count. Keep, it, keep track of all those freaking numbers plus the free line and everybody and all that. So you already know what it is, man. Let me go ahead and uh, save this freaking record. Where is the, uh, this, okay, there we go. Trying to make sure where the actual folder was and there we go. All right, you said, I am the shit I do believe. I don't know if that's a statement or the name of the song. We'll find out. Rate this song in the chat, one to 10, any and all feedback is welcome. Hit hashtag run it back if you love a record enough to want to hear it immediately again. Hashtag dorky don't play that if you never want to hear a record again.
Listen, man. Uh, you know what? Like, the, there's one thing though, right? Essentially, uh, shout out to Miss Typicals or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Um, often the 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 review or reaction that I often freaking give, you know, is you know mainly freaking towards the the performance, right? Because sometimes it's a little bit, you know, a lot of artists today. I know you guys freaking freestyle or whatnot. You know, often make the records that you make feel a little bit like disjointed, right? Like it's not, you know, that well put together. It's not an actual song, you know, so to speak. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times it's a little bit of the mix. That's also, you know what I'm saying, something that I'm freaking hearing within here. I will say that in terms of all the songs that I've heard from you, it is a little bit freaking better. But she, she is an artist who sometimes sings, sometimes raps. She often raps on or or chooses the the more trap centric production and beats and stuff like that, right? Um, but I always feel like, man, like you have this voice that if you tap in to you know the the actual vocals and the production is more like big band kind of style, like she'd probably be right right on point with sort of like what her voice is more made for. Outside of that, like you have to. You have to have, I think, a little bit more uh, personality, a little bit more freaking structure. Um, it was better than some of the other stuff that I have heard from you, but it still needed work. I should never be like, <laughs> like mentally confused about what's happening. There were some things I couldn't really understand what, that you were saying, but you know, like, like just, just keep freaking trying. I never want any artist to freaking give up. I always want you guys to, you know, go back, go back to the freaking lab. And it's always going to be about finding the right production. I do want to know what everybody else in the building freaking thinks though, and stuff like that. If you guys were sort of in that same realm of, of, of like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Or what did you feel that? Like? Yeah, he said, don't get on play that. You know what I'm saying? No more. But now he was Jex was freaking saying, Limbo was just freaking laughing. All uh, right, you know what I'm saying? Diesel Water in the building, man. You all know what it is. AD Rocky, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what up? He said, make it stop. Uh, Dorky don't play that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dorky don't play that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to freaking uh, Tino Sleep Jesus Nation. Dork Squad. Dork Squad. All of the above. And once again, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Ben Lab side. Let me always go over there to sensually refresh and stuff like that. Look, we're gonna go ahead and jump right back into the free line. Just like freaking that or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Now again, uh, I did cut that record freaking short. That was essentially a dorky don't play that. Again, if you're listening to a record and anytime you are Again, we know when there's a record and a genre and the artist is actually good, but it's just not a genre that we would like listen to or whatnot. Like that's different. Don't dorky don't play that for that shit. But like if there's a record where you're just like, what is the artist doing right now? How do they not hear what they're doing and hear that it's not that, you know, uh, uh, appealing to the human ear? At the end of the day, the best advice I could give you is think about what other people are going to hear and if it's good enough for us to go and, you know, sing along with you, uh, uh, you know, and you have to picture everybody, Mariah Carey, freaking Jay-Z, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Rihanna, you have to picture them kind of like doing a cover of your song or a karaoke version and like what that would sound like, what that would feel like uh, for a lot of freaking people. Is it dope enough to make people feel cool about, uh, about putting any song you make as they're like the background to their TikTok that they're gonna do, whether it's just a, a simple dance or like them pointing at some fucking cereal or some shit like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and go back in the building, man. All right, let's see who we got next, man. Rad, T-H-E, Emo, Young Gully. We'll put you in right freaking now. And I'll just make sure that we also don't have a skip in just a little bit and stuff like that from anybody and stuff like that. We are in the free line right now, though. We are in the free line. Your mind is not my dick. All right, Galactic Vibes Worldwide. Uh, Emo and Young Gully or whatnot. This is a music video. So, once again, if you guys do uh, have YouTube or uh, uh, Twitch, you know what I'm saying, BandLab, whatever, whatever y'all freaking got, we are streaming live on those platforms as well. Anytime we play a video, we do have a sort of like better view for uh, the videos and stuff like that. So if you want to tap into any of the freaking other chats and uh, see the video, uh, you know, outside of right behind me on that, you know, screen, uh, you can uh, open up a separate device and 
freaking head there. Hold on, I'm trying to write the actual name of the song. And I'll also post the link in the chat in case y'all rock with it. Let me also remember to uh, post the names of the songs on the TikTok side. If you, when you guys are being played also, and if you're on the TikTok side, make sure that you guys put the name of y'all, y'all songs in the chat too. I can pin it for at least like a minute. Ah, oh, shit, I'm a rapper, y'all. No, y'all already knew that. Uh, all right, there we freaking go. Now I just need the link and face palm, face palm, face palm. Yo, check non change with the face palm. Vince Vaughn's been in space lost with his face gone. Still a race cause and a faint yawn. It's a space ball. Stay chill or remain calm. Yeah. Take pills every day. Nah, I don't take pills. I just smoke. Yeah, yeah. Worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. Everybody rock with us one time, one time. Yeah. Galactic vibes in the place. Rocking out with Young Gully and Emo. Let's do this, y'all. Check it out. I'ma tell you how it really go Nobody handed me nothing so I'ma spill a flow For real and yo I be filling my every syllable Worldwide pushing this music up on the pedestal I'm finna blow on a level that's so incredible Messages for people the president not gon' let me know So every show it's impeccable while I'm wrecking flows Trying to catch a glimpse of reality out the spectacle With what way I'm Mexico heading my way to Uruguay Put some sour cushion in the paper and let it circulate I'm on the earth today herbalist with the purple strain Pushing medication to elevate out of current state so I can teach them the future How they can make a difference Do it for my beautiful daughter In love with great persistence A sacred mission To slay the vision of opposition Trying to show the people That Babylon has a fatal vision Worldwide to Europeans and Filipinos Africans, Latinos I never let hatred come between us I'm pushing peace to my people Way out in Syria Palestine and Italy England until Liberia Worldwide Canadians and Americans Asians and Australians Pushing the love of radiance Worldwide from India out to Pakistan I'ma spit it till I get it, pushing it worldwide on a musical mission, using my third eye, too many lies, they got us caught up in the image, trying to be something we not, worry about what you got, when somebody somewhere don't have a damn thing, nothing better to do, so we just gang bang, instead of using that energy to kill off my enemies, I hit the studio and let you know what I'm finna be, a man counting money and taking over the land, wanna do something about it, you gotta come with a plan, cause they don't understand unless you show them what you mean, and then they come around. On the vision, way before they locked up my homeboys in prison. We could have been rich now for putting these hits down. Now I'm all alone representing this base style. We will ride to Europeans and Filipinos, Africans, Latinos. I never let hatred come between us. I'm pushing peace to my people way out in Syria, Palestine, and Italy, England, until Liberia. Worldwide, Canadians and Americans, yeah. Asians and Australians, pushing the love of radiance. Right. Worldwide, from India to Pakistan, yeah. show the people peace, and I promise they see the master plan. From the poverty profit, I get it logically. Just live until I shine what I want my mama to promise me. See it like a prophecy, dodging all the hypocrisy. I'm searching for democracy, running from mediocrity. Misery adopted me, passion is trust concocted me. I'm clever, that's the fox in me. Focus on stacking broccoli. Like Salute to my Sicilians, my Russians, Jews, and my Indians. Ah. Africans, Brazilians, my Japanese, and Dominicans. Ah. Yeah, I'm reaching out to my people. Let's go and build a plan. They love it when I'm spilling, like when you gon' keep it real again. My goal is leading a multicultural million man. Constantly, I fought through them battles on me. Still I stand from here to Pakistan, Oakland out to Afghanistan. I'm working for equality, pushing like I ain't have a hand. But I, I got the real the support, they not your average fans. All we gotta do is keep climbing, then we can have the land worldwide. Worldwide to Europeans and Filipinos, Africans, Latinos. I never let hatred come between us. I'm pushing peace to my people. We need to go first, man. Palestine and Italy, England and Liberia. Worldwide, Canadians and Americans, Asians and Australians, pushing the love of radiance. What up, Lisa? Oh, come on. Master plan. You gotta perfect that last part right there. Come here, you wanna... check this out, man. Let's hear that though. Come over here and listen to the, the song we just heard right now all over again, bro. Come on. Come over here. Give me the I, we, I just performed the whole song. I don't need to hear. I just performed. Uh, so, big salute. First of all, Positive vibes, 100%, you know what I'm saying? I agree with that. Uh, you know, I think there's no, there's never, there, there can never be a shortage of 
you know, songs that can uplift and, you know, just just kind of make people feel feel seen and 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 appreciated and stuff like that right so you always want to be able to freaking have that at first though i will admit it did you know again we sort of sometimes borderline the the realm of you know i'm saying a little bit corny depending on how we rap to certain freaking beats and the actual production itself right that you know like i like it but i also like was kind of like the production is kind of like almost too positive and and too too up there and so like that but I, is it because i'm not in that kind of mood like i'm always in a happy mood i don't know why it would make me feel any other freaking way um but you know the, the other record you sent the other day kind of had that same sort of feeling of like man i would kind of remake the beat a little bit just to make it more something that I would love to hear several times over, but I didn't uh, uh, mind sort of like what was being, you know what I'm saying, rapped about and, and the actual freaking content and stuff like that. Now, I will say it was the third artist on the record that killed the record for me. That made me feel very different. I was like, okay, listen, if he was to go freaking first, I think I'd feel and I would be talking very different about, you know what I'm saying, the record. It's all, all about how you structure and stuff like that. I know you tend to sometimes go with the save the best for last, you know, kind of um, thought process. But then there's that aspect of what if people don't like the first two verses and they don't even get to the third verse, right? So you end up with that sort of dilemma of like, okay, so how do we structure you know what I'm saying, our freaking thing the best. And you know, look, there's always the ability to sort of like come in there and, you know, figure out a better way to freaking do it. But yeah, for me, I'd do a little bit of something extra to the freaking, uh, you know what I'm saying, production, probably like a different melody or whatnot. But like, again, I ain't, it's not my song at all. Yeah, I mean, but let me see. Yeah, we got your skip uh, coming up, I got you. Uh, very positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate the lightning. <laughs> Uh, AD Rocky with the freaking 7.5, 7.5 also from Smoking the Bear. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And it reminds me of GTA 4. Interesting, interesting, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm curious on, uh, like, were there, so were there songs on the soundtrack that reminded you of it? Or, like, or, or were you thinking the video? Like, what, what were you, give, give me more on that process. Uh, let me see. And you said third dude is the best. See, AD was was feeling a little bit the, the same, the same bad from AD. Uh, Diesel said it was a smooth vibe. You know what I'm saying? Really digging the message and stuff like that. Of course, of course. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Pull up the bandwagon side just to make sure I let y'all know where they're seeing and stuff like that. So can I have a review? You don't ask for it. You send your music through my email. Look, read. So you always check, read the screen, tap the screen as well. If you guys are watching on your phone over there on the band lab side, if you tap the screen, all the information you need will freaking pop up on how to submit your record so that you can get played on the freaking show. Do be aware that we are streaming live on several platforms at once. We're not just on band lab. We have YouTube, we have Twitch, we have TikTok. We have, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, you know what I'm saying? So try to be patient if you're in that free line, but if you want to hurry up and get played, you can send a cash app, PayPal, uh, you know what I'm saying, or super chat on the YouTube sides, and you know what I'm saying, we will get you freaking in. We do have a skip coming up freaking right now. Blue course. pill, red pill, if you take the red pill, you'll no longer be able to be living in your head still. If you take the blue pill, then you so cool still, but no longer be able to see everything that ain't real. Should I take the blue pill or red pill? Should I take the blue pill or red pill? Should I take the blue pill or red pill? Should I take the blue pill or red pill? Alright, uh, you're gonna use your free one real quick. Hold on. I gotta press that now. I'm floating in the air, drifting all alone in the zone, and I don't care. Let me stop. All right, so PF Chuck Ciphers with Socket to Me. Rate this one in the freaking chat, and all feedback is, of course, welcome. At least, proceed. I need a BBW with good cooking all this cake. I think I need a baker roll a 
J and play Anita Baker, keep it player high. Got bit by the love bug, got hurt. Gained from that experience, evolved into a monster. Feeling like I'm Mac Dre, Cool and Dre, Dr. Andre. Three stacks, but it's a paper verse. Ooh, ah, sock it to me, baby, do a good job. If I catch you doing coke, you getting cut off your lift outside. Hit that slut walk, gonna hit that slut walk, huh? Sock it to me, baby, do a good job If I catch you doing good, you getting cut off Your left eye side, hit that slut walk Gonna hit that slut walk Nothing's worse than the curse of one verse So I pack two, walk for the beat And he brought the Big Mac too Like I'm slim thick, but if you got a big back And stretch marks from the kids I dig that I still smack too Breast off, natural, head like a vacuum Froze like a statue, then bust on her tattoo If I was your man, shit, I would Get the blood, Bob and we bring you sock it to me. Ooh, ah, sock it to me, baby. Do a good job. If I catch you doing coke, you get in cut off your lip outside. Hit that slug, AD, you might have hit that slug. That's probably something you would be on too. Ah, sock it to me, baby. Do a good job. If I catch you doing coke, you get in cut off your lip outside. Hit that slug, walk, gonna hit that slug, walk. Shout out. Man, I barely always know when it <laughs> went. This is out of freaking start certain freaking thing. So, shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? Many people who would know and have, you know what I'm saying, seen or heard me do certain reviews before would know when I hear something like that, essentially, right? I usually put it in the, like, if this artist got signed to Rockefeller vibe, right? When you listen to, of course, the production uh, you know what I'm saying? It feels very much like, you know what I'm saying? If, if you know, it, again, in the classic rock days, you know what I'm saying? When, when again, Bleak, Siegel, uh, uh, you know, for I gotta say full names for people who might be, who might not freaking know at this freaking point, right? Beanie Siegel, Memphis Bleak, uh, uh, you know, Emil, Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? Young Gunners, Freeway, you know what I'm saying? When they had that classic Rockefeller team, in addition to, of course, Ye, um you know it, it, it they had a very specific type of production and and share freaking beats that they would you know have you know what i'm saying of course thanks to uh yay and you know no id you know different producers and, and stuff like that uh so you know what i'm saying second half of the uh review was i did produce this uh record for freaking him and stuff like that essentially for me it is uh, me remixing and doing a little bit of a, a remake for, you know, the vocals that he actually had to it. Originally, he had rapped to uh, Missy Elliott's uh, Socket To Me record produced by freaking Timberland. And I was uh, telling him, like, look, you know, these records are all right, but kind of a risk not only to send to the freaking show because it's, you know, on an industry kind of beat, something that people freaking know has been out there for freaking years and stuff like that. Um, and in, and I wanted to create a way where he could still release the song, but, um, you know, actually, uh, you know, monetize it, you know what I'm saying? Put it on Spotify, put it on all platforms and not have to worry about, you know, the, uh, you know what I'm saying? It just immediately being taken down and shit like that. So essentially for those who do not know, man, if you are, if you have records like that, where you are rapping to like Amigos beat or or, you know, some Nicki Minaj shit or something like that. You do want to be able to release your record, you know what I'm saying? Definitely get with me, you know what I'm saying? Give me your acapellas and, and stuff like that. I will remake and make a brand new beat, something completely different. And or if I have to sample the 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 song that you are, you know, sort of like remaking to make it more one-to-one -one, uh, yet different, you know what I'm saying? I can also freaking do that. But this one right here, for me, it made the song a lot better, right? Because often when the artist raps to a beat that we already know, we tend to compare it to the original. And if it's too different, you know, there's a little bit of a, of a like, ah, oh, you didn't do, uh, 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 you didn't do enough to sort of pay homage. If it's too much the same, you didn't, you didn't do uh, enough originality and you know what I'm saying? Different stuff like that. But yeah, dope, dope shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, big salute. It's also now on Spotify too. So I can put that in the, 
building. If you rock with it, you know what I'm saying? Show us support. You're not. Don't! Don't do it! Sit, stay away! You stay away! Also, a AD, man, that is, and it did feel like it was something right up your alley just a little bit. So, at that 7.5, of course, from Smoker the Bear, you know what I'm saying? Let it be from freaking AD right there. Not my fave, you know what I'm saying? to listen, though. Um. And let me see, where was the, you know what I'm saying, yes, you know what I'm saying, he said I want to buy one after uh, it's written, but you know what I'm saying, make them around my style and stuff like that, that's exactly what, I mean, and that and that's a, that's what I freaking do it for, right, because I always feel like, man, like the, the mixtape joints for you guys, like it's cool, it's, it's cool for the exposure aspect, and you know, uh, uh, but again, you end up in this sort of comparison state with those, I do love to sort of, again, give you something a little bit freaking different or, uh, uh, you know, take it in a different, actually, let me see if I have, I don't know if I, oh, I do. Okay, here's another, here's, here's another example, right? Real quick, because my homie had tried to do Kanye's flashing lights, right? And it's saying, what, 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 what I tell you, right? He rapped to the original beat. I remade it. Did something different, but I sampled the song. Check out Mr. Checkout Man at the checkout stand. His album cover just two hands full of rubber bands. Just to show his fans his mixtape will make a couple grand. He's even before rap, he still had the hustle, man. Still got a son, so he still got a struggle. And figured out a plan, so he make his money double in. Work a nine to five and sell a little on the side to pay the gas and the... <laughs> his freestyle good, his pin game nice. Banana label willing to able. But with the right pieces, LP and B5 mics But see the boys too hood He crushing a lime light Like water with lime ice yeah, He strikes when the time's right Whatever for the cream Like what you do for a condo But breathing on his bread Might get you struck in the wind Blunt out, you gotta As you recall, you say I always show Freaking that, you know what I'm saying? Just wanted to show y'all, you know, just yet another example, but then more closer to, you know, again, if I'm sampling the actual freaking song, so it's something different. I feel like instead of rapping to the original, just straight up freaking beat, and then doing something like that, it'll put the records on a better kill because people are talking about both the beat and the artist and then starting to ask like, yo, where can I get that version of the, you know what I'm saying, beat type of shit, right? So yeah, big freaking salute. Let's go ahead and get right back in the lineup. Let me just make sure again, we don't have a skip in the line so we can uh, go in the free line. Should be freaking good. You nonsense and Sir Mike, this song's gonna burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your <laughs> eyes. Birdman will talk to an actual bird like, I'm gonna chew through this beat like a termite. Don't make me put you or actual words, words like, like, don't like my old shit, I'm thinking you were high. Like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye view when I'm Cool, better act like you surprised. Head to McDonald's, I'm about to steal your fries. Standing out. All right, all right, all right. Y'all know what it is, man. Right about now, we got. Let's see, you sent Raymond Geller. You guys seem to have different songs. Different accounts. Hey, Hold on. How do you do it, dog? <laughs> this is Bad Habits oh, music video. Raymond Gather and Tyler. I was stuck doing nothing. Now I'm doing Tyler, oh, I'm out of something. And you know I stay bumping. In the beast. This one was sent by Smokey the Bear. On the YouTube side. You know the tight stick. Yeah, I know that tweaker. I've seen him walking with a backpack and a Bluetooth speaker. Hella skinny, you're safe to say you're missing meals. He's up to no good, looking for some shit to steal. Everything I own, stepped inside a depot bag. My clothes, my you're shoes, and all of my I I Got three phones, and all of them are disconnected. Watching porn and Starbucks for free Wi-Fi connection. This meant they no joke. It brings out the worst. Buying dope with food stamps for half of what they worth. Call me Noxzilla, a real meth monster. Hickory smoke, your boy was straight charbroiled. Pipe wipe on my face, call it war paint. I'm pale white, only come out when the sun ain't. 
Today I'm clean and sober. Gotta thank the Lord. It feels good knowing I don't live like that no more. Yeah, boy. <laughs> let me add him. <laughs> get him right. Hey, let me get him. I got him, bro. Let me let me him. Watch this, get sir. Right. Let me <laughs> It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes you wonder how did he keep from going under I never fumble my rhyme, I almost tossed his mind when I lost my mother Now, check it, methamphetamines, dead to me, rest in peace Call me a snitch cause I tell the truth, you're probably praying on someone's damn fault, taking the tooth I say that cause you a fairy, I pray I never go back to chasing my tail like Tom Chase Jerry And it is what it is I hear you binging on my YouTube, still taking food from these kids. You're just another empty fridge. Mothers use the dirty rigs. Thank God for the life I live. Cause I went from negative to positive and it's all good. Are you guys eating in the trash can? To say goodbye to yesterday, this habit is hard to drop. When will it He's not ever touching that stop? Don't let Last though. night I almost died all over getting high. Life flashed before my eyes. Think Ain't that dark night? Today I'm way blessed. When I used to just stay stressed, how can anybody ever wanna live like this? From bag to bag, from hit to hit. Well, I did, and I admit that that was powerless. I to believe in the power greater than me I found clarity and restored my sanity How? Honest, open-minded and willing The worst job I ever had was doing drugs So I'm quitting That's another time when you try to eat some beans That's another time where everyone been at you Oh, your daughter is a nation And you don't even really know you're Jamaican Uh, big big and salute. So essentially, you know what I'm saying, what we get to talk about from time to time uh, is the consistency with the, you know, uh, uh, some of the West Coast, you know, uh, vibes that uh, is often brought to the show. Uh, you know what I'm saying? By, you know what I'm saying, Tyler and uh, 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 more, of course. Um and you know just that type of freaking production you know what i'm saying and and you know mixes with a lot of these records you know what i'm saying you guys will will have it uh pretty much figured on point um of course you know some of the video and and stuff like that you know uh, uh, uh was interesting uh the um uh, I think, I think, uh, what was it, like, he, it was, it was a little crazy at, at some point or whatnot, but, you know, record-wise, like, I feel like if I was just listening to the song, um, uh, uh, you know, it'd be some, some shit, definitely, still the bump, you know what I'm saying, in the freaking trunk or whatnot. Again, there's still consistency in that with all the records that I've heard, you know, in that, uh, lane from these artists specifically, um, you know, I still, I feel like it would be a part of that, uh, album you know project and stuff like that when you say all those sound effects you know what I'm saying you made caught them off guard and shit like that uh of course and what you say he said last guy absolutely crazy last guy is absolutely crazy and said that he is indeed man in the trash can eating donuts you know what i'm saying well technically he did not eat it though he did not eat it um content freaking on point though um you know and like i said i kind of want to hear the record, you know what I'm saying, outside <laughs> outside of the video to just be able to judge that alone. Uh, and Smokey also said that this one was old, by the way, you know what I'm saying? So a little bit of a freaking throwback, yet still kind of she stunk. Um, but now, now that I'm thinking about it, right? Because if this is an old one, like, so did, did they have, cause you know how the more like, I, I believe you sent the more like recent stuff um you know as some of the like the very first kind of like records and things like that that you would or the videos that you would send to the show um and every time you had almost a different genre um and so was there a certain style that sort of like came first and then they branched out and got more versatile or was it like versatile from the freaking jump like you know what i'm saying let's make the you know 
this West Coast gym, you know what I'm saying? Then do this track record over here and then yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? You give me a uh, Zadit. Hold on. Let me move all that. To you. Band Lab, Billy Cash. Welcome freaking back. He said, don't steal my McDonald's fries. You know what I'm saying? I've heard people freaking say that, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I'll forget why they be, why they be saying that. And then I always remember. Oh, nonsense and Sir Mike, this song's gonna burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your eyes. Birdman will talk to an actual bird like. I'm gonna chew through this beat like a termite. Don't make me put you where actual worms lie. Don't like my old shit, I'm thinking you were high. Like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye view when I'm cool, better act like you surprised. Head to McDonald's, I'm about to steal your fries standing out. All right, let's go ahead and get back in. We don't do what level we go, yeah. We don't do it. Okay, so Diesel Water, we got you finally up. Right now, you put in Moving With No Fear. Ladies and gentlemen, as we proceed, give a one to 10 in the building. What do you say? You said, I'm in my car. With the windows down at red lights, and your audio was coming through my speakers and shit like that. Hey, everybody! Is, hey, everyone! If y'all listening right now, the red light. Hey, I see you. Yeah, you in the car next to to listen. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You're on candid radio. We hear and see everything you do. Drive safe, man. You know what I'm saying? We saw you uh, do that. You said, hey, no, come back. Don't drive away. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't come this far just to come this far. Wait, did you also send an M4? Dude? I'm no longer in limbo. Hold on, hold on. Wait, for real? <laughs> That's hilarious, man. So he sent, a, he sent an M4. He, he trying to... He essentially... And this was... The, both of these were free line and shit like that. He, I, I bet that he didn't even know that was going to happen. Tell God to why. I didn't come this far just to come this far. I'm no longer in limbo. It's time to race the floor. I'm no longer on the from... top tier. I'm top floor. I'm no longer on the yard. It's time to go on tour. My higher power doing work, so I'm doing work. My arms extended with pure love. That's heart first. Come and get you a hug, cause I know where you've been. The key is similarities, not the differences. I see you listening. I know you're interested. I see you struggling. I know you feel like giving in. I've been there, and I no longer live there. I found courage and started to walk through my fear. It's like looking in the mirror That's when I talk to you. Man. When we reflect on all the problems that we've gone through, it only takes two. I help me by helping you. Grateful for the life I found when I walked into the room. Wake up in the morning and I pray. That's just how I'm living. Grateful if for another day. Lucky to be here. Working on change and it's making a difference. Walking with God, that's why we move it with no fear. Wake up in the morning and I pray. That's just how I'm living. Grateful for another day. Lucky to be here. Working on change and it's making a difference. Walking with God, that's why we move it with no fear. Check the stilo and match the lingo. I ain't tripping on nothing. Soy amigo, they Dios. He calls the shots, they don't come from a pistol You're bound to take some hits when you run it up the middle Truly blessed, highly favored, grateful that I'm breathing Try not to question why I'm alive and execute the reason I'm about that footwork, run tracks till my feet hurt Live for something different, never that, I'd rather bleed first It's open season when the beat slaps, I need that Ain't talking about no love, fuck your feedback, I mean that I pray that God gives me the strength not to react I came from the streets to bleed that, that's the fact Something shifted inside of my cerebellum How is so much love packed inside of an ex-felon Just an extension of a power greater than myself Hella shit to do, but I ain't shit without his help Wake up in the morning and I pray That's just how I'm living Grateful for another day, lucky to be here Working on change and it's making a difference If I was a freaking zombie, I would eat fears Wake up in the morning and yeah, I pray That's, not even that's just day. how I'm living Grateful for another day, lucky Happy to be here Working on change and it's making a difference Working on change and it's making a difference God, that's why we move it with no fear. Oh, I'm winning no. now, so I have to watch how I move. Cause when I'm winning, my disease really wants me to lose. Somebody prayed for me. I was a hateful dude. Instead of blessing me, I hope my God blesses you. My Thank job you, is to bro. be ready I with an open that. heart. My ties are stronger now than those that would tear me apart. Uh. I was a real piece of work. Now I'm a work of art. It all started when I checked my ego with the door. Not a vibe, but I, I couldn't I catch still a break like until this. I nope. gave myself a break. I, wait for I had no principles. All my values were misplaced. And I like the no directions, humbled by imperfections, found acceptance and paid attention to things neglected. I'm a work in progress, I'm under construction. Nowadays I take suggestions, follow instructions. I'm honest, open-minded, and willing. With every step I take, it leads to a God of my understanding. Wake up in the morning and I'll pray. That's just how I'm living. Grateful for another day, lucky to be here. Working on change and it's making a difference. Walking with God, that's why we move it with no fear. Wake up in the morning and I
pray. That's just how I'm living. Grateful for another day. Love to be here. Working on change and it's making a difference. Talking with God, that's why we move it with no fear. Wake up in the morning and I pray. That's just how I'm living. Grateful for another day. Love to be here. I keep wanting to say happy to be here. Walking with God, that's why we move it with no fear. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, pick it. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies. Full song structure. Okay, so whenever I say full song structure, um, uh, that means it's at least three or three minutes or more. You know what I'm saying? Possibly a two to three verse kind of situation. It feels like a complete freaking song. Something that if people only got to hear one song from you would still feel like enough, you know, uh, energy from you to, you know, solidify whether they rock with you or freaking not, right? Uh, and just from what I was, you know what I'm saying, hearing from that, and this is a record that, you know, has been sent to the freaking show before. For those who do not know, you know, anytime you send songs to the freaking show, there will be people who will love your record so much that they may resend your songs to the show at a later freaking, you know, date to show support. You know what I'm saying? It's their way of sort of requesting your song and um sort of you know getting getting you played on the freaking show ironically though and the mo the, re <laughs> the reason why it's funny is because both the last uh the last uh submitter and this one both essentially sent you know the the same you know what i'm saying freaking artists and and you know they 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 initially got uh you know d double love right now for with two different freaking records or whatnot but mix was pro mix was proper uh quality was was there felt like something i could see a video too out of the two songs i think i probably like this one a little bit better um you know it feels more realer it feels more like you know you are a straight freaking artist um you know and and you need to just go out and continue to perform that shit right now and again the last the last record was a throwback this one was more recent it was more eight months ago um and so you can at least see hey like how much uh smoky how much was the throwback that that you had sent essentially in terms of well, actually i can look at it why am i asking that one was three years ago and so that yeah give or take give a freaking take the the, the other one you want child with this video laughing, man? I'm saying no, man. I'm saying. Let me see what you say. Let Tyler know I am a fan. Uh, Diesel said for sure. Uh, Lisa said nine on that. You know what I'm saying? Not. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's homie and stuff like that. Um, that was uh, you know what I'm saying pretty good. Uh, bro, freaking AD was saying. You know I'm saying I love this track. Great message. Relate a lot for sure. Um, and then AD said I sent a vibe dorky and stuff like that of guys and guys let's hope man okay so essentially what i was also freaking saying is like you like what i one thing i love doing on this show is you know lighting incense as i listen to music it's it's literally something that honestly my mom had Im imparted on to me every time she would clean the freaking house she'd always like light light some incense and put on some like some jill scott some common some uh, uh, uh most dev some freaking erica badu you know some just like different different type of music that you know that honestly fit well with you know just the act of really burning an incense and stuff like that and i've always been akin to you know doing the same myself you know what i'm saying because of freaking her so every time i hear a vibe on the show i tend to like look for incense you know light it up and stuff like that a little bit of a ritual um you know and again for those who don't know like what a vibe again i kind of explained at least some of the freaking artists um but uh you know it could be anything that that sounds very like lo-fi uh uh maybe a, a something very freaking jazzy soulful neo soul kind of you know what I'm saying situation usually you'll know we're, we're in one of those if i hit this my time destined to shine the essence of love when i'm writing these rhymes to show you that lyrics is fine when they be coming from i high one of a kind, never go blind. Give me your time, drop of a dime, cleansing your mind. Why would I sign? Please, this is the sign. No I said it for me, I was using like a bitch. Jeez, please, please. Though it might feel I'm insane, bring on my queen. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of a vibe or something like that. And you said all those songs I listen to. Exa exactly, right? Um, And it's just something freaking, it's just something 
relaxing about it. So I am hoping and shit like that. You are actually free in the, in the uh, you are next in the free line. So we are gonna, uh, you know, load it up as we freaking should. Let's go. Let's go. Snaps on the petrol. Uh, let's see what we got next. You know, my favorite type of weed was uh. Let's see what you got. Cocaine. You'd see me snorting a bowl of weed. You know, get that little that Thanksgiving for your snout, Daddy. I'm talking about cocaine. I had some good cocaine one time over there in Tucson, Arizona. Hell, I put two grams in my car. It was out of gas, and that bitch ran for a half an hour. The headlights wouldn't work, but hey. I'm like other women and smelling like the shit. She lets me get her a slit. Then she get in me lit. Spider Man, that's his bitch. Oh, I'm better fried. She's up in me sleep at night. And she fed your guy. Her family is the same. Don't say better, guys. That's who the hell you need when one's getting high. Fuck this girl, said my guy. I think I got us cancer. Smell the check, alright. She said, oh no, my guy. Mary Jeans and Joe's kind got those scared and frightened. And have you ever been in love before? I know, I know, I've been in love before. Have you been in love before? Yeah, you know I like to smoke and smoke. You can always get me rolling with some crispy blow. Yeah. Have you ever been in love before? I can count it. to come around and take away my nerves don't you i love the way you make me laugh you make me swerve on you in the whip you let me get what i deserve from you it's like you floating in the air you make it work don't you you make oh. me take a breath and show me where it hurts don't you now, baby i got all this fire to disperse on you then i'ma hit the kitchen and get some desserts for you okay it really be for me but you okay with that though got me up a couple pounds but you get lighter than smoke finna plant my roots and nurture you we do it to grow find a way to make me higher when i'm feeling the lows i got you even when i'm going on broke mary mary will you marry me can we be betrothed i want to see you wrap this side and spark a lighter and slow and hell the rest and blow the stress away you making me whole whoa whoa and have you ever been in love before i, I know i know i've been in love Always catch me in the background. A lot of freaking people don't even know how to act around freaking a cool chick. And matter of fact, you don't even really know if like you're gonna get hit with a toothpick. But like you could freaking sit around and talk shit for uh let me go ahead and uh hit the clap button right here and then go back over here. Now I'll say oh man, I forgot to change the name and shit while I was in that. A little bit of a cheat code, technically, and so like that, when it's just, like, the straight-up, you know, sample for the most part and shit like that. And, you like, you P. Diddy the the song, you know, as we usually freaking call it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, as if you remember, if you remember, you know, most of the classic records from Bad Boy, um, back in the day, it was usually a sampled record. And P. Diddy wasn't the, like, alchemist or rizza of you know certain things so he'd like 
he just straight up maybe throw drums over the you know the the most recognizable parts of the samples of the songs that we know and then make a you know kind of like rap over it uh and and you know make those freaking things and you know we, we still like the songs and shit like that but there wasn't anything sort of like different happening with the you know production it was kanye it was freaking um again alchemist freaking uh, uh jay dilla freaking um uh ninth wonder uh justice league you know what i'm saying it, it was it was these freaking producers uh and, you know there's still there's still more I'm, I'm sure i've i you know i can i'm not gonna go through every single one but you guys know what i'm freaking talking about essentially that will always you know impress a little bit more production wise but you know again familiar vibes are freaking there i could say like if you also got like a chicano kind of rapper on this too i think it would throw a whole different extra flavor on top of what you already have that will uh you know i think garner a another form of support of course that's up to you if you want to you know send throw something else i know you already said you are you're pretty much done uh you know done with with this one or whatnot uh writing you know what i'm saying everything was on point uh you know what i'm saying recording is freaking cool one thing that i like about ad uh is often he has you know this this consistency with like the the trying to make sure that he's, he's doing the the wordplay freaking throughout like keeping a rhyme scheme kind of freaking going uh with you know the rhyme patterns and stuff like that and you know it's it's something that depending on how simple or complicated you do it is going to be more or less you know impressive but that's what's up you said doesn't got a uh wow factor to it and stuff like that yeah didn't didn't, didn't, didn't do nothing impressive uh to make you like basically what i'm saying in terms of like the, the production right like it, just to piggyback off of freaking that what is the thing that's gonna make us immediately want to find that beat and then us make a song to it outside of again like if we we uh, it does feel like something that any of us could have done just like production wise but still freaking dope uh vibe overall and i think we uh rock with it somebody sent a skip i'm gonna check on that right now just give me a second Shout out to freaking AD, shout out to freaking Smokey with a freaking 8 on that, you know what I'm saying? For Mr. Fresh in the building, Thor Squad, you already know what it is. So I just found the beat, shout out to, uh, you know what I'm saying, AD. Uh, well, you know what you know what I said earlier, man. Like, if you want a kind of remix and st it, it, it stuff, it, I mean, this is not technically one of those, right? Per se, quote unquote. But I just know I probably would have done, you know, I would I would have wanted to add something different. Maybe flip the the sample a little bit freaking more uh or some or something like that or whatnot. So again, if it's something that you would want to remix freaking to, you know what I mean? Spill the beans, my brother. All right, we got a three song back to back coming up freaking right now from Mr. Fresh. Searching for the master sword, you guys are really bad at spitting rhymes and you ain't real and have no skills and so I mastered yours. I could have been killed running past the horde of zombies when I crashed the card and smashed it, blasted four magic dwarves and man, you know how all these bastards are. I'm like Aladdin when he chaps Jabbar inside a lamp for acting hard when all he had to do was spit a rap or just beatbox to go distract the guards. I got a hundred rupees planted on my master card. Don't make me chase a chicken, take it, make it, take a listen to my new mixtape and mention it to what the raven pigeons i'll take a sword and stick it into any dude who's out there pillaging and raping women don't make me make you come up missing because that ain't the mission i yeah, used like, to date this happening? fat girl who i brought home one time but then she up and ate the kitchen i used to feel safe around cops until somehow we all became the victim now let me try now and paint the for those of you on the tiktok side <laughs> Who like again like so there are a lot of cutaways that I have on the show, right? That depict many things that happen. Sometimes it's a like I approve of this song in this specific genre kind of freaking cutaway. Other times it's a somebody is skipping the line for a certain amount of songs or a certain specific type of skip, but it'll have music accompanied freaking to it or whatnot. So sometimes you're gonna just hear some audio. It might sound like me rapping or maybe another freaking artist and, and shit like that. I like to put you guys into the show as well. Uh, when I when I hear things that I really like from you guys and stuff like that. So. Uh, you know, I always let you guys know what's going on. So right about now, Mr. Fresh is he's on the YouTube side. He has sent a three song back to back skip. Those are twenty five, you know what I'm saying, dollars for three songs uh in a back to back fashion. 
Uh, so we're gonna react to uh, three, find out our favorite of the three, and which one that we would want a music video done to first. All right, that's all you need to do. So yes, one to 10, any and all feedback is still welcome. But what I tend to love to do is like, look, when you send more than one song in that sort of like, you know, skip fashion, um, you know, we want to make sure that uh, we, you know, we com we compete your songs, you know, against each other and shit. Uh, so the real me is number one, Mr. Fresh. Let's go again. One to ten in the chat. All feedback is welcome. What do you say? Four reminds me a lot of you know, what I'm saying Power Squares. you It's what it's called, the real me. All right, Mr. Fresh. Rate this in the chat. All skips are safe from a dork. You don't play that, so it cannot be cut, regardless of if people do not like it. You are safe in a bubble. Baby, come through if you want to feel me. Feel me. Yeah, baby, come through. Hey, Shorty. If you want come here a little second. Feel me. Come here a little second. Feel me. Yeah. Meet me under the covers. Me under the covers. No rappers, no rappers. I'm a rapper, I'm a rapper. So I step here, so I step here. Which is fine, which is fine. You be like, thank God. You be like, thank God. I'm a blessing, I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing, I'm a blessing. No stressing, no stressing. Oh, well, I'm not blessing. Oh, well, I'm not blessing. I'm like ice on the cake. I'm like ice on the cake. HBD, I'm the gray. HBD, I'm the gray. Blow me like a candle. Bite me like a camo. Do you think you can handle? If I knock you out some sandals, yeah. Feel me. The real me. Yeah, da, da, da. Oh God, sing the ass yeah, Baby, come through if you want to feel me. To feel me. Yeah, baby, come through if you want to feel me. To feel me. Yeah, come through. Why were you spamming so much, man? Feel me. Ay, ay, ay. To feel me. Picking people who don't know kung fu, but I always think try to ask a question. Matter of fact, you put your ass up, girl, and then I look at it. I don't know what the hell to do, but I just can't rap this song. It's kind of cool. Matter of fact, you know what? The chronic dude be uh, making me hot. Now let's go over here and hit this. But yeah, I, I literally could not. I get that. I get that. I get that. Uh, once again, the real me, Mr. Fresh. Now, this does have a West Coast freaking vibe. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are a few records in here that, you know, uh, fit certain criteria or whatnot. You know, I usually like starting off these reviews on his specific records with the, you know, what I've said in the freaking past about, you know, the, the, the the theme that I always see that reoccurs, right? A lot of these records are good for that you about to walk up to that, you know, cute shorty that you see across the way at any location, right? Sometimes it's a barbecue. Sometimes it's a pool party. Sometimes it's a bar. Maybe it's the mall, whatever, right? You sort of hear this. And then again, why are you about to like go and walk to you? You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you talking to her or whatnot, having a good time or whatnot. You know, she, she's feeling you. And, it, and it's that. It's the theme music to that situation sort of freaking happening or whatnot, right? As, um, you know, when you think about sync license kind of situations. And he makes a lot of these that, you know, it's just which one is your, which one are you going to use, right? And honestly, I, I kind of want these to start to be that. I want everybody to sort of eventually sort of have that in their mind. The way I've suggested that is for him to make music videos to every single one from this album, uh, theme it to a different girl every month or something like that. 
be at that location, try to, or, or same girl, different location, right? And you keep trying to get at this one chick. Every video, she's uh, she keeps looking badder and badder and badder and shit like that. And for people who don't know, you know, our, our lingo these days are, is very different and awkward, man. You know what I'm saying? The b bad means good, all right? It means he's, he's fine as hell. Uh, you know what I'm saying? From from head to toe, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and so, uh, you know, there, there's definitely freaking things like that. Um, now, they're also around the same time frame too. So if you're not a fan of shorter records, you know, sorry to freaking say, most of his records will be around that two minutes and 33. But when you listen to them as a full project, you appreciate that a little bit freaking more. Uh, that's also why I suggest he does a video to every single song or whatnot, just so they can all really stand on, you know what I'm saying, solid freaking ground or whatnot. And again, we're trying to find the the best of the three songs right now of these that he, of course, sent to the freaking show. So just make sure that, you know, you guys rate each one. And then uh, after the third one, we'll sort of uh, reevaluate and see which one we would want the, you know, the video. Again, he's eventually, hopefully going to work on some videos for all of these, but um you know if we had a say so of like which one he sort of hurries the hell up with and works on first you know what i'm saying that that's essentially what we want to listen for this one is bag of cheetos bag of cheetos right all right so again which one if you see a check at them at the at albertson's you know in the or or uh what's the place with the uh <laughs> What's the what's the, what, fresh and easy or, or some shit like that, man? You you, you see you see you, you see a bad chick over there. She she about to grab a bag of Cheetos, you know. Is this the song you use for that? That's all you need. Like nice like small a small addition to like the uh the production or something like that you know if if you were one of that 10 you do produce so i do know that you can feel. so that's another aspect that we do need to look at with these right he does produce each of these you know what i'm saying records or whatnot so you'll feel a little bit of consistency you know what i'm saying throughout again each of these were made to be a part of this freaking project um and if you see it how i freaking see it man you know you'll sort of envision all of the videos and the situations or whatnot because literally i heard that one and thought about you know again her just at at the section in the freaking you know grocery store where she's picking up freaking chips or whatnot uh and then you want you are about to you grab them to hand them to her or whatnot and and you know she maybe she has on a dope outfit that's you know uh cheeto themed and and dorito themed and, and another scene and you know what i'm saying like like just 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 figure that stuff out and of course this would be a dope commercial for you know the cheeto you know dorito brand and all that good stuff uh he said toad bro we geek hard and shit like that go figure that's what's up what's good uh, let me see. It's man, musically inclined. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, no folks giving 7.5 on that and stuff like that. I need backgrounds from dorky no cap and shit like that, man. Listen, hit me up. Hit me up, man. Hit me freaking up. Essentially, man, like, I be playing around. Like, listen, the thi I rap, all right? Understand this for real. Like, I'm creative, but really, I rap. That's that's my main freaking thing. I might not ever make it like an album, like, actually freaking singing and shit like that just because... I'm too goofy to <laughs> to really to make that something something that I take serious and shit like that. I have no idea how Jamie Foxx has done it because we all know he's a comedian through and through. But when he gets into that R&B shit, he's also a straight up R&B singer through and through. And and you don't laugh while he's fucking singing and shit like that. Somehow he has been one of the only comedians that I've seen to sort of break through in that way where you take him, you know what I'm saying, that serious and shit like that. I feel like even when Cat Williams raps, I still like, you know, wanna wanna laugh a little bit. I don't I don't go, oh man, bars and, and you know what I'm saying, shit like that, per freaking say. Uh Drake as an actor and then rapper, I I get people kinda know, you know, the 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 whole, you know, Drake situation and stuff like that. And I feel like, you know, he's probably the the biggest success story from an actor going into the music you know and you know being embraced uh you know as they sort of progress and then of course you know eventually getting into that that everybody's hating you know sector and all that that chip bag purse <laughs> exactly exactly chip bag purse come on bro come on bro ah uh, let me see 7.5 starting to grow on me the more I hear, man. And that is the effect that Mr. Fresh often has on a lot of freaking people. Now there will be people who completely, like they don't they don't get it, they don't uh, feel it, that's completely freaking fine, uh, 100%. The show is about you guys giving unapologetically whatever the opinion is of however you feel about the records. We wanna know if when you're hearing something, you know, you're like, nah, I'm gonna skip to the next song. If you're listening on Spotify or Pandora Radio or something like that, uh, however, if you'd hit the like button on our song, if it was playing on on something, and and you know, add it to your own playlist and stuff like that, so you can make sure that you hear it later. By the way, because people people don't know that, right? On Pandora, they have sort of a situation where uh, you know whatever artist you kind of want to listen to, you go you go search for that artist, and when you click on on their shit, they'll play them in addition to other artists in the genre right and then they'll come back to that artist eventually after like four or five songs and you know it's kind of like mix it and blend it in like if it's you that you're listening to your own station they'll do that same thing and they'll they'll match it up with honestly they they're, they've they've done the best job of matching up the right similar music because i've always been like yo i definitely would tour with half the artists played on my sort of station when they do that um but so when you like a certain song if you hit the like button and then you add and you go to make station out of that specific freaking song or whatnot, they'll again take that song, know that you want to freaking hear it again. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that they you know play it more often as well as that artist that you know it, it was landed on. Um, and then if you make another station with that freaking song, they'll again do that sort sort of similar thing where they find other similar songs specifically to the song that you liked and clicked on and did that i mean they have a really good system spotify kind of and certain other ones i've really seen to sort of feel like it's playing things at random you know unless you sort of like try to make your own playlist um at least from what i've heard i need to sort of you know test out other things you know outside of the curated you know playlist but you already know what it is let me see not normally my style, but you know, since it came on the freaking playlist, I wouldn't freaking skip it and stuff like that. See, again, that's important information and stuff like that. What are you guys going to work out to? All that. Okay, so we got one more song for him. Again, this is a three song back to back skip that he sent in. You guys are looking to send one of these yourself. Back up on my bullshit, trapped under the attic. I tried to think I'm grown, but then I'm still in the magic. I tried to race a car, then crash flew in the traffic, started acting like a fool, like Zach Galifianakis. Now, see, I don't know what the hell's happening. I really, yeah, whatever. All right, so last one is Live in You. Good luck. He has a whole album of, of this stuff, by the way, so if y'all really rock with it, tap in with Mr. Fresh. Most of this stuff is on SoundCloud right now. I wanna live in you, baby. You're tickling, baby, there. Your back keep breaking, baby, there. I'm thinking you, baby, there. I wanna live in you, baby. You're tickling, baby, there. Your back keep breaking, baby, there. I'm thinking you, baby, there. 
say anything by the way uh let's clap that in there but you can add real words and then it will be saying something now and the 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 booty wiggling side to side thing you know hits even harder when you see the (laughs) the freaking the album cover he had for it um so this one another vibe um was this one of the ones that last time i had said was in between that sort of slight pool you know party freaking vibe or something like that like i i I forgot which sort of like thing i went in i think some of the production kind of like may have went there um because there were a few that i was like okay i'm imagining you talking to her to this one in the jacuzzi this one at an actual pool party the other one maybe at a water park this one at a freaking you know at, at the at the bar uh you know, and again, for me, I just want to see the videos to all of these. Now, one of the things that, again, if you whether you notice or not, they are all a little bit freaking short. Some of them maybe even uh, repetitive to a certain freaking extent. But uh, again, you kind of freaking get used to it because it's different. It's not the same in terms of something we hear every single day from every from not every artist but you know what i'm saying you guys know the genres that are often oversaturated with with artists in it uh mr fresh you know kind of brings you know something a little bit sort of different yet familiar he's not necessarily you know trying to be uh you know r kelly key sweat john b uh you know like the best kind of kind of singer type of person or whatnot but you know the vocals are easy enough for people to you know what i'm saying here get into and again, I think it's best used as a, you know, music videos and poss- possibly like a soundtrack for the same type of moments or whatnot, right? Like, again, if I ever understand this, y'all, you know, I, 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 you guys have my freaking word, man, that like if I ever get a job, you know, sort of being a music supervisor uh, where I am able to, you know, find and use music from artists around the world, for, you know, the TV shows, movies, video games, stuff like that. You guys are exactly what I am going freaking for. I'm going to look for, I'm pretty much going to, you know what I'm saying, continue to do do the freaking show and, you know, try to see if I can link you guys up with those situations because that's all I ever freaking hear while I'm listening to your songs. And I try to find, okay, so what's good enough for a certain scene or commercial or you know, how can we really market this? Now, Limbo said he liked the second one the, the best. Cheetos for the video, right? You know what I'm saying? No fucks given also freaking said. Bag of Cheetos got it uh, for freaking me and something like that. Uh, okay, okay. Listen, everybody's on the Cheetos one, at least uh, out of the freaking three. Out of the freaking three. Uh, and we got an 8.5 from those fucks given as well. Um, what do you say? Good looking. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Door squad or freaking course. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm freaking yo, what's freaking popping? Uh, 7.5 starting to grow on me every time I freaking hear. Of course, man. Hold on. Let me make sure we're good on the band lab. Yo, Ben. Ben Libyan. 
Ban Libyan Amphibian. Ban it and then. Okay, let me take this one away. And we're going to go ahead and jump back into the free line. Nobody else in a skip, right? So we can hit you guys up. Thank you. Here we go, everybody. We. People follow me to school and copy me until I stopped and put my music on. I'm just crawling like a zombie, knowing I'm a Nazi, probably in his uniform. Born identity, homie, you've been warned. My brain is always like a unicorn. I'm gonna put that last one in the uh, chat, at least on the YouTube, um, Twitch, Facebook, and Twitch sides just so you guys can in case you want to grab it up and uh go follow him on uh soundcloud and stuff like that i had put his name over here on the uh the you know what i'm saying tiktok so if you were able to get it there uh you know go show him some freaking love and and freaking all that or whatnot you know what i'm saying now as we continue we just make sure where we are freaking at and again i appreciate y'all patience man so i know that sometimes there can be a little bit of a wait while we are you know what I'm saying? Doing the freaking show or whatnot, but it means the world that we get to see and hear you guys in the chat actually, you know what I'm saying, networking and, you know, giving the feedback or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like every, understand that every single episode we have done of the show has been artists who have came through, you know what I'm saying, submitted. They have, We have access to a lot of them or, you know, uh, uh, people who do have direct access uh, uh, to those freaking artists and stuff like that. So always, uh, uh, you know, like, like know that this is, this is for freaking you guys. Primarily, when it comes to anything that we would, that we already have heard on the radio, we stay away from those records on the show. We want to hear you know, you guys, the, the people who just started yesterday, they might have been, you know, started 25 freaking years ago or something like that. And they just never, you know, got to let the world re like really hear them and promote and stuff like that. We want to see what you freaking got. Old, new, I don't care. Just don't send industry records to the show so that we don't get cut and uh, blocked on certain platforms and stuff like that. Uh, just to give you a little bit more um, leeway on why it's a little bit of a, a hassle. Uh, for instance, if you send a record rapping on maybe like a Drake beat, those streams, especially like on the YouTube side, which like, you know, YouTube is definitely where you want to go if you want to rewatch the whole stream. Like I'll have eight hour streams, 12 hour freaking streams. I'm still working my way up to like a 24 hours and stuff like that. But that's where like the full stream will always be saved and never sort of like deleted unless one of the records sent through were one of those kind of like records uh, something that had drake on it or you know a uh, a drake freaking beat or something like that so try to refrain from those songs if people recognize a song you know as something that is directly a beat that you know you've heard from a bigger artist please let me know if it uh you know goes past me just in case so we can uh nip that in the butt or whatnot again we just want to make sure how do i do what See, I try not to take it personal They got hate in their heart and yeah, it shows And my mind has been out of control Bimbo Out jab. of control Rolling through my thoughts, I feel insane Write it down until I can't feel pain Who would've known that I would change the game uh -huh. Change the game Rolling through the motion Yeah, it got me open This is called personal Feeling deeper than the ocean Hope you didn't notice that I took this pride away Wish you would've held me closer Knock the devil off your shoulder But I see what I see You are my enemy, not my family I'm just a mirror reflection Of your imperfection I'm just a catalyst No rough in the abyss My job is done, I see Thought we had a connection Only pure intention But you been talking shit I definitely wanna try it is, There's two sides of a story I try not to take it personal They got hate in their heart and yeah, it shows And my mind has been out of control Out 
out of control Rolling through my thoughts, I feel the same Write it down until I can't feel pain No would've known that I would change no, the game would change the game, change the game See, I try not to take it personal uh-huh. Like I hate it in the heart and yeah, it shows That's And right. my mind has been out of control Rolling through my thoughts, I feel insane uh-huh. Got it down until I can't feel pain I okay. know that I would change the game Change the game, change the game The engine didn't fire though If it was wacky, be like dog man or engine inspired, bro Yeah, I am slow 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 I am slow, I would go to freaking places A lot of freaking people they know they freaking racist A lot of freaking people with butts they freaking take shits And I don't even know what to do, but I would take this Loving and singing. Shout out to the producer, can you bring him up to the show? Cause you know that there's a lot of time when the freaking comes to freestyles. My name's the king of freaking all this shit, and I know that I'ma freaking tell you this freaking place is where I did you in the freaking niggas for us. So I'm a timber the ting, but my limit to my. Oh, I like that record. I already got an incense burning, so I had no need to, in- to light another one, but definitely a vibe. One of a kind, never go blind. Give me your time, drop of a dime, cleansing your mind. All right, I now, hold on, let's freaking get, let's get to it. Let me just make sure my uh, background freaking thing comes freaking back. It's right here, man. So, such a good uh, record, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna freaking say that, like, you know, uh, for the labels out there, man, managers, producers, engineers, Treat the ladies with as much respect <laughs> that that you initially can because like man there is just something amazing anytime it's you guys don't understand man anytime we have most of the female you know what i'm saying singers rappers like they shut down the freaking you know what i'm saying show there's just something dope often it's soothing it's it's uh you know they're they're off they're sometimes going in a lot harder than, than than some of us are on certain records and shit like that they make the record a lot um and i love when we get many different records and stuff like that this is very freaking different in a completely different lane yet i know that you have different things that are that can be you know what i'm saying slower maybe mid-tempo this one for sure is way more in uh something that you could dance to uh maybe a little bit you know uh uh you know, slight you know caribbean or tropical or something like that it has a slight island vibe yet also something that's almost like kind of like a little uh uh slight neo soul and stuff like that there's a few genres that i just am sort of freaking hearing in there um and uh you know i'm glad you have a freaking chorus it is technically short but i didn't like i didn't feel like it it, it you know like oh man you know what i'm saying like i felt like you you completed your freaking task on the song if it was going to be extended uh if anything I'd, I'd just say add an actual you know rapper on there or something like that this sounds like something you'd add you know kendrick or j cole to um you know if you were getting sort of like bigger industry sort of freaking artists as a feature and stuff like that um you know what i'm saying but what do the people freaking think that is the importante in there, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Freaking Nonsense, explicit what's freaking saying, and shout out to you! Slanging like parts what's freaking good, I see you, you know what I'm saying? Game me cause, game me cause, you know what I'm saying, in the freaking building. Uh, I said, now nah, mine's all original. That's what's up, that's what's up. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Can't wait to get to that. Did I miss my jam? No, you did not, you know what I'm saying? We're still in the free line right about freaking now. Trino, what's freaking good? He said, let me know. Man, stop <laughs> doing, they just pops up. Like, let me know, sit down, sit. Damn, stop doing that. Uh, what'd you say? Rather promote her than an outdated cloud rap song. <laughs> now listen. First of all, I want, there, there are good artists also on SoundCloud, right? We have to acknowledge that because the idea that you know eventually soundcloud rapper became a sort of thing that people like used to talk down on those that were on street you know what i'm saying and like again i'm on everything i just also am on on soundcloud right you know what i'm saying so if you like my stuff at all 
like I'm not like what do you really consider consider you know what I'm saying like that sort of you know aspect right so we want to remember that it's really about the sort of style that you are specifically talking about it could be more of the like emo melodic kind of freaking thing more of the like the trippy red you know esque uh, uh thing it could be the batman you know you know what I'm saying all that shit the mumble rap whatever whatever you consider I would, uh, yeah, I do, I do kind of want people to get out of that, that sort of, you know what I'm saying, thing. Cause I don't feel like, you know, when I've gone to the platform, I've only heard those artists. Like literally, um, I was honored, like for it, for example, right? Miss 223, such an amazing freaking artist. She came to the freaking show. Her, her submissions were often from sound for SoundCloud, right? And she sounded like this. Y'all know me, man. Let's go ahead and head right back into the free line. Once again, big shout out to freaking Limbo, though. And again, I was saying the whole, I, I was talking about the whole, like, respect these artists just because I know that, you know, in this industry, you know, we've gone through the whole, you know, Me Too freaking stuff. I know, like, you may, whether you're tired of hearing about it and stuff like that, it's sad that some people have to worry about that. even like males go through this, that same freaking shit and and you know what I'm saying like like having to in order to get on like really feeling like you gotta do this or freaking that otherwise they won't you know promote you or freaking shit like that or again simply wanting to get a you know a job done you know what I'm saying you go to the freaking studio to get freaking recorded and then. You know, the engineers making a pass at you and shit like that, right? You know what I'm saying? When, you know, essentially, you know, whether or not you, it depends. If, if you want it, that's one thing. But if you're just trying to get, you know, something, something freaking done, I can see how that could be distracting and, 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 you know, stuff like that. So all I'm saying is like respect these, these artists and really help them, them get on with, with, without, you know, like again, keep, keep it all, keep it all freaking business unless, she allows you to get to get past that and just show them respect and shit like that. We need to be able to have like I have three freaking daughters, bro. You know what I'm saying? I need them to be able to know that they can get into any kind of freaking industry without feeling like, you know, people will always take advantage of them and shit like that. Like I can barely like I don't know who to freaking trust in terms of, you know, especially after the the Nickelodeon sort of, you know, documentary that came out. If y'all haven't freaking seen it, take a freaking watch, you know, and you know, it kind of changes a little bit of the stuff that you might have grew up freaking watching just a little bit, just knowing like what might what might have been happening behind the scenes. Um and it and it does give you that sort of pause when you then think about like man should i allow my child to, to to you know go into acting or anything like that if they had wanted to and that's what they were passionate about like you do you think twice and stuff like that who sent a freaking skip i see that millie cash i see you gotcha did you send it to my email make sure you did that if not um let me see if you sent the Link over there. Let me see what you might. I know diamonds are the things that you wish that you had, but homie. They just finna brief interaction through here. She seems humble. I respect us all that. Yeah, Miss 223. Yeah, she is. Yeah, 
223 honestly has some of my favorite, you know what I'm saying, type of freaking stuff. Her sound is just, you know, unique. It's original. I, I never hear, like, the same type of record, you know what I'm saying, twice. She doesn't sort of, like, get in there and try to make stuff that other people make. The productions are always, you know, freaking there and shit like that. And, you know, so I, I, I'm always excited to hear something freaking new. Uh, let me see. So, Millie, 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 where are thy... What is thy email for thou record? Uh, let me go down. Let me see. Yeah, Millie, make sure that you. Oh, there you. Well, no. Did that freaking happen? I don't know. Let me check. Are you on the. Where you at? Where you at? I'm just trying to find your thing. What I'll probably do. When, we do, when that happens. I just make sure that I'll continue in the free line at the moment. Really, and immediately when it comes in, I'll treat it like an insta skip and so like that. So I'll just hit the button, and then we'll get to the freaking song, and then we'll go back to the song that we were that we're reviewing in the free line. But let me just do a, another check around just to see. Let me make sure no one's in the spam folder and stuff like that. Appreciate y'all. All right. Gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready to eat a BBC sandwich and um, with cheese? Yeah! Good. Then all you have to do. Please send your records to that dorky review show at gmail.com or get ready to die. Ha 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 ha. Okay, now, now we, 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 we're going to do is we, we gonna, we're going to go into the free line real quick as. as um, we wait for Mary Cass's record to come in, and, and, and that's it. Okay, so thank you. We got Daco, Daco right now with new projects. Good luck. <laughs> Every time I do that voice, people start to say like Elmo and shit like that. But I'm like, I'm not imagining Elmo in my head at all. I'm not imagining Elmo. Some people are listening, they probably like, hell no. One freaking time. Ain't no time to play. I get stuck in a daze. Wonder if my brother here, how much he's suffering for change. Some niggas stuck in their ways. Ain't trying to break out of the box. You niggas like to be caged. This is the art of war. What's the cost of having rage built up? So much control of me. I think it's time I heal this shit up. Wanna be on stage is reason why I'm always stuck in my head. Ain't no love like my mother's forever stuck in her heart. Some people leave foot pressure so they walking it out. But I've been here since the start. Ain't no walking me out. I still turn toes when niggas turn their back and walked out. I look back and try to pull niggas out. Niggas shot me. Born, it was dagger straight to my back. How I keep smiling on blood dripping off my body like that. I show too much love, that shit hurt when you ain't getting it back. I've been silent and distant. Niggas think you were missing. I needed some people on them dark days, everybody went missing. Shit was I thinking. Drinking tequila every day, trying to drown out these demons. I know it hurt to watch the one you love drowning himself. But if y'all niggas see me swimming, I was crying for help. Cause if y'all really knew a nigga, you know a nigga can't swim. Yeah, and when I made it back to shore, I decided to jump back in. Cause I had a. Sorry, did you say you were bumping Atari? That's a game system, hey, listen, are we? Gonna play all these games at the party while the people are drinking Bacardi. See the look on my face, I'm retarded. Man, I'm dumb and will say shit regardless. What you think I will pee on your garden? I'm a dork and I hope you ain't fucking offended. Man, I've been a rapper since I was pretending that I was a rapper, but I was just kidding. But actually, after that, man, I was spitting shit, really. This isn't nonsense if it isn't silly. Man, what the dilly with chili from TLC? Man, I'll clean my whole ass. With a seashell, Debo don't punch her, you know that's a female. As I said, I would activate as soon as her thing came back in. I would activate it as an insta. We'll get back to that song right after this. Yeah, Millie. Right now we got Millie Cash. We can sit it for me to freaking be at with a freestyle and freaking something like with my silly ass. A lot of times I always want to tell you it's really one of those situations that I just want to like tell y'all. Freaking, I'm not a freaking teacher, they want to fail y'all. They don't even know what the hell they're doing like hell now. Nah. Forgotten. Ain't nobody fucking with me Living in the fast lane, baby, you can't keep up with me You can talk your shit, use a bitch and You just wish you could be like me Ain't fucking with me, ain't fucking with me You ain't fucking with me, but the 
virgin memory Coming like Crimbo, so you know I'm angry Every time I do a track on my verse, this carry He's singing to this, like Mariah Carey I'm shitting on these hoes like I just ate some dairy She forgot that I was fit, like I'm fresh out of dairy Beefing with me and I'm the best, who that gotta be scary Just out of long nails, like my name is Harry and Now my back up in the room to show these bitches how to rap All these funny fake bitches always find a way to cap I'm spitting on these runners, they can get where to the top Don't know why they wanna fight me, I'm just pretty gay and black You ain't never on my level, you can't even up a stack You a weak rap hoe, so get the fuck up They say speaking on my bestie, but she charge your nigga attack Talk that nigga, all he know that's why he spitting like that Ain't, ain't nobody fuck fucking with me, with me. Really can't, ain't nobody fucking with me Baby, you can't keep up with me I love this chorus. with me. Ain't Forgot fucking me. with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Don't. In fact, eat a burrito. In the fast lane, baby, you can't you know keep that up we with close, me. You know when that we close, we don't know what we doing. Some people are thinking uh, too far. Yeah, I don't know. Not complete, not completely, but there are elements in there. So that again, I really like that freaking chorus and stuff like that. Definitely something that uh, came my favorite initial. You know, what I'm saying part of the song. You got Nair wrapped it freaking a little bit too, which was freaking cool. Um, uh, you know, uh, first artist, I think there was a feature freaking on here too that I didn't necessarily see in the sort of like liner notes and stuff like that. Uh, or, you know, maybe I might be mistaken and you just kind of sound different on the first verse and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know any information regarding freaking that. I do think that it does need a professional recording of what is here to really let this song, you know what I'm saying, blow a little bit more and get that full on appreciation. But it does have a good vibe. I think we can all see the potential. And, and again, if this song was perfectly mixed and mastered, you know what I'm saying, performance, you know what I'm saying, on point, uh, this could be a, this could be something out right now and stuff like that, right? Um, Cause that chorus, man, like, uh, what did you, in terms of like, you know, the writing and stuff, like how, what was that process freaking like or whatnot? Cause it was, it was, it was good and stuff like that. I feel like people will want to, you know, learn and sing it back, you know, especially in the crowd and uh, stuff like that. That's going to be a lot of people's theme song freaking too. So do not let this one fall by the wayside and just kind of like try to release it as is. Please, please, please. If you need to record or re-record anything, like if there's anything I could impart on to you artists, it's the way I grew up and, and really learned a lot of freaking stuff was actually by being in and at the studio with other freaking artists, you know, working with an engineer to sort of get the record to exactly where it needs to freaking be and stuff like that. And again, taking that freaking time, being prepared with the things that I needed to uh so that when i went to the studio i wasn't wasting you know the money that i freaking spent and you know just you know i could literally just record the freaking song and then spend the majority of the you know maybe hour or freaking so that i freaking paid for like getting the song mixed and mastered right you know what i'm saying now essentially i do mix and master you know what i'm saying uh, myself i know how to uh, uh freaking do that i, I record um and you know eventually uh uh you know i i now i'm the guy uh, you know what I'm saying? But you want to you wanna put that love into especially your best songs. If you want them to be dope enough for people to listen to, comment on, hit that like button, repost it, share it. Like, you want the works from everybody. When people really like it, they will do everything that they can to let people know, hey, I discovered this song first. Listen to this shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, and so yeah, big freaking salute. Two minutes and 50 se 51 seconds of time. What did you guys think of the uh, the thing and, and all that good stuff? Let her know. Said you mix, uh, what's your feet? So I do, char I only charge 60 per song or 100 for two songs and stuff like that. Um, you know, nothing freaking too crazy. Um, and that's it's too crazy, right? Um, and you know, that would, it, every, every two that you get, it'll just be uh, rounded up to like the nearest hundred, you know what I'm saying, within there and stuff like that. So four for uh, 200, is that it? Or am I tripping? What you mean? Yeah, four for four for four 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 two. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I don't know why I even had to think. Uh, let me see. Yeah, thank you, STL. Welcome back, motherfucker. Uh, you say I was fired for real, and just from oh, you were talking. To, yeah, just from everything you see. You were talking about that other one and stuff like that, man. Um, <laughs> I forgot to so they acknowledge that gang. Uh, what is it, Gamikas? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I like the quality. You know what I'm saying? Harmonies uh, need work though. Uh, heard elements of Nikki for show. Sure. Yeah, Nikki, Nikki Minaj's, Nikki Minaj's, John Anderson. So that he said also uh, do your also do your due diligence to at least learn some mixing and mastering basics and lingo. Uh, if your uh, you know what I'm saying engineer isn't staying up to date or able to replicate certain freaking sounds, find a new one. Exactly, right? There are sort of different sounds, different situations that, you know, are, uh, you know, certain people are, are freaking good at. Um, you know, for instance, like mixing a band is way different than mixing simply a rapper. Uh, mixing a singer is also different. I'll tell you like some, some of the differences that, I, that I've noticed, right? So bands, you have all the individual sort of, you know, elements in terms of the production, right? The drummer, the guitarist, you know what I'm saying? All those individually, you gotta figure out where and, and, and where you should sort of pan things. You have to make sure each individual element, you know what I'm saying, comes in as if you're really a producer within there, right? Um, and then making sure that they're not, you know, the, the production and, and the band isn't louder than the actual freaking singer and vice versa. Uh, the singers tend to do almost like hundreds of vocals. Like I've seen probably the biggest sessions from like R&B singers and stuff like that. Cause they will, they have so many runs. They have so many, you know, different ways they've sung different parts and stuff like that. It is a little bit of a tedious process trying to go through and figure out which ones, you know, are, are the best sort of freaking takes. If you get a session freaking like that. Rappers, a little bit more freaking simple, you know, uh, because, you know, we do initially, if you're not just punching in every bar, like you have, you know, give or take in total, if you have a three verse structure, there should be, you know, maybe like one, one to three for the verse, right? And then one for maybe like the doubles or ins and outs, maybe one for the ad libs, uh, you know, uh, little effects that we might add on something and, and shit like that. There's, there will be like a, a whole nother section for like the chorus and stuff like that if you're layering it and, you know, harmonization within there. Um, but there's still different effects that work well with all of these different, you know, people or whatnot. You gotta know when to add you know, a certain amount of reverb or delay to, you know, the, the certain, you know, melodic freaking artists uh uh you know when something's too much there are certain hip-hop records that maybe don't need the same amount that uh you know your standard your more mainstream record might freaking need something th some things need to be more upfront crunchy almost old school like again it it's just figuring it out that's all you know what i'm saying seven also from who is jux you know what i'm saying still in the freaking cusp as we freaking know shout out to everybody freaking locked in tapped in and doing a freaking damn thing Melly Cash said, I like harmonies to sit behind the main vocal. Yes, sir. So like that. So for me, as I was hearing your song, you're like, ain't nobody fucking with me. And so like that. Every time that hit, my mind kept hearing that harmonization that I kept doing. Anytime I'm doing that on the show, it's because that's what I hear. So at the, by that second time, it's like, ain't nobody fucking with me. Like I hear that. So it always becomes something that I kind of recommend, you know, the artist to think about trying to also sing in addition to adding that layer and remember when you add layers to your vocals especially on the chorus and stuff like that make it even please do not add 
one vocal that is one tone on this side and a whole different one on that side and then you know what i'm saying just kind of fluctuate because it'll feel uneven you want to make sure that if you do one if you do one a different vocal one one keep it in the middle do another one put that on the left do another one put that on the freaking right or whatnot and again just adjust the volumes accordingly so nothing's too loud you don't want everything being all at the same volume certain things need to be lower but you want to pan certain things maybe 100 percent to the left have some in the middle have some 100 percent to the right maybe some 80 percent to the right and left you know 60 50 like all, all that ba basically treat it like it's a little bit of a choir and figure out what sounds like it's too much and shit like that you don't want everything to be like all over the place but you already know what it is. He said, bro, make an R&B track. I'll try, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to guarantee you it's going to sound freaking good and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm I'm way better as, like, a background singer kind of, you know, entity more than anything. Can you react to a song I like and stuff like that? Uh, any song sent to the show has to be independent artist only. If it's been on the radio or is it? or if it's from an artist who is signed to a major record label, um, you know, it's usually a no-no on the freaking show and stuff like that, especially if you're rapping to uh, some of them beats. So make sure you get it. Jux, we got you up. We're back in the free line right about... No, whoa, 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 wait. Actually, no, you should be freaking next. Now that I think about it, you're our next right freaking there. A little bit of sneak peek. We got to get back to freaking Daco. We'll, we'll get right freaking back to Daco. And then we'll get right to... I get stuck in the days, wonder if my brother here how much he's suffering for change. Some niggas stuck in their ways, ain't trying to break out of the box. You niggas like to be caged. This is the art of war. What's the cost of having rage built up? So much control of me, I think it's time I heal this shit up. Wanna be on stage is reason why I'm always stuck in my head. Ain't no love like my mother's forever stuck in her heart. Some people leave foot pressure so they walking it out. But I've been here since the start, ain't no walking me out. I still ten toes when niggas turned their back and walked out. I look back and try to pull niggas out. Niggas shot me. Born, it was dead, get straight to my back. How I keep smiling on blood, dripping on my body like that. I show too much love, that shit hurt when you ain't getting it back. I've been silent and distant. Niggas think you were missing. I needed some people on them dark days, everybody went missing. Shit was I thinking. Drinking tequila every day, trying to drown out these demons. I know it hurt to watch the one you love, trying to himself. But if y'all niggas see me swimming, I was crying for help. Cause if y'all really knew a nigga, you know a nigga can't swim. And when I made it back to shore, I decided to jump back in. Cause I had to help them niggas that was struggling like me. And when I made it back to the niggas, they was trying to drown me. Shit. I'm getting <laughs> wisdom, I'm the doctor, say I'm patient now. Or well, I'm that nigga procrastinating and say he lazy now. Uh. But it's the work going on the inside. I can't tell who to side with. I'm on the verge of waving white flag, my ego won't die. Sometimes when I'm writing these songs, tell myself don't cry. Right. Get my nigga back, I just left the boob, now I'm slamming. Ain't no lean sipper, hit my weed, your head leaning. I just play my role, cause it's a lot of people scheming. Like, it don't feel like it's all over the I place, right? I just feel like I'm Cool J, trying to anticipate the next best move that I make. Niggas playing checkers, they playing chess, it's not the same game. Can't keep looking down, cause what's lost ain't got my name. I keep pushing forward, cause they throwing dirt on my name. Watch me rise above with all the mud. Never thought he'd make it off the drugs. Kick it with all the sluts and the thugs. Popping up with stripper hoes and powder too. You know that Whitney and that Bobby living off the thrills and reels. What a time to be alive before the fit in our sales. What a time to be alive when the weed can't sell. I'm imagining it's some freaking lady though. Every time I do the high pitch, the high pitch one, I'm not. Oh wow, let me freaking see if that actually works. Uh, but yeah, this one right here, I thought it was freaking fire, man. You got in there, you know, told your freaking story. You had a good energy within there, you know. And again, you were going like just fast enough yet slow enough for people to both understand, uh, you know, what I'm saying what you were saying, yet also uh, to for people to feel that. Um, uh you know that that energy and uh you know what i'm saying freaking stuff like that now um you know i could hear j cole you know what i'm saying on that with you or whatnot man there's a lot of artists you know these days from you guys that i sort of tend to hear you know that kendrick cole like potential feature kind of you know uh song type of freaking records um you know but yeah you got in there Nas, maybe you know give or take we'll freaking see what's up um Mix wasn't necessarily uh, bad. 
perfect and say nothing sort of like uh, made me mad and and was like man i just wish that this was this needs to be freaking done at least uh you know what i'm saying right now make a video to that man for a freaking show you know and it's it, those kind of things are freaking easy it's just you need walk from one location to another you know in the video it's that it's that simple wake up in the morning get out of bed walk out the door go to the liquor store Go back at the liquor store, you know, buy, buy something from the guy. And all while you're just, like, looking at the camera and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? You buy something from the clerk, walk back freaking home, and then you when you close the door on the camera and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's literally one of the easiest type of things that you can do. You just got to have someone to, to follow you as it's uh, sort of freaking happening and stuff like that. You know what I am curious about, though, right? Um, has anybody seen those suitcases that actually are supposed to follow you as you walk. I thought, has anybody tried to use that as, you know, like an actual, you know, okay, let me put the camera on this shit and then just walk and have the the camera follow me from behind that on the suitcase and shit like that. Like, I don't know how well it would work. I don't know, like, if there's smooth turning and shit like that, if you end up, you know, going... Uh, in a certain direction or something like that, but that it might be a good idea for those kind of videos or whatnot because you know and outside of again Someone needing to film and walk behind you as you're doing that and you timing everything perfectly uh, You know obviously you'd have to have a house That's close enough to, <laughs> to the freaking liquor store or edit some shit good enough to make it seem like that's what happened Or rent somebody's house who's like down the street from a liquor store like whatever whatever works it all uh, goes with the same word. You said suitcase is honestly probably more expensive and stuff like that. He said you can do do it with a drone and stuff like that. So are there so there are drones that will follow you and not you know mistakenly run into some shit or whatnot? Shoot, I, th I yeah, and you think the drone is less expensive, man? I would assume the drone was like way more expensive, but I do want to um. And you said, so Go Figure said I could definitely put that on a playlist. You know what I'm saying? Who is Jux with a freaking eight? Speaking of who is Jux, we got you coming up freaking next. So we got you. Just give me a moment. Her man was freaking good. Um, he said, can you, so can you, okay, let me, rem so let me, let me get back in there. You said, can you listen to someone I support heavy, uh, the Palmer Squares. I think that was you who asked me about uh, Palmer Squares um, earlier or may, or I might be freaking tripping. Um, let me just uh, again as long as they're not an industry artist like again we're signed to a major record label we can play on the show um so if it's someone uh like they have a whole website and everything uh been making records since what i see one from like 2012 or freaking here uh they got about 27k followers on ig i'm just trying to i'm trying to put everything into perspective so i even know if i can uh sort of freaking do it um da, 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 da. and they had a freaking tour and shit like that i don't know too many artists who actually have like full-on tour dates who are like independent like that um but let me actually look at that we'll check uh primarily though just to give you a little bit more heads up about what we do this show is for you like literally you could decide like you want to request someone you support but at the same time you can start making music tomorrow and send that into the show you know what I mean? Like, this is for those that are not immediately able to get on the radio, just freaking yada, whatnot, or you want to test your records out that you eventually plan to put on freaking radio, um, you know, and, uh, and or, you know, just like really you make music, you're creative, you want to show people what you can freaking do, all that good stuff, man. Do what you got to do. Let's go ahead, jump back in the freaking line. And Mr. Jux, bars for bars. Jax81, let's go. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, it's Jax. Somebody else, somebody else mentioned them earlier, one, so that's ironic. Uh, yeah. Yo. I like 
to be. Matter of fact, how many I like to eat? Bro, this beat is fire. Talk a lot, I grab the ox by the tail and give him flavor. Mad so with a beer before the pandemic. But y'all scrimmage, super 15 was my gimmick. I show you how to get it. Now it's back to serving fiends like dinner time. About to run like I invented grind. Yeah, I'm with all the grind. What I say, no mercy this time. Donnie Darko for my shine. Billy Bronco for the Bronx, nigga. I've been a good nigga for Uncle Sam for 10 years. A citizen and outstanding. And all I got was pandemics. Y'all the reason me and family at they war the And they the reason I'm the front of this store Screaming I got it Feeling 40 and washed uh-huh. up Shorty telling me boss uh-huh. up or Imagine me with another nigga getting it tossed up That's why the 40 cal in the waistline And I'm in the cut A like pot shooter from baseline Or was it called? Uh-huh. Regardless on guard I'm going hard like I cut this Every slab, half a gram 10 to 20, I'ma push it uh, that the hardest on the level So the wax, the family food is unruly It does its smoothie nah. Even though I'm cool as a smoothie I'm tight moody Everything ain't hustable here Nigga, it's Tubi Moms used to gas me Say I married me and Rudy I reply Long as she fine with swerving the Uzi They say God bless the child That got his own So a nigga with the sweets The nigga got him a crow Get uh-huh. his own And now I'm pop the ground I make him lay down And I thought we was brothers Nigga, I said lay down If it's here up for the prize, it's through the eyes Let me see his last fucking breath before he rise I could've slid his throat, but I ain't want blood in my eyes Put my blood on the blind, Jig said he won, I'm on time They gon' really take, take, take yeah. If they really wanna pretend it's this Matter of fact, dog, uh, in the chat, you always enter And then freaking the people are really always pretend to spit Matter of fact, I don't even think that When yeah. I have freaking Yo. told you that you don't I'm, I'm just kidding uh, I love that beat, though, by the way Yo, you giving us, you giving us, you know what he got? He gives us 50 Cent in his prime, you know, sort of freaking vibes and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You got that, like, you know, 50, 50 with the chest out, uh, uh, you know, talking his shit, doing his thing and shit like that. Um, uh, You know, like I like that first G-Unit album, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and I loved you know how you know a lot of the songs on there you know what i'm saying were freaking harder and 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 stuff like freaking that you remind me of definitely an artist i could have saw as you know a little bit of an extra g unit sort of uh member or whatnot and i almost forgot that he actually did start signing other uh you know what i'm saying artists after a while mob deep was there for a freaking bit uh mop um uh you know and uh for sure love that freaking production man something that i would let definitely you know hear and want to do like a remix kind of freaking shit too me and you definitely need a record um i think i i probably say that you know what i'm saying I forget a lot so you know what i'm saying definitely definitely uh i'd make this one longer just because it's that it's that freaking dope and shit like that for me personally um you know, if it's a remix, if it's a remix kind of situation, right, where it's a beat, you know that a lot of artists have it. You're just simply also doing your let me enter the challenge kind of freaking thing. You can make that whatever freaking length you want, short, freaking uh, whatever, right? But when it's a song and you are the first artist rapping on whatever kind of beat, um, you know, maybe you produced it, maybe your boy, you 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 got with another producer. If it's something that we haven't heard before put your put your all into it right because it's always going to be up to you whether or not people hear the beat and then want to do something completely different and and forget about whatever you just did to the record right the better that you are on the record um again chorus freaking full song aspect what you talk about how you rap the better chance of other people wanting to remix your song again you heard what i said right i was like it's definitely something i would want to remix that means i would hear the beat and then kind of want to pay homage to what you did i would not want to like forget that i heard it from you first um and uh you know what i'm saying like that that's that's sort of like how you know again everybody heard a million a million a million and then everybody had the a millionaire da, da, da. but you, you said your own shit or whatnot you know what i'm saying uh yeah like y'all know exactly what i'm talking about right same thing we gonna make it right we gonna 
make it. We gon' make it, right? Every time people have rap to that beat, they sort of felt like they were taking the same approach that like Styles P and freaking Jada was on that record. Um, there's also a sort of like mob deep record that I, I feel like people will hit often uh, in a similar way as well and so like that. Some things it's like you you just have to kind of somewhat pay homage to that original thing. And other other times you sort of nah, you go in a completely different direction and not do that. We had a ten by the way from Rosanna uh, Herman said I agree. My buddy makes a beat and stuff like that. That's what's up. Uh, you know what I'm saying Gucci gang. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, staying in parts with 100, you know what I'm saying? Wish uh, you could react to sign artists and stuff like that. I wish freaking too for a freaking show, whatnot. Now, I mean, like, so I will make a a different email for the signed artist kind of stuff because I'll have to do those offline, essentially, right? When it's an industry artist, I can make a standalone sort of like, you know, that dorky reaction kind of situation um you know and so you can make those requests but give me some time to create that specific email and like a cutaway so i can let people freaking know uh, uh for freaking that and stuff like that but on the live again the only reason i don't like risking it a lot is because it it just kind of ruins the whole stream after the stream is trying to be saved like there are people who will watch who will love a lot of the records on the freaking show and then and they they make plans to come and re-watch the episode and sort of like oh let me really go and listen to that song again and shit like that and if you send the wrong records to the show like again some kind of drake beat record or something or remix to, to like an eminem song or something you know that stream won't be found on most platforms you like you won't be able to go back to it again and and you know like when it happens on youtube you know like something is is freaking wrong because they rarely you know kind of freaking uh, do that so it has to be a you know one of those records same with three six samples and stuff like that yep 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 and he said well it's worth yes sir yep norman sand man welcome freaking back norman if you norman norman <laughs> Norman, 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 Norman. Look, I just want to keep say every time you pop up, you know, I freaking say this, and then you freaking you disappear by the time you, 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 we have freaking notice and shit like that. But I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm pissed because you never let me do duets to your freaking shit. Every record this man freaking puts out just as a freaking cutaway on his freaking TikTok and shit like that guaranteed 100% freaking fire every time like guaranteed running backs on a show all that kind of freaking shit I always want to do like a reaction to it but he doesn't allow it he just like kind of uploads it I'm like okay if all I can do is like repost and stuff like that I'm good I'll do that but like I want get to the show and send the freaking shits at least right so that we can because i'd be wanting to play it for the freaking audience for the people who might have not you know uh, come across your freaking stuff yet which i i i would only assume by this point is is rare because you're getting up there day by day people are continuing to notice the, the dopeness and you know i can't wait to see you know you make it and shit like that for other people who have heard his stuff you know what I'm talking about already. He, he honestly needs no cosign and stuff like that. But it's an honor uh, to have you at the freaking show and stuff like that. Keep making your music. You're inspiring people. Know that. Let's go ahead and put this skip right on in, and then we'll get back in the free line. I know diamonds are the things that you wish that you had, but homie. I'm playing old school games where it's all up for grabs. You know me. <laughs> it always pops up for like a second. And I'm like, man. <laughs> disappeared like bruh man if you don't freak i'm saying i'm saying i'm saying you need to you need to, to to drop your shit man hold on let's go ahead put this skip in demaculous man let's load you on up this is is this featuring perk uh with on my own in my song telling me you love me but you know that you will hold you can ask my mama, nigga, I've been living wrong She just wanna fuck me, cause I got it on my own She don't wanna fuck me, cause I got it on my own Said it's a bitch, why you only me alone? I'm married to the double cup, in love 
styrofoam yeah. And mix it with the Percocets to get me in my zone yeah. Bitch, I stay fresh to death, got my hoodie on Runstone yeah, that's Yo, shorty right. love my fragrance, yeah, she loving my cologne yeah, she I ball like Wyatt Iverson, but I'm not Post Malone not post Yeah, shorty stabbed me in the back and left me in the cold yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm off that ecstasy like E.T., I need to phone home Through the storm, I've been trying to make it through the storm Cookies, bitch, I'm getting high Sipping on these all they drink, you know I'm gonna fly Off a different bitch from LA to Illinois When I do a show at Rolling Loud, I'ma make some noise So the nine to ARP, I never play with toys Bitch, I'm flexing cause I'm rich, I really didn't have a choice Yeah, your bitch look like Did a I say your name wrong? my bitch look like a Rolls Royce Yeah, I fuck a pussy up, now that shit out like I'm Floyd Yeah, I treat it like it's war zone, yeah, I kill and redeploy Yeah, I'm always overthinking, yeah I was broke, didn't have a dollar in my pocket Roaches running down a wall of the apartment We were starving, I had to kick the door in Can you be honest, the feelings I had lost them I we were locked in, right now I need a lost meal We whipped the Dodgers so we can duck the law I put my all in, shawty left me heartless I don't like my thoughts and I gotta keep on walking And I know they watch so I gotta hit my target Da, da, da. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, da, da, da. that. Listen, definitely uh, some freaking vibes within there. Um, uh, uh, you know, two minutes and forty. We'll, we'll talk about this, right? Two minutes and thirty-six seconds in terms of the freaking time. Often to be expected in, you know, these kind of freaking genres. Um, and I'll usually tell you when I feel like it should or could be freaking longer. Um, this one I wasn't mad at with the two minutes and 36 or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? It's two of you on here. And essentially what I do like is the fact that you guys have two different sort of approaches, right? You take the more slight, not fully, but slight monotone sort of, you know, sector of it, right? You're more of the comfort zone approach. And then on that sort of uh, other half, it's the higher tones and uh, sort of the higher octaves and, and stuff like that or whatnot. That allows it to not get boring, not get fully repetitive, and, you know, have something for people to really look forward to throughout the freaking song. You guys know I'm always freaking saying what you guys want to do with any melodic record is treat it like an R&B uh, an artist would. Do, like, you know, even if you don't consider yourself an R&B artist, they they have everything down packed think about some of your classic some of the best r b songs on the planet the ones that you know every word to and then think about why you might know every word to some of those songs it was it was never because any of them was ever repetitive right because if you listen to any again tanks records case casey and jojo mariah carey uh whoever, whoever you name They've all had things that if you listen, they'll have variation with the vocals throughout the song. The only repetitive thing is the chorus and the chorus will sort of, they'll have the main chorus that they'll probably loop throughout the song, but the artist will still go back into each chorus and add extra vocals, right? They'll have that run that they're singing on top of the vocals so that they're, they, it feels like they're actually throughout the song and not just, oh, let me do one thing. Okay, now let's just loop this a bunch of times over freaking here. Like you want it to feel like a complete record. And again, you you get people even more stuff to look forward to. So treat it like an R&B artist, variations in the vocals, the melodies, the different stuff like that. Um, harmonization also freaking helps too. Like as you're going, why are you doing that? Higher tone again. Like if you have that doing that at the same time, 
You know what I'm saying? The harmonization is gonna sound nice. It doesn't have to be with every part, but I'm saying you have like a chorus that, you know, again, eight bar kind of freaking situation. On the second half is where you can sort of, you know, add the higher tones to sort of give it that variation and people, are, um, I think like it even figure more and stuff like that. Now, what do you say, Axis, like before I retire? Uh, yeah, you better not do that. We, we, we talk about that. Uh, they complement each other really well. Yep, indeed. Boys to Men, End of the Road is the greatest R&B record in my opinion, man. It's the end. Yeah, I can't sing uh, and do that. But uh, uh, Boys to Men as an R&B group, probably, probably I'll, I'll give it to them as probably uh, best R&B group of all freaking time and stuff like that. Um, com combination. R&B group, I'll give to TGT because literally the combination of Tank, Tyrese, and Genuine was probably the most genius thing that they could ever do. You know what I'm saying? Freaking together and stuff like that. Um, I've heard classic records with like T Tank and Chris Brown together that, that were freaking dope. They work well, well together, but they haven't done like an actual group thing. Um, we, all, we all know R. Kelly is like, you know, the, the king R&B in terms of like solo artists and songs. Babyface, I think, is one to one with freaking him um, in terms of like what he's been able to like him. Him and Babyface have written songs for artists that you know are classics and, and stuff like that and you know i think it, it means a lot to be able to not only do your own stuff but things for other people and still allow them to be you know hits i mean again if we if we get if we try to give one over on uh, on babyface over r kelly right babyface has written a song for madonna you know what i'm saying so there's that and and tony braxton i don't know yet if r kelly had done a tony braxton one but you know he did have Aaliyah, right so it's like man of that versus i think would have been dope if r kelly didn't you know essentially end up in the situation that that he's in man i i would have loved to see him do a versus with with somebody and so like that who, who would have been your go-to uh that you thought think would have been would have pulled the most uh reaction for the versus if he had to just uh because we're on that thing now what you say you said they all flow you know what I'm saying somewhere together with real music usher and stuff like that that'd be freaking crazy i don't know uh well he does have good r like straight up r&b slow jam but i feel like usher's more in, he has more dance stuff freaking too um r kelly i don't think he really cared too much for the dance he was way more of like straight up freaking r&b from what i uh remember um let me see what everybody else freaking thinks as well and so at that which i feel in a saya was freaking good mo blazing was freaking good uh so something your email that's what's freaking good Millie, you know what i'm saying millie said yes yeah dorky i'm making an r&b track with you hey let's do it let's do it uh-huh yeah, here we go, girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm acting like I can't freaking sing, you know what I'm saying? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens and shit. All of a sudden, when I'm doing background, like, uh, it's it's all perfect and dandy. What do you see? Usher and, yeah, Usher and Akari, same girl. Um, That is true. Uh, They have a song together. Wait, who, who, which one, which one were we talking about? Uh, You might be right. You might be right. He said, I'm trying to have you react here. Um, R. Kelly, the street. No, he said, R. Kelly, the she. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Like, then shared it out. I think Janet Jackson is a classic. Uh, I haven't heard anything, like, recent from her, obviously. But, like, she had she had some classics in, like, especially, like, the 90s and um, I think, like, early 2000s that were uh, pretty fire or whatnot. But, like... I don't think anything had ever been in terms of like the slow jam R&B stuff. Nothing had ever been bigger to me than, you know, in the sun, you're in rain, bacon and some cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like that guy right there. I know it's not the words, but you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, we could throw whatever we want and whatever we want. Right. Am I right? Y'all? Am I right? Y'all? All right. Let me remind y'all. Send y'all records to my email. That's that dorky review show at gmail.com. If you have not already. Appreciate you guys for being patient in the line. And again, uh, as you freaking know, just like the last artist, you can skip the line if you do not want to wait. 
you want to be played immediately or if you have various amounts of records that you want played on the show and stuff like that right it's only 10 to skip for one song but if you want uh you know two songs back to back is 15 25 for freaking three 35 for four songs back to back 50 for six songs back to back and the secret takeover freaking skit where if you want a full-on album straight up straight up uh, listen if you really want to splurge 100 bucks to get you 12 songs back to back we'll listen to the full album and i will record the shit. You done in the dead, no not that one get out of there not that one hold on jeez man you done in the dead, seriously where did it go it disappeared <laughs> hold on oh i know what i happened i forgot to change it over and show like that i have to go over here. This is the beginning of the zombie Jeez. talk apocalypse. The episode of Walking Dead that people tell you not to miss. A walking sick human being with the walking I stick. I can't really tell if he's a zombie or my Romney's dick. But I can kind of tell that somebody's talking Christmas when I went home. I saw my dog Sammy chopped in bits. My family's missing. I fell asleep in the Jeep hybrid. Then I woke up infected it with the Jeep virus. I run over zombies with an old Camaro. Listen to Goblin from soundtracks from George Romero. Movies. Man, I always love that line. I run over zombies with an old Camaro. Listen to Goblin from soundtracks from George Romero's movies. Um, which again, like I, I be throwing inside freaking shit or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? If you've watched the original Dawn of the Dead, I'm talking about George Romero's Dawn of the Dead, not not the remake where they started running. Uh, that Zack Snyder, I believe, freaking did. Um, you know what I'm saying? This one, uh, uh, you know, the birth of the the slow walking, straight up, you know, uh, you know, non asking for brains, zombies and shit like that. Right. Um, the ones that The Walking Dead are honestly st still sort of like based on and influenced freaking by um, his soundtracks. The earlier ones were all done by like like Goblin or whatnot. Right. It's this band. They had a lot of unique sort of freaking sounds. Me and my homie used to always like try to, you know, just make beats and different things out of a lot of the, the freaking stuff. Uh, I always just laugh when we were watching the movies, making the, or hear, hearing certain freaking elements and stuff like that. But yeah, big freaking solo. Let's go ahead and get back in the free line. We ain't got no other freaking skip. We are cool and ready and set to blast off free line rob them we got you up get jiggy it's called get jiggy get jiggy or did you did you add that d by accident good luck weekend in r kelly i don't know r kelly has like a lot of hits man Get on top and just top me off. My life, it just ain't scripted. All that girl thing, little Rob, I'm soft. That bitch ain't trying to hear me out, but I just turn my tunes up and jam out. Send no turn on that murder, you ain't your pants with no bottle. Bring out with that chopper, knock that bitch and all this time. Now, what's the problem, bitch? I'm about to drop my step on him and tell his mom. My girl, she think I'm wild, bitch. I might my back to change the top. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I'm walking around the valley, I'm walking around the valley. I don't need no bitch around. Pass me my double cup, not turn that Robin sound And get my jam on, smoking something with Lizando. But them people wanna know the Robin. Tell the Robin. Why you talk that post so much? Know. Why you switch your flow so much? Know. Why you testing bitches' character? No, I didn't. Can't trust. I got the whole pockets full like baby. I don't fuck with these niggas, try hard to erase it. Short bit, bitch, shoot the bleed. Fuck with my man, give me start thinking about raising. I just want the money and the jewels. Fuck out you niggas. A lot of these bitches, baby, just to you. Fuck out these bitches. I'm soldier down in a Nike fit. Baby, please don't throw no feet. Just get on top and top me off. My life ain't scripted. Bitch, we turned up in this bitch, hey. I'm fucking with this shit. You stay wild life, nigga. Alright, that was very quick and different. I wasn't expecting that, kinda. At least the uh the salsa. <laughs> The salsa sample and shit like that, right? Uh, 
You know what I mean? Change the topic. I won't promote the violence, but like, the like when you hear when you hear the, the you know you think it's actually gonna be you know what I'm saying some more you know Spanish based you know kind of freaking record, uh, and it's actually pretty, I guess, fresh to get what we got on it because you know we I do tend to hear certain records from the genre and a lot of you guys will sort of uh sample a lot of different things and sort of implement it into that like the drums and things like that will often be the same but you'll sort of sample the the other unique freaking sounds uh but it is short it's like one minute and 43 there does need to be a little bit of a mix on here i do like your energy it does make me want to hear more from you and and uh, really find uh, your your best freaking songs and uh, you know what I'm saying just make sure that you put time into your records basically I want you guys to start thinking about things like this if your song is if you're working on songs for an album all right get it like this if you're working on songs for an album if it's an intro interlude or outro shorter is completely fine if it's any other song on the project Try your best two to three song, two to three verse song structure, whether or not it's you doing, you know, adding features to it, you by yourself uh, or, or whatnot. Just give people their money's worth. The the thing that I keep trying to remind y'all is sometimes you, you have no say over what one song people hear on any given platform. Right. If you just say, hey, I rap to the homie or, or someone that you meet out at you know a club or the mall or something like that and then they want to pull up your spotify when they pull it up if they don't have the pro version or something like that it's just going to go to a random song on your you know catalog and shit like that so if it's one that's shorter you know that's all you're gonna get you're gonna be lucky it's one that um you know hopefully they they freaking rock with if it's not enough freaking time it's it's sort of you know just might not be enough to sort of you know garner or or gain people in there i think you do have enough energy though to sort of like you know gain some of that interest but i think about the radio too i i've never really heard a short ass song that again you know the artist has one verse and they're getting they're getting off and then all of a sudden it's just onto commercial again and shit like it's never happened so if you want your songs to be able to be played in more places definitely try to make that longer version of the song at the very least you can have the short version and the long version and then decide where you want to actually like um you know promote each one right like you can go and perform like what you can you can do a thing where you may maybe you perform live and that's when you do the longer version, right? Now you have a reason to sell the tickets to your show and be like, hey, if you buy tickets to my show, I'm gonna be performing bonus verses for some of my songs that you know you may like and da 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 da. And that's the only place where you get that, or maybe like a feature with a special artist or something like that. Um, or, you know, very specific platform kind of base freaking thing. Said so everybody remix Isley, Isley Brothers, you know what I'm saying? They can collab with whoever, yeah, big facts. Uh, imagine Boys to Men and uh, Temptations Tank and uh, or album collab, man. Damn, son, big to me. So, man, groups. I don't think I've heard sort of like group on group, sort of like you know combination album. Um, I think like Boys to Men and either New Edition or Boys to Men and One Twelve or Boys to Men and Jagged Edge. Uh, boys to men, and I'm trying to freaking think. I'm I'm going through the the some of the motions of what I can remember. Uh, Drew Hill, boys to men, and Drew Hill, or any of who I mentioned just now against each other in verses and or a collab album as well. I think I kind of miss Drew Hill as a whole as opposed as opposed to like Cisco solo. Um, you know, like never uh uh. Is it never make a promise or never break a promise? You know what I'm saying? That That is a classic. Next, I, which I wish they had way more freaking hits, man, because Butter Love, Butter Love, on my top 10, you know, classic R&B, slow jam, freaking records, all time and shit like that. I never, if I'm making a playlist and I can only put 10, I have to put that, I have to put Butter Love from freaking Next, I have to put Happily Ever After from freaking Case, I got to throw, uh... Every time I every time I see your face from uh, Rome, every time I see your face, it makes me wanna sing. You know what I'm saying? I gotta put 
What what from Babyface? Uh, uh, never. What is the the promise? Is it? I tell you when it, not you. No wait, I was thinking about Drew, Drew Hill again. Damn it. What was the freaking? He had one like that. Freaking Babyface had like a some kind of promise kind of freaking record. He has too many classics freaking too, but definitely gotta have some Babyface on there. Uh, I'm trying to think if I would put like. Aaliyah, there's one from from Mariah Carey probably. Um, Avant most definitely has freaking one. Uh, there's there's a lot, man. Shout out to freaking all the dope R&B freaking singers out there, man. That you know honestly have helped us make uh, a baby base. You know what I'm saying and stuff like that. All right, we got Smoke Skywalker up freaking next or whatnot. We are back in the free line. You know what I'm saying? Rocking it out, doing our freaking thing, man. Once again, appreciate y'all freaking patience and feedback for each artist in the building. Shout out to freaking you guys. What are you guys doing on Band Lab, man? Uh, what's blazing, gang? What's good? Like hey, what's up? Shout out to him. It's a lot of time when I wonder we've been in an auto bar with a new I ain't Sorry. No Yeah, we on like Twitch. Kobe, a magic Johnson. Turn a nun to a freak. I got a magic Johnson. I was made from cush smoke and a can of awesome. God like so the kid never sugar the devil. Feeling like I'm flying like an angel while pushing the pedal. I'm nice with it. My team gets mean, but my chicks hot and ready like a three cheese pizza. A Nikon. Nikes is Python. Puff on nice slime with dimes from Taiwan. Flex at nightclubs. Sex at nightclubs. With nice jugs, we tearing them nights up. Nice. Keep peace on my frame. Uh -huh. Get my nieces the game. Yeah, be vicious with your hustle. You won't be needing a thing. I'm getting new money with some old cats. Right. All they do is twist J's, riding old lap. Right. Gold chains, gold rings, and the chrome strap. Stick it to the script. No kickers for no rats. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's looking like the fakers are weighing the real. Yeah. Soon as the cuffs on, they snitching and making a deal. Smoke ain't the hottest, you telling a lie. Uh, I got the game sold up in my thread in this fly. I read the die fresh. Uh, no, my G's can relate. Right. The conversation ain't about profit, don't even debate. Nah. I live fast, but plan to live long. Uh -huh. Leave it on to my daughter, the name can live on. Back. A rough neck, but keep my operation full. Never keep uh, no secrets. Never telling lies. Got no time for looking down. Wanna make it up to you, yeah. Uh, they cooking up all winter than killing the summer. Right. I get tired of that bitch, then I get me another. Uh -huh. She must give A1 hit before I give her the number. Like, they wanna see me dance, so I live to the fullest. Ain't got the number one spot, it was willing to pull it. Yeah, see, I'm a mobile office upstairs. Right. You fuck boys, belly getting bust Got that though, there's a lot of time when I freaking go and get a gun and a cock back slow. Sometimes speaking, I don't know what the hell to do, but you know what? You are not that. Uh, let me uh, smoke Skywalker, man. Good job. Oh, man. What do I do with the smoke Skywalker reviews around here? Smoke. Like many of you guys, some of you guys are, are consistent with, um, you know, are there certain styles that you uh, uh, reside in or you have several and each time you send, it's like always a toss up on which one, you know, it's going to freaking be or whatnot. Now, Smoke Skywalker is one of those who has he has either records that will sound very mainstream centric or some that will be more hip hop centric. Like if there's a sort of like hip hop, like uh, ODs kind of sample within the beat. Um, and when you listen to his voice, man, the the the. The thing I always freaking say is that, at least for me personally, I like him most on the more hip hop freaking joints just because his voice just like it feels like a very hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Sort of, sort of, you know, voice like somebody uh, uh, that you'd hear right next to a Jay Z and, and you know what I'm saying, Memphis Bleak or Cassidy, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Uh, like I can imagine him on a hardcore more like Griselda type freaking beat, you know what I'm saying? You know, trying to bar some shit up. I can imagine him in some battle ready shit, even though again, he'll come through and make some of these. He'll come, he'll come, he'll come and do this. But I always need you guys to know, I always need you guys to know when you guys have something that like you have a voice, you have something that sounds 
uh, different, a little bit more original, a little like it's not bland. It's not basic when we're hearing your voice and, and you rapping. You know what I'm saying? There's personality there. There's presence freaking to it. And there are some people who like they literally feel like they're not moving when they're rapping. They're just like. You know what I'm saying? And they'll just, they'll be in there and they'll they won't they won't feel like they're they're in love with their song at all or like or rap or hip hop or, or freaking nothing. Um and so that's all that's all, you know what I'm saying? Uh what do you say? He said, man, bro, I'm a barber, I be one in the line. You <laughs> listen, man, you know, I be too scared. I be too scared to uh, you know, like so my girl tried to cut it one time and then I ended up with the whole mustache, you know, cut off. And uh I I was not happy. I was not happy for that three months that I had to to look a lot younger than, than I was, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, it happens, it happens and, and, and stuff like that or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And there are times when I, you know, I may try to do it myself or whatnot, but I, I don't do any kind of like special, I'm a barber, you know what I'm saying, freaking shit. But yeah, so let's go ahead and go back in the freaking line as we salute a date, which is not a word, but yeah, what the, how many different type of fouls Am I getting on the freaking show right freaking now? Because every time, so I'll go in, I'll go to, so some of you guys will send like records for me to download. Some of you guys will send records for me to download, right? And then I'll go to the download folder. Like if they're the same file, I'll usually see the other files in the, the same folder or whatnot. But there's been like five times today where like I go to download it and then it's, it, it looks like it's empty because it's apparently a different kind of freaking file. I also see a skip that will be coming up in just a moment. Is that another fresh? We got another Mr. Fresh 3 song. I know! This is Marie Swift in my in hair. Put the lyrics in the email. Yeah, we got a catch. We got a, a skip coming up. Honestly, man, I can't. I don't know what you're saying, bro. Even though you had, you said the, the the lyrics are in my freaking email right now but i still gotta hit that freaking because like and everybody else don't have the lyrics and they most likely feel the same freaking way like I, what what did he say i think that i'm the only dork here who's laid in the brain i gotta ask my freaking doctor what it takes to be strange what i will that? hit you fucking rappers in the face with a cane while you wanna fucking train watching snakes on a plane i just Where's the now I do want to give the before we get to the the skip from Mr. Fresh I do want to give the next artist a uh, 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 freaking you know what I'm saying chance in just a, a freaking moment but I do want to freaking say that uh, you know I couldn't hear what you were freaking saying or whatnot you mix those two I, again I love a good harmonization type of situation right you know what I'm but you still have to understand what the artist is saying there is no song without knowing what's being said unless you're just humming right if you're not really saying anything and the whole thing is you know you might as well just have played the saxophone and done that shit on there right and then like made it about the melody and and you know kenny g part two like you know what i'm saying kenny 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 d or whatnot you should just came through and, and did that essentially uh it probably has a lot of potential and stay in there but you got to get that mix it doesn't feel like it, it's there yet um and i don't not like the elements that you have i do like the harmonization like i said the sort of high note with the freaking low note but it just feels like immediately both of those things are coming in and sort of you know uh, kind of clashing with each other and stuff like that i feel like there are certain parts that you need to come in and then other parts you need to bring that thing in with it and and you know just figure out that um uh, and you know at the very least maybe cut it Cut the high tone down a little bit more. I always got to remind you guys never to have it at like the same volume because again, distraction. Now, you guys ready? Let me know how you feel about that. 
while we're getting and gathering Mr. Fresh's record up for records. I went back in the free line. We got Dragon Ball Editor with constant Moderato Starlight Remake. Sounds like the intro to like a family on their way to Disneyland and the kids are just excited looking at each other in the car. Wee, <laughs> then you see Disneyland above and the freaking, you know what I'm saying, thing. Let's, let's think about that real quick. Me and my family went to Disneyland last Friday. We had so much fun. <laughs> Mickey Mouse, you know, all that shit. Every time I went to Disneyland, it's fun. Everybody knows they need to grab your gun. Don't grab your gun. music for a countdown as we're starting the show. video but it's like letting you know about uh medicine or you know uh, some kind of freaking things or whatnot anyways i like that right there and, uh, sonic the hedgehog accents were saying now that doesn't necessarily feel like a level from Sonic, but definitely like the maybe after you beat the game kind of, you know, uh, ending credits or so like that. Like he did it and you got you see him running through each level or something like that. Uh, by the way, I never got to play the most recent uh, Sonic game. that No, not the most recent. The one where it was more in uh, 3D. Um, you know what I'm saying? Where they finally, but took uh, took them long enough, right? You know what I'm saying? But if anyone uh, played that, let me know if it was freaking uh, good or whatnot. Uh, can you go back today? Still freaking do it? It's not like it's old, but um, I did pass on that one when it first freaking came out, uh, just because I had other games that I was like busy with, and I think I might want to freaking jump in freaking now, but like. It really depends on what it is. Say, so call your doctor if you experience any of these symptoms. Beat. <laughs> yes. 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 That's what I'm talking about. But, like, I like it more. Like, if that was that, that'd be cool. That wouldn't make me want to buy the medicine or nothing like that, right? I would like it much more if this was. Because I, I would watch a lot of, you know, gamers that would stream and, and stuff like that, of course. Um, 
that shit just changed color mid freaking shit or am I freaking tripping am I new to my vision cause that thing went yellow for a freaking second I swear yes what is happening freaking right here now it's blue wait a second hold on what is it gonna freaking change this? I, that's not what I freaking thought it was gonna freaking. Hey man, yep, it's going through all the colors, I guess, one by freaking one in, in slow motion. I guess we'll see how that feels throughout the freaking. I'm sure if it, if it ruins it. Anyways, we got another freaking skill we gotta freaking take care of as well. Uh, and of course, he's helping get us closer to being able to do a giveaway on the freaking show. So shout out to Mr. Fresh. But yeah, this one I would love more as a part of like you know the gaming streams and and stuff like that, right? Just like as they're starting up and. And, you know, uh, uh, counting down, like, you know, stream starting soon or whatnot, right? And then you have, hey, what, that, now that I think about it, didn't I used to have, I had something that used to say starting soon right freaking here. And I just now remembered it and stuff like that. Where did it freaking go? Hold on, let me freaking uh, take a freaking look real quick. Nope, that's the holiday freaking one. I'm trying to freaking see, cause I all of a sudden, no nope, Christmas. Uh, da, 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 da. No, what the hell happened? Seriously? Huh? I guess I gotta find that freaking again. Uh, what'd you say? Looks hard and confusing and stuff like that. Just need another game for like for the five, uh, besides Spider Man or something like that. Let me see what you were talking about. Said so I just ordered it for uh, the five and stuff like that. Uh, then a list of pages sent them and stuff like that. And so what, what what were you talking about? What did you just order uh, for the uh, for the PS Five or whatnot? Before my mind uh, forgets. Searching for the master sword. You guys are really bad at spitting rhymes, and you ain't real and have no skills. And so I mastered George. I could have been killed running past the horde of zombies Legacy. when I crashed the card and smashed it, blasted four magic doors. And man, you know how all these bastards are. I'm like Aladdin when he chaps Jabbar inside a lamp for acting hard when all he had to do was spit a rapper or just beatbox to go distract the guards. I got a hundred rupees planted on my master card. Don't make me chase a chicken, take it, make it, take a listen to my. New mixtape and mention it to was a raven pit raving pigeons don't make me double double and what do you mean no flying at the moment what does that mean hold on uh what was i gonna freaking say though da, 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 da. no hogwarts legacy is freaking dope i still haven't even finished that game that is definitely one that's still that i have bought a long time ago Played some of it, liked it every moment that I freaking played or whatnot. But then again, other games come out. You sort of get sidetracked into those. I'm still playing Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, I'm still, um, I, I got a lot of other VR games that I still want to get into. And my thing is this, man. Look, I do want to also be able to stream when I'm gaming, right? The problem I always run into is that most of the time, like I've used that time to do the show and focus on that and that freaking only. And I still haven't figured out a way to sort of like, you know, combine the freaking two in a way that that works, you know, naturally where again, if we're playing games and reviewing music that people aren't going to freaking leave because they think oh, like it's only he's just playing freaking games. Like, what are we what am I doing here type of shit? Um then uh you know so again it's either either you know i find a certain amount of time either like after the mainstream and like it so that you guys just know like oh maybe he's gonna game for about an hour after the main you know after the review show uh maybe 30 minutes to an hour before or maybe i do it on the weekends or something like that so it becomes more freaking prominent there's also the option of just using my other channel or whatnot i have a gaming channel a uh, game door plays but i had stopped uh streaming directly you know what i'm saying from it for for a while or whatnot again to focus on that dorky review show and so um but you know i do want to be able to do because i man like i want i want y'all to experience the things you know what i'm saying with me and and you know just see how dope like especially like vr is if you have not yet gotten yourselves a meta quest you know what i'm saying two or freaking three or a psvr or, or something like that i'd highly recommend it as you know there's nothing like being inside 
of the game. Literally, you that that's all I ever have to freaking say or whatnot. Like, like it feels like you are in the game, one to one, standing next to or being the character, looking at the world or whatnot. So if there's a sun in the game and you look at it, you feel like you're looking in the freaking sun. Uh, the characters are coming at you. You are going to run because you feel like they can see you and they are running after you. There's nothing. If there's, it has nothing on any scary game that you can play on a 2D freaking screen with your controller like this. There's nothing like living through that shit. You know what I'm saying? The first time we were able to play like Resident Evil, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, like the one before Village, right? Where it was the the first person one. That was the scariest game I had ever played in my freaking life. Because like I said, when you going around the corner and some of those those creatures or maybe one of the bakers would, would pop up out of nowhere, like that's you. You are the one who they are running after. And, and you can't do nothing. You can't pause the freaking game and shit like that. You got to turn your ass around and run and figure out what to do. So I love that shit. Sorry for talking. Y'all ass is off right now. Uh, but hold on, let's go ahead and put on Mr. Freaking Fresh. Let's see what we got. We're three skips away for um, uh, you know, hitting that first giveaway tier, by the way. So good luck to everybody in the freaking building, and uh, hope we'll be able to freaking get there for you guys. Now, once again, as as usual, earlier, if you guys heard some of Mr. Fresh's songs, you'll be able to hear about three more right now. And just like the other ones, you know, try to pick your favorite of the three. If you got a show that you're trying to talk to, this is the this is your time, man. Use these records as the background music, you know what I'm saying? Put it in your pocket, turn the music down low, and then be like, hey, shorty, what's up? This one's called You My Type. Let me know if it gets the job done. What you like, yeah It's your night, yeah That's right, yeah You my type, yeah Do what you like, yeah It's your night, yeah That's right, right, yeah You my type, yeah I want you for breakfast Ride me like a Lexus You must be from Texas Like my exes Like my exes you tick my kind, you tick my kind, my tick you mine, my tick you mine. You a dime, you a dime. Like the star, you shine, yeah. Do you mind? Do you mind? If I get behind, if I get behind. We got time, we got time. Let's bump, let's grind, let's bump, let's grind. You like a sail, I you like a sail. Lock down for real, lock down for you real. My prison, you my jail. Give me life, I won't tell, yeah. Do what you like, yeah. You my type, yeah. Do what you like, yeah. You my type, yeah. Do what you like, yeah. It's your night, yeah. That's right, yeah. You my type, yeah. Do what you like, yeah. It's your night, yeah. That's right, yeah. You my type, yeah. Big, big freaking uh, salute. Now that one right there, very reminiscent of. That one feels like a remix. That one right there feels like. A remix of, of course, another one where you might have said, you know, different, uh, similar freaking stuff. Of course, the beat is completely freaking different, but it does feel like a predecessor to that freaking song. I think I've said that, you know, before. Uh, but, you know, I love the production, you know what I'm saying, on this. 
uh, definitely, you know, uh, as you put the sort of like, you know, girl by the pool in the, uh, the, you know, album cover kind of situation, it did give it that, uh, you know, sitting, chilling, her chilling by the pool on a, on a good, you know what I'm saying? Night or day, you know what I'm saying? Sun is out, you know what I'm saying? Ladies having fun or whatnot. You actually go up to her, you know what I'm saying? While she's sitting by the pool side or, you know, feet in the pool and all that. And, you know, just, just, you know, get, get your game on or whatnot. Right. And again, that is initially what I try to freaking listen to or for when I'm, um, you know, going through the, uh, uh, you know, songs and, and, and stuff like that from you. It's like, okay, so where can this freaking be? Uh, and you know, sometimes you actually have it on point and, you know, um, it'll have, you know, the right vibes with the production and what you freaking do. Uh, but yeah, do you, do you look like this at, do you look at this as a remix to the other, uh, sort of freaking song or like where, where, where does it place in your freaking head in terms of that? I'm just curious. Cause sometimes like that's the exact uh, intention. Like we're like, oh, you know what? Let me make a predecessor to freaking this. I like what I was doing freaking there. And I kind of want to see which version is better or make something that's ever so slightly different yet similar. We say, which was a better Cartoon Network uh, show? Dexter's Laboratory, Grim Adventures, or Billy and Mandy? That is a good question, man. And random. That is a, such a random freaking question. Uh, if I'm going to go classic, if I'm going to go classic, like, honestly, man, like, you pick freaking those, but, like, I'd pick Powerpuff Girls out of the, out of all even you didn't name them but like they were still a part of that same shit uh and i tended to i tended to like the powerpuff girls you know what i'm saying out of all of those just because the writing was hella funny and shit like that it was it was a pet not a pet peeve but it was my guilty pleasure because people who hadn't watched it didn't get it anytime i would say and they'd be like, Powerpuff Girls, you you like you watching the girls cartoon for, you know what I'm saying? And it's not that at all. They just happen to be freaking girls and shit like that. That's it. Um, but it's funny. The writing is 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 hilarious. Not the new Powerpuff Girls. The one that they, they've gotten different actors or voice actors to, to do the voices and shit like that. The old one, perfect, you know what I'm saying? Mojo Jojo, all the freaking characters and freaking stuff like that were just, you know, hilarious. And I felt like that was you know, um, you know, and then Dex Dexter had a certain amount of, you know, I remember being obsessed with freaking Dee Dee for a freaking band and just her, her like stupidity and all that. Uh, you know, the first moment you, the first moment you hear, what does this button do? You know what I'm saying? You sort of, you know, got hooked and then figured all that freaking shit out. But, um, and then I think at a certain point, Billy and Mandy might've been freaking cool. Um, and, uh, but yeah, what would you say? Sid, I, I don't know how he came in using a word like, yeah, I always do. Um, you see, I did last night, had a good laugh. What were you talking about? Submitted. Oh, the Pokemon, uh, freaking thing. Yeah, man. Lisa had an 8.7 on that. Some stuff, some slight. He said, I made that one first. So you made this one first and then you did the other one. So then is the other one the, the kind of remix thing? Like, what What do you freaking see that as and shit? Dr. Trap Towns was freaking good. Neon was freaking good. And he said, Can you give a shout out, man, to Neon 0% or what? Neon 0%. Y'all already know what it is, man. We in here. Hold it down. You already know. Uh, let me freaking see and stuff like that. Try not to spam your stuff in the chat. The way I here's here's the freaking thing, right? So I find that if you truly want people to follow you on any specific platform, if you want to get those follows up, you want to get that, you want people to actually click on your link. The best and only time to do such a thing is when your song is playing i can't stress that enough i don't care if I have, to, I have to repeat myself throughout but that is that this is the way you know what i'm saying like when people are hearing something they like 100 you could put anything in a chat and they will freaking click on it because they want to be connected with whatever you freaking got they want to they want to know when they can hear the song that they're hearing on all platforms and yada 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 and stuff like that so do know that there's a time and a freaking place anytime you come to a review show like mine ask 
myself or the chat how do we submit to the freaking show and stuff like that take a look around the building maybe there's information in the chat and or on the screen at all times i have email right freaking here information right here always scrolling across the freaking screen and stuff like that you know what i'm saying sometimes i will go over do the freaking yo is that you submit to the freaking show right freaking here make sure you get it to my email that dorky review show at gmail.com free to submit and of course skipping nice sir mike this song's gonna burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your eyes birdman will talk to an actual bird like i'm gonna chew through this beat like a termite Very don't cool. make me put you or actual like, worms uh, like don't like my old shit i'm thinking you were high like me when i'm looking down at a bird's eye view when i'm cool better act like you surprised head to mcdonald's i'm about to still all right fries. song number two song number two i can't wait till we get the videos for all these freaking things it's gonna be it's gonna be some work for for him to freaking do and you know i'm putting pressure i'm putting hella pressure on this man to, to do videos to all these to find you know the right girls for all the freaking things and actually make that kind of freaking thing happen and you know but i i, I do think that it would be worth it in the freaking long run and stuff. right ah yeah this one's called do it to me once again what's your what's your favorite soundtrack of these these records to sort of go talk to that show to you you looking at right now right now Let's go, yeah. let's go. I like what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah, you know what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah, I like what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah, you know what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah, I like what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. You know what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah. You're the best, like two out of three. The best, you get out of me. Uh, don't settle for less. Only settle for Mr. Fresh. It's a vibe, yeah. Me and you, I'ma slide, yeah. Between your thighs, yeah. Open up, surprise, yeah. I'ma get packaged. It's a big package. I be UPS in it. How you like Mr. Fresh in it, yeah. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah. One, two, three. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Don't Give stop what you're doing to me. Stop it. I'm trying to find the Don't stop <laughs> to what you're doing the to me. Yeah. I like, like what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah. You know what you're doing to me. Ain't no way to be discreet about this shit. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah. I like what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. That you know Fitty sent by is a freaking sound. Don't stop what you're doing to me. Yeah. And don't stop what you're doing to me. I freaking knocked up on the door when she knew it was me. I let the times, man, I know what I'ma do with a ski. Go skiing and I let the times, man, I go on the freaking toilet and know that I'm gonna pee in it all the times when I know that I don't even really know what the hell that I'm gonna be and shit. But when I was little, I wanted to rap. A lot of freaking times I thought I was gonna be whack. Then, ah, uh, you should've kept the beat going, bro. I would've been able to tell a whole story. About how 1933, the segregation. Now, uh, now that. Give your thoughts. Give your thoughts. Give your thoughts. Give your thoughts. Now, some of these songs I have heard from Mr. Fresh before. Again, literally, I gotta remind y'all, we did a whole album review on the freaking show. Once again, those are often, you know, a hundred. If you are, uh, you know, what I'm saying, trying to freaking pay for them. Or if you win one on this show, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 lucky you. Uh, but it's 12 songs, you know what I'm saying, back to back. And there's more than 12 songs on the freaking album. So we only got like half of, you know what I'm saying, what was, in, what was in there. Before we listen to that album, though, he sent several of these songs to the freaking show. And, and you know, as he was working on, you know, the mixes and, and trying to figure out freaking things. Uh, this was in like the top, you know, five, you know, of, of the records. Just again, from the from the ones that I like the most with the melody, the overall, you know, sort of like concept and just the sound, which ones are the ones that I would listen to again 
um, you know, and not sort of uh, uh, get bored of or whatnot. Again, I like the melodies in, in that one. Uh, chorus sounds, uh, you know, catchy. Uh, again, I want to remind people because I don't want people to freaking think like I'm saying he's the best singer on the planet and shit like that. Like, again, we know we know what real singing is. We know, and I hope that you don't take it any kind of way whenever I say he's not the best singer and stuff like that. I only ever say that so that people know that I know, like, I know it's not, you know, some Casey and JoJo, some tank shit. It's not like that, but it's, it is still melodically decent for what he's trying to freaking do. And if you, well, I see a spider right now. What should I do? What should I do? Ah, I'm going to use this lighter. Oh, you're going to get burned, Mr. Spider. You know, you should have. Where did it go? Hello? Mr. Spider? Oh, no, it was a mosquito. Hiya! Where's my Thor's ham? Oh, motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. What did I do to my camera? I fucked up my camera. Oh, there we go. We're back. I am never going to do that again. What the freak? I, like, almost destroyed. You saw the, the camera black back there? That's basically what happened. I don't even know how long that was going on. But uh... All right, we got one more. Now, a few people were like, they, they hear 50, they, they hear like a 50 cent, you know what I'm saying? They're influencing that. I think that might be the first time like we've uh, sort of freaking heard heard that. Um, and honestly, that's a good freaking pull or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? This does sound like a record that um, 50 would be able to approach himself with his own performance. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think... Uh, uh, you know, hit that up and stuff like that. You know, how would you guys initially feel like if if Mr. Fresh said, you know what, let me sacrifice this one right here to uh make a reference record for 50 Cent so he can make it, you know, the the song or whatnot, you know what I mean? What would you guys, you know what I'm saying, feel about freaking that? Uh I honestly again, I want you to keep it for you just because you have, you know, I think you have a knack on the this specific freaking style and what you're doing with these. And like I said with the project and the videos, everything's just going to fall into place. At least in my opinion, in my humble opinion. And again, we got one more though before we move back into that free line. Hold up now. Hold up now. You know, what is your favorite of the three first second or Third, this one's a little freaky dicky. This is called Turn You Out. Already sounds freaky. Uh-uh, I know you didn't just pull out my panties and then throw them in your mouth right now. That's what she gonna say. Put that for the intro. Why would she be mad about that? Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. 
Why am I talking about flicking boogers and shit like that? I, I don't belong on this song, man. <laughs> Now, Neon, what is it? You like your birthday tomorrow or something? Listen, Neon, 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 Neon. No, well, I'll, I'll talk about it in a freaking second or something like that. Stay right there because I want to at least, I, I don't know if you got to read the message I had put in the chat a little bit freaking earlier and stuff like that about the initial whole follow situation. I will, I will say again. Uh, but listen, the uh, 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 this one right here, again, this one is the more almost this ever so slight kind of freaking X-rated, you know, one. This is one that I would, you know, uh, there are a few that I usually will say he should put like too short on, right? This one for sure. There's um, one of the other ones that had like a too short an E40 kind of vibe that I could hear them on. Um, you know what I'm saying? But but you know, I think the production also fits the you going into a, you know, slight more X rated corner kind of vibe or whatnot, right? Like if there was one if there was a record from the thing that if 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 where you met the girl at was a porno or some shit like that and the video is everything's blurred out and shit like that, so you can't see it, there's like characters and cartoons uh, you know at, on, on you know the booze or whatnot if it's something like like this would be that one or set in a 70s or 60s shag carpeting you know kind of uh uh waterbed you know like again you know th this one has that kind of freaking vibe a little bit more sort of like old school um you know if we're talking about those videos for the freaking thing uh you know but my favorite is of course the second song of the bunch what you doing to me? Don't stop what you're doing to me. This one I like the most. You know what you're doing to me. Don't stop what you're doing to me. me. You know what I'm saying? It's the one that I think would get stuck in my head. You know what I'm saying? The most. Uh, love the overall freaking vibes. Uh, you know, just to give people the remembrance of the first one. You you might type. Just so you guys can uh, remember that one as well before we jump into the freaking next. And again, I need a dress, tío. I need a dress. I need a dress. I uh, will agree. Uh, 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 come on, man. Okay, are you gonna not do it? It's like all fro. I don't wanna have to refresh. Okay. Just right. Okay, this one. So that was the first one. I want you for breakfast. Hey. Ride me like a Lexus. Hey. You must be from Texas. I gotta get it. That had a good vibe and stuff like that, but I think the um uh second one was just my freaking favorite. Now, just to get back to the freaking thing. So, uh, shout out to freaking Neon, you know what I mean? Uh on the Ben Lab freaking side. Uh first of all, I appreciate you for even being there and stuff like that. Uh, you know, essentially right about now, you know, he wants to try to get some follows and, and stuff like that, you know, before he turns, I think. 14 or, or or something uh you know which is always good it's 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 something you know simple but i want to teach you something a little bit right you should never just want anyone to follow you if they don't know who you are what you sound like or anything like that on any platform the reason why is because of this if i follow you and i don't like your stuff Anytime you post something, I'm not hitting that like button, you know, or I'm talking crap on the on the thing because it's so bad or something like that, right? So what you want to do is, you know, never ask for freaking follows. All you ever need to do is come to the show, send your music into my freaking email if you got something, whether it's a beat or a freaking song. When and if your record is playing on the show, if people like it, that's the mo that's the moment to sort of like, uh, post your freaking link in the chat, right? And let people know what the name of the song is and anything, any information about it. If people like it, they will 100% go to your freaking page, follow you, uh, hit like on the song or, or whatever you ask, you know, send them to freaking do. But it's harder to get people to do that when they literally have freaking no idea. And again, they don't know if they want to support the content yet, right? Uh, we have to earn the real feedback the real likes the real engagement from freaking people because like i don't i've never i don't follow for follow i've never just like oh let me go down my timeline and just like 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 i only like and comment 
if I actually like what I'm seeing and it makes me want to go to your post and leave that two cents. That's what you want. You want people to know, oh, when did when did I make a post that was dope that had good visuals on it that make that made you want to, you know, click on it even if you didn't know what it sounded like yet, right? There's that. And then vice versa, if there was a song what made you stay past that first five seconds and, and, and stuff like that? Like you want real people, not just, you know, uh, people who are going to follow and then like never interact with the content. Like it doesn't even help for the algorithm and shit like that. Pretty much the way social media works is that if you hit like, if you comment, if you are actually interacting with a certain stream and, and, and uh, a, a, a social media influencer of some sort, they will show you their content more. Right. And like whether you freaking subscribe or freaking not like subscribing is one thing freaking too. But I know for a fact there are certain people that I hadn't subscribed, subscribed or followed yet, but their stuff will still be in my freaking timeline. And I'll be like, you know what? Let me just give them a follow this time because, you know, you, you kind of you earned it. You somehow you've you've been in the in the algorithm, you know, what I'm saying that much. Um. Anyways, let me f leave it at freaking that. You know, I, I do. Again, I want to. I want to be able to freaking help people freaking out for freaking sure. And, but I also want you guys to not use social media the wrong way. I feel like if we get too caught up in, oh, follow, follow, follow. Like, no, I want you guys, follow me if you like the show. Simple. You know, if you like the show, you want to be, you want to know when I'm not live next first, as opposed to just happening to come across the stream and then sending in when like you're, you know, probably late or something like that then freaking follow, subscribe, and stuff like that. I appreciate anyone, you know what I'm saying, who freaking does. If I've earned it, you know what I'm saying, the more power freaking to it. But I, I don't want to beg people and, and stuff like that. I feel like it just, like, never works. Uh, but, yeah, big freaking salute to Mr. Frish. We got a freaking skip, by the way, in the freaking line. I know diamonds are the things that you wish that you had, but homie. I'm Cut a hole in the carpet and put some bricks in. Shout out to Nixon. This is where I'm fixing the rap and get this shit. Uh, let me see. So let's, who seen this one right here? Who seen this one? He sent, uh, uh, let me see. Did you send from that same email? Let me know what email and what platform you are. Sending from and stuff like that. We don't read the lineup. Wait out, read the lineup. But I can say there's at least 40 plus in the lineup across all platforms right now. You can simply wait in the free line and or you can skip the line to get played quicker or get your record played more than one song at back to back. On <laughs> in, the, in the free line. Uh, we have a skip, of course, that we're playing right now from Miss Andrea. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and appreciate that. Uh, might I suggest, though, might I suggest, uh, you know, for everybody in the building, everything should be the same across the board. You know what I'm saying? For future reference, right? That means name in the chat, right? Name in the chat. If, like, whatever your artist name is, if, if, treat everything like a business. Whatever your artist name is, always have everything be that if possible across the board, right? So your email, that should be the first name I see. That is what I freaking see, right? You're at, you're in that in the chat. Um, you know, Cash App, that would help if that was, you know what I'm saying, the freaking same as well. Uh, you know, PayPal, freaking, you know what I'm saying, everything. Basically, if someone Googles your name to sort of figure out, you know what I'm saying, uh, more about your artistry or whatever, they should have no problem, you know, finding everything, the Facebook, the YouTube, and stuff like that across the, the board. And, uh, you know, when you sort of change that a little bit, it does make it harder or whatnot. We have a lot of artists in the building who, again, you guys have artist names, but the first name that I see in the email will always be whatever you put as that first and last name when, when it asks for your freaking name. That's often where you do want to put your artist name just so... Uh, you know, you can make sure that we are always calling you by that name and, uh, you know, letting people know what the brand is, right? 
Andrea May, right about now. Featuring Plane with Control. Off Delete. Lock myself in room, turned off, so I put the ones I love through my hell, my hell At the moment it don't make sense Try to get me to do the right things Can't blame me if you give up on me Not in taking what teacher is trying to teach I'm much smarter than you think I am I know more than you think I know I play stupid to avoid the storm But the thunder I hope can hold itself no more No me what the fuck for your game Pull up all so you think it's okay And not even enjoy your the knowing the risk it will bring Harder than you think Holding on to emotions Feels better when let loose Big release when I can show them Though I regret everything The next morning See, I don't even understand myself How is it you make it harder When I'm trying to stand myself Beautiful. Lash out uncontrollably But you know me well Expected this reaction So continue to add to the fire Instead of helping putting it out the tension is built to the point where I'd rather just stay in my shell In my shell Mine. Sometimes you gotta do things that you've never done To get to places you've never been Most All you've been for those that ain't take it And don't ignore the fact that before I take, I give And I give and I give and I give And they take and they take and they take They come and they go, they come and they go And I wave and I wave on the way far away Far away, far away Sometimes you gotta do things that you've never done to get to places you've never been. Mostly get photos that ain't take it and don't ignore the fact that before I take, I give. And I give and I give and I give. And they take and they take and they take. They come and they go, they come and they go. And I wave and I wave on the way far away. Far away, 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 far away. Putting it out. Now the tension is built to a point where I'd rather just stay in my soul. In my soul. <laughs> Big salute. Amazing song. Within the genre. Amazing song within the genre. Listen, let's get right freaking to it so we don't forget the uh, actual, you know what I'm saying, record and stuff like that. First of all, you know what I'm saying, within there, whether it's a reggae tone, you know what I'm saying, or an Afro beat. Uh, uh, or, you know what I'm saying, just like a dance, you know what I'm saying, esque type of freaking record. Uh, you know, what do we always freaking look for, right? The actual talent within the record and the artist sort of like getting on within it, right? And what I love is like when we still have, like she is an artist that, you know, uh, uh, whether it's something like this or even freaking slower, you can tell she actually has an amazing voice uh, and she just makes it look and sound easy. Uh, when it comes to singing melodically on, uh, you know what I'm saying, this record. Mix was actually decent. And the fact that it was a duet between uh, uh, you and the other artists. And honestly, I wasn't even expecting that type of artist. Like, with, with both of you sort of, like, collabing, I, listening to, like, the production, I honestly thought, like, if there was going to be a feature, it'd be more of, like, a reggaeton or, like, an Afrobeat kind of artist, right? Like, that would add the that that you know international kind of flair to the record that that island vibe you know esque thing to it which is which is also still susceptible to to do for like a remix or something like that like you can always do any number of your records uh to really 
add longevity to whatever it is, right? Always, always think about that. I want every artist to, to take that note down right now. And remember that, take that to freaking heart. Any record that you guys make, if you truly believe in it, think about making other versions of that. That means have a somebody play an acoustic guitar and then just like rap or sing over that version. It was just, again, the guitar. you can slow it down. You can change the speed. You can do that. You can have somebody playing a piano and just do the piano version of the freaking song, right? Where they're playing the piano and then you're singing, you know, it's a little bit freaking slower, maybe freaking uh, for something like that. You could have a whole live band playing it, you know what I'm saying? At a certain freaking uh, thing, making it more jazzy. And like if you were performing on the Tonight Show kind of freaking thing. Uh, there's also whatever you would do at the Grammys and stuff like that, right? With, with violins, you bring violins in at some point and, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, there's no shortage of ways to, you know, add dopeness to what you do. And especially her genre, you know, along with other bands, they can do live versions of their recordings and sell that. Literally, like, you know, while you're going out and performing at venues, just have somebody there to, like, properly record it and then, like, sell that, you know, that set as a, you know, sort of like the, the live performance sort of EP of certain freaking records and stuff like that. Just make sure that it's edited properly, obviously. Um, but, yeah, I like this one. What was the full... full? Oh, yeah, three minutes and 19 seconds. She gave us a full song structure as well. Hold on, I get to hit that that dance button for them, too. To what they thought Now I don't gotta fuck to give Anymore mm. Now I'm everywhere I'm in the air But you're not And no one can get you in Talk to Going up, going up I'm going up I'm going up I'm going up and she said it's freaking not even mixing master freaking yet and shit like that she you know you take pride in that shit though but it's basically you know like it still sounds good nobody even said anything about the <laughs> the freaking mix at all you know what I mean? And, and it's still, you know, still still work that that you, you know, that's a perfectionist right there. You see what I'm saying, y'all? <laughs> you see <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> Most artists, <laughs> listen to me, man. Most artists, they make records. They sometimes freestyle everything. They, like, they won't take the time to make sure that they're performing at a hundred percent capacity throughout the entire record right they'll do their thing and then they move on to the next record right and they'll release that record with with mistakes and freaking all they'll never like make that time to go back make something freaking better and and you know there's just so much that you can do when you actually do take that time what's up you giving me a hug yeah well thank you i love you i love you more no, I, I, listen, it's because I love you, and then when I was three years old. What the heck is this? Um, I love you, it says. Uh, wait, wait, thank you. Uh, I, I suppose, even though this, this, this was mama, so you, you stole it from her. No, uh, no you stole it from her. No, I'm just playing. Uh, let me see, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else would you say? Yeah, he's an amazing freaking singer as well. So many freaking tracks together, man. Listen, well, definitely want to freaking hear more and see, like, what I, what, what is my favorite song from you guys? Uh, did you actually say who was your, who was your favorite influence? So she's been making music, by the way, y'all, uh, for what did you say? Um, let me see. I had saw. Let me go down do the thing in your mama. Uh, ten plus years, right? Making music for ten plus years, but started recording two years ago. And like, what was that like? Like, um, were you performing a lot at places, or like singing at at you know what I'm saying like church, or or you know just kind of like. And, and was it a lot of covers at first? Like, when did when did you get into, like, you know, making original records where you're like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a new uh, a producer and I'll write to the beat, you know what I'm saying? Not do, like, a, a, a remix kind of thing. Because, again, I think a lot of artists will sometimes start off with the 
that covers, you know, a little bit more karaoke and, and stuff like that. And then once they get comfortable with writing and figuring that out and where they where they should go, a little more practice it goes into the freaking singing and stuff like that. Oh, snaps, PG freaking Brown in the freaking cusp or whatnot. Listen, uh, we gonna keep that vibe freaking going. I know diamonds are the things that you wish that you had, but homie, I'm Do my own. Nice. Yeah, see? See? Karaoke, man. I take pride in just how I freaking think, man. I love when I'm spot on with, like, with just how I'm thinking and what, what you got. And listen. Um... But it's good to have you, you know, a, a part of the freaking culture and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop. As for as per usual, you know, don't stop. You got a freaking talent, and um, you know, we want to be able to continue to freaking uh, uh, hear more. I think we need we need actual freaking, you know, what I'm saying, singers as your freaking self uh, all the time to, uh, to remind people that not everything has to have auto tune. Like you, you, you can if you can sing. Like, put that out. Like, people will always be impressed. What's up? What bread? What bread? Was it new? Uh, just grab it tomorrow. Then, because it's still out, right? Matter of fact, give me one right now. Give me a freaking, it's a Hawaiian red is what it is. I, all right, PG Brown, we got you coming up freaking right now. Enemy by uh, PG Brown. Now, PG Brown, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of a singer himself. Uh, and so, what am I to do it between y'all two? Let's see what he's brought towards us today. And let the crowd be the judge. Do y'all want to hear a song between PG Brown? You thought I was the enemy, but I'm out here giving parts of me, grabbing at my soul. Tell them to let go of me. I'm just trying to be free in a crowded room with strangers. Locked in on me Pressure on myself, feeling like I'm going out of breath, sucking all the life out of me. Is this truly me that I see? I don't know the man in the mirror staring at me. You thought I was the enemy, but I'm out here giving parts of me, grabbing at my soul. Tell them to let go of me I'm just trying to be free In a crowded room with strangers Locked in on me I lot of more parts for me to freaking have more rhymes I freaking had to swallow all of the freaking bread that I ate Cause if I didn't, then I would've had sound weird and you'd hate I was <laughs> oh, man. I'm 
You know what? Right there. Take this. Say we had enough. Say we stand up. Stand down. One false move. Man down. On the mission. Can't stop us. Like I said, homie. Man, we had enough. Come together. On one accord. Unstoppable. I can't breathe. That's it again. Cut away of 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 you know approval essentially you know what I'm saying for uh, for the thing now once again PG Brown man got a voice freaking on him as I stated before he was even freaking played you know what I'm saying so you know I was telling the truth and now you guys can all trust me forever um but did a great job with that record right you know what I'm saying and essentially um you know he said it was a song dealing with anxiety I think there's nothing better than an artist that you know vocally you know you are you can you can you know you could make nothing but just straight up r&b and stuff like that but when you also try to you know go into some of the different topics and you know you make it more real that that is where actual artistry i think you know also freaking lies right um and again the writing with everything is always going to be important um, you know, use use your voice and for for whatever you guys freaking can. But like again, when you got that talent, like people people call on you guys to actually come to the festivals and and you know different things to perform and and you know uh, uh, be in the freaking crowds. You guys are the ones that people definitely shouldn't mind uh, paying to you know perform at the venue because we can hear the talent. We just know there's gonna be something. Uh, again, you know, we all know the difference, man. We know when we're hearing someone who like, nah, you need, you better pay the venue so that you can perform because like people don't really need to hear you. Like, you know, you, you want them to hear you, but they don't need to hear you. Then there are the artists who you're like, thank you for coming to this venue to perform for us because I needed that. I needed, you know, that, that type of sound, that feel, um, you know what I'm saying? It would have been dope to, no, it will be dope to hopefully eventually get something from him and Andrea. Uh, vocals and everything was freaking dope on, on this song. Mix was freaking good. Uh, and, you know, another uh, potential freaking classic. Uh, you know, if there's any plan for a potential video uh, to that song, you know what I'm saying? That would also be dope. And, you know, just to read off some of the freaking comments over here, you know what I'm saying? Andrea was like, ooh, vocals, yes. Um, STO said, cough, cough, this would be a dope collab. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Andrea said, for, for freaking sure. The vocals, my gosh, Andrea said, uh, STO, you know what I'm saying, man? His vocals and lyrics have so much power and come across so fluidly. Um, uh, Andrea said, you know what I'm saying? I love this, absolutely beautiful. Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. Need this on Spotify. See, I was asking if it was on Spotify yet, or you know, saying if you do, you're like, let us freaking know. Can you put the artist and song in the freaking chat? Give me a moment. Uh, well, he's on the YouTube right now, so you can head to the YouTube side if you want to link up with him at the moment. PG Brown, if you do have a TikTok, you know, uh, you can also make your way to the TikTok side and uh lingo with either of them freaking there and stuff like that man but we are on all platforms wherever you guys freaking decide to meet up at do what y'all gotta do it's pg pg brown i put this pg brown right there now that song was an mp3 so i don't have a link for it um but there's his uh, his thing or whatnot. We will be jumping, of course, in the line up again right about now. So once again, thank y'all for y'all freaking patience as we come freaking through. 
um, and all that good stuff. That was a nice little two records. Go back to back. Now, Joy said, you have to confront your fears. Cool, it needs more work, but you can uh, uh, go live singing it and freaking record. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got two cents. Oh, nigga, no. Yeah, I got two events next week, and so that that's what's up. It is out, he said. So, uh, so PG Brown, and then the name of the song was Enemy, all right? So just search that up. You should be able to find it. He also just came over to the uh, TikTok side as well. So, again, link up. Get that thing in there. We're going to go ahead and jump. See, once again, I downloaded a file, and it ends up being Something all on its freaking own. We're back in the free line, y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Bro, it's two in the morning, fell asleep and I'm yawning. I'm waking up on the lawn, I'm seeing blue and orange. People follow me to school and copy me a tool. I stopped and put my music on. I'm just crawling like a zombie, knowing I'm a Nazi, probably in his uniform. Born identity, homie, you've been warned. My brain is always like a unicorn. Notes! I'm writing notes. I see. Yep, and that's the answer I have for the for the notes there. There's there's the notes. And notes being written. Let's see. Zachary Williams, Big Z, new beat called Happy. This is a beat. This is a beat. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. We can win the hell, but the beat gonna start because you know I'm gonna quit. I am someone who really does not have no patience all of the time when you freaking don't like it. So hopefully y'all don't just sit there and but say, happy? Okay, there it goes. There's a lot of time when I freaking gotta look right inside of my nose. Find out if there's someone inside just trying to freaking hide. Like, what the fuck are you doing there? I don't even know what is happening, but when I'm up in the forest, I just like really run from a bear. Also a rap win. People like, why you got black beards? Hat and that's something that I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do, but you know what I rap? Yeah. Uh, no, see. George Estrada, what's up, man? What up to everybody chilling? There's a lot of people in the building. Every time you freaking send a beat, like hopefully I can go and kill it and like have a y'all up freaking be a freaking dude that I say I am hotter than a skillet and I like don't know what the hell I'm about to do. But like shout out to my mama Phyllis and like I been freaking doing what I got to. Sometimes I would wonder what Tupac was freaking doing whenever he freaking shot up in the freaking game and he didn't even know that he's not the guided. Live forever, sometimes if I am cold, I will go and I'll get a sweater But listen, a lot of dorks are cool, but no one did it better I also know that like if I don't send a text, I get a letter Then write it and send it to you, freaking You know that I do whatever I gotta do But I am the shit in, in the sewer and Oh my gosh, man Why did, like this, I remember Did you send this beat? Like two streams ago or something like that? Cause I think I remember this part right freaking here. Like as this part comes up, I remember thinking like the piano was like familiar. I remember thinking the intro was freaking long before the actual like rap parts came in and stuff like that. So lock in and snap Dorothy rap about video games. Lock in and snap. All of the freaking people like me, they ain't even talk when I rap. I'm trying to think of the shit that you talked about but I don't even know if I can do that But I am trying I don't even think that I'm looking inside of my freaking mind But I don't even think that there is something that's bright enough to like go blind them <gasps> Hold up! So many games I could talk about like <laughs> Why? Why? Listen, listen I like so I'll tell you freaking this, right? When it does come in, when it does come to like topic specific, right? When it, my mind is random when it comes to like freestyling, like straight up, straight up, right? This, which is why I only ever do it during the freaking live. When I write though, that is when I can lock in on 
a very specific, you know what I'm saying, topics, you know, situations, uh, uh, whatnot, you know what I'm saying? I could use, uh, for instance, Five Nights at Freddy's as an example, right? I made a song called Five Nights at Freddy's. Like I was in the freaking game. Five nights at Freddy's I'm high like a flight kite But I'm like I'm ready I'm blind like three blind mice I grab my machete Cause I ain't never worked here before But I heard things were odd like a Yeti If I die, I wanna come back like I'm Letty From the Fast and Furious franchise I'm sweaty Cause I swear these robots are alive and gon' get me But we'll see how long I last and how long my shift be Listening to my voice mode This place has a history In 1987, several children went missing Be some fat guy in a bunny suit Lured them in the kitchen or the bathroom or back room And killed them all instantly So no one wants to work here Especially with no cops Afraid I don't want to get stuffed inside a robot I hope my shift ends really soon Cause they won't stop I'm trying to keep the lights on and doors But they won't lock Try to spend five nights at Freddy's And see if you survive Cause the five nights are deadly A bunch of robots in the night I'm forgetting That you're gonna be scared Like the night you to get me Try to spend five nights at Freddy's And if you're still alive by the sunrise, you're ready I know this job's dumb, but if you like uh-huh. my medley uh-huh. Then you can choose your vibe, so there's no need to All right, now, wow. just to give another example of what not, right? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I honestly don't have... <laughs> I don't get a lot of time to do this shit. But I do want to be able to use examples, right? Where you can sort of, like, you know what? How can, how can one get on freaking some topics, stay in some freaking shit or whatnot? I also did one called Silent Hill Time, themed to Silent Hill. If you've played those games or watched the movies. This one. And again, I sampled the, I sampled the game on this one. The Five Nights at Freddy's one. I, that was a, an original beat I made. And with this yo, one. Hey, yo, I went to sleep in real life and woke up in Silent Hill. Walking around the city hearing dying babies crying still. And I would like to try to chill. But every five minutes, some alarm comes on. And the world's a darker image. This place was just foggy or smoky. And now it's really dark. And I'm more scared of what I don't see. Right about now, I could probably use a Loki to do some freaking magic before this pyramid head guy pokes me. There's something shiny in the corner I should go see. It seems to be some kind of coin or an old key. But where the hell does it lead? I hope it ain't the library because he doesn't read. Or I am feeling kind of lonely until I see a bunch of creepy monsters in the mirror trying to creep up on a homie. I really don't remember how I got here or if I still exist. Should I even take the risk and am I not here? Or what time is it? Well, fuck it, it's Silent Hill time. Yeah. Let's play this shit right now so we can kill time. Even with the strategy guy told me I'm still dying. Even though I don't want to die, homie, I'm still trying. This is scarier than Resident Evil. And I know both of these games have so many sequels. But the creatures in this game frighten so many people. Let me continue the song, and I don't mean to keep you up. Saw the movie, played the game, and everybody says the same. We're all really confused, but we're kind of scared to say our name. Passed out and woke up in the middle of passing out. And passed out again, then woke up in an abandoned house. I wish you like, for real, all that home. shit happens, man. Like, literally, literally. You know what I'm saying? You go from waking up in some freaking different world, passing out again. Now you're in a different freaking world. Now you're in. It's, it's a lot of weird freaking shit or whatnot, right? So if you listen to that freaking song and then you and it, you've never watched the movies or played the games, you know what I'm saying? No, I am literally freaking spot on. There are people who have played the games who know who like feel like they feel like they're playing it because they know like man. In uh, some ways, you've literally spelled out the sequence of events that happens. Uh, and and just how confusing sort of like and, and scary the, the shit is and whatnot. Shout out to the first Silent Hill movie, by the way. That was probably the best of the sort of like films. I think they did about freaking two so far. First one was spot on and they even got the, uh, the, the guy to do the the guy who did the game soundtrack to, you know, bring his stuff back for the movies. They did actual shots from the games in the movie. They did, you know, uh, whole environments and freaking things like that. Like, that's probably the best fi- video game to film adaption next to maybe The Last of Us. Uh, Detective Pikachu was kind of cool. Uh, da, 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 da. what do you got? What do you guys freaking think? What uh, Mario Brothers was was cool. I think both the live <laughs> the live action on uh, the back back in the day. I still fucked with though. Uh, but yeah, big freaking salute, man. And uh, hold on, Mister. 
Mr. PG, yes, we are reviewing songs as always. Now, PG, I think, sent in, he said a, a beat, I think. He said a beat, no name yet. Also, I'm gonna uh, spin a wheel for you and two as well, like you uh, got the thing to a hundred. Got the thing to a hundred. There's a lot of time, when a lot of time, when you send a freaking beat to the freaking show and homie, man, I wanna spin. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna get, like one ten or there's other times where like people just want a friend and like when I freestyle like half of y'all want it to end and like I don't know if like when I freestyle I wanted a pen to like write some shit a lot of times I do this every night and shit like hopefully what the hell that I say is really tight and shit some people like me can rap with or without a mic and shit a lot of times I want to freaking like it one two freaking and like three strikes and shit when I play baseball a lot of freaking things up in my life I gotta face y'all And people always wonder If my freestyle gonna be great y'all A lot of freaking people Either like it or they hate y'all And people really don't know What the hell they're gonna say But there's a lot of people Who don't even like rap But they'll play ball And all the times When I'm rapping to All of y'all beats I always wanna freaking tell How for y'all When y'all win the streets Y'all gotta do the freaking dirt That you do But like be discreet Cause if you don't Like the popos are coming They'll get you freaking Like whether you are With or with freaking Without your heat And I know That there's a lot of people That know I be The freaking dude That'll let you come to the show And send me IPs I also Want to tell you That by nose It's just on me Cause I know I want to sniff shit Also I'm really gifted And half of y'all freaking know That I really haven't Like give shit In like a long time And all of y'all know That I don't know What I'm a freaking do, But I'm like You all my Oh man I like that I barely got the whole. Now, real quick, I am gonna let the, before I review it, I wanna let the beat play by a freaking self or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, just just for y'all y'all purposes and stuff like that. Hold up, hold up now. Oh, no, no, let, let, let's start that over. Or whatever, I'm gonna shut the hell up. And then we'll come right back to it. and master freaking dope. So listen, the beat is freaking dope as hell. I like that production is nice. Even though you say it's not freaking mixed, like we can still hear the potential overall. Like it's not not mixed in a way where we wouldn't still make a record to it and release it. You know what I'm saying? As is and shit like that. Like it still sounds dope. The drums uh, that that go with are freaking dope. 
uh you know what I'm saying structure so far is uh sort of freaking nice and stuff like that what was the full myself I forgot where i played it from right now hold on um let me see in full it's only like one minute and 46 seconds okay so uh what do i do when it, and i remind you guys as producers all right i want you to at least make it a point to like first like make three verse versions like make extended versions of your beats and then have you can it's okay to have the shorter versions you know what i'm saying like like this one uh to you know to, to show as a sample right on certain platforms right but even when you do that it's like i want you to in the description let people know hey there's an there's an extended version of this if people need it for like ciphers or one or two to three verse kind of scenarios and stuff like that um and just let them know to hit you up in case they want to pay that extra to you know to get you know different things like you guys should always have options with the the different type of beats that you freaking make and stuff like that if people want stems there should be one price if people want you know the wave in the mp3 you know what i'm saying and stuff like that uh if they want an extended version of the freaking beat you can freaking do something if they want uh you know you to build something around their, their vocals and stuff like that which is also always nice right like it, there's an option for you know okay you can go ahead and rap to what i have there then send me back your vocals and i'll add even more stuff on top of it to make the production and you know things a lot better like you know there's so many options like that um but let people know in the descriptions of where you release the, the production if possible just so they know that they can get that because some artists will literally only rap to what you provide them with right i don't believe that there are you know, there are some people who do think, uh, think, oh man, people have short attention spans. So uh, let's uh, let me make a short record. So then that forces producers to think that they should, you know, just make, you know, the shorter freaking beat or whatnot because they think that's the more popular freaking thing to do. And I don't believe in that. I don't believe that anyone's attention span is short. It's the artist. If the artist has enough energy enough ideas to switch it up throughout the record to give up to give us many things to get excited for we'll go however long that you can do it literally we've 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 had ciphers that have been like a hundred artists on the freaking shit and, and gone through that whole freaking thing or whatnot to freaking see you know who, what what's who's the best artist of the whole thing and stuff like that who kept this freaking thing at what point do you get bored you know and and you know it, it always comes down to the individual artists themselves if you're very repetitive on a record if you have no energy you're just saying the same shit people have heard it all before people of course are not gonna care for your record being that long but then you have to ask yourself am i comfortable with making these records am i comfortable with you know only putting in like minimal effort you know just because i don't feel like making you know that longer freaking song and shit like that you guys have the power in your freaking hands straight up you know what i'm saying like like 100 i've never fast forwarded past like a jay-z song a twister song a buster rhymes you know what i'm saying like they kill it jordan lucas does his freaking thing uh, uh you know what i'm saying you guys you guys, you guys know what I'm freaking saying or whatnot. Who sent? Did you send another? He sent another. PG Brown getting his freaking things in. He getting his freaking things freaking in. That freaking now. Let me see. What did you say? What did you pin right there? 10K likes. Oh shit! We got the 10K likes over there on the TikTok. <laughs> so far tonight, at least on this episode. Appreciate that, y'all. He got the 10K likes on the episode. Your mind, no. Let me see. Let me go and read some of y'all freaking comments real quick before we uh jump back freaking in there. Okay, I'm still here. Shout out to freaking Trito, man. You know what I'm saying? You need a, a chorus. Uh, Joy was freaking saying. Uh, let me see. Me and wifey. Uh, oh no. Oh no. It does say Sorry to freaking hear that, man. No. Listen, bro. Hold on. I mean, like, again, I. I it's per he put it in the chat, but I kind of don't want to just like announce everything that he's saying right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know, hold on. I'm gonna make it one-sided real quick. Um, 
damn man <sighs> all right um first of all you know my heart goes out to you bro you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna say that uh keep your head up i'm glad that you are still out and about and around and able to freaking tap in to keep us updated with any kind of situations that may happen to you as you know we all go through many freaking things and stuff like that stack is you know what i'm saying locked up freaking right now by the way uh, i think you were sort of the last person that was able to freaking contact him for a bit uh if you know where you know if if there's still a way to, to contact him you know what i'm saying uh you know saying let me freaking know because uh the last freaking thing you know what I'm saying that that we sort of had he's not working i think he was moved to some somewhere else or something like that if you know let me freaking know but um in terms of again again you know what i'm saying keep, keep your head up you know and you know the the only thing that i can really sort of like try to try to impart in freaking to you is that you know when it comes to this music man the reason why i've always freaking you know tried to you know help you guys stay motivated to continue to do it because i stopped at one freaking point uh and so like that but it's, it's because we we go through these different situations and to be able to put it in the song or put our anger our frustration the things that we go through the realness and you know like that's the things that that connect with people because there are a lot of people that will go through the same situations and you know they don't want to feel like they're freaking alone your songs can often be the soundtracks to those situations and uh you know what i'm saying man it it, it definitely uh you know what i'm saying freaking sucks but uh you know do do what you gotta freaking do uh you know tap in when you freaking can it's always a freaking honor and stuff like that now we do got another skip from P pg brown so we're gonna go ahead and get right beacon in do that i know and diamonds are the things that you wish that you had but homie <laughs> For the broken fam. Yep. Exactly. You saw that. Also, PG. Um, you know, again, I'm gonna spend the will. I'm gonna spend. I need a. I need one to ten from you, PG Brown, right now. Uh, in the freaking chat, just from PG Brown specifically or whatnot. Uh, for those who do not know, once again, for any artists who specifically, uh, when you got when you're skipping the line. A lot of you guys come through throughout the freaking day. Sometimes you'll just send one song. Sometimes it's a, a three song about to bag, maybe a takeover skip, something like that. But I always add the amount up, um, you know, throughout all of what you guys are freaking sending and stuff like that. But uh, there are certain points in the show where like, again, if a specific artist sends a skip and then it gets us over a certain amount, that one artist who, you know, got it over the threshold, so to speak, they can you know spin the wheel not have to wait till the end of the stream that you know we usually hold the uh the main freaking giveaways and stuff like that so we do want to be able to do that for you and you said six so give me one moment and then we'll uh, throw your second thing in i got a golden ticket i got a golden chance to make my way and with a golden ticket it's a golden day I think I've taken too many drugs and I'm in another universe and I was trying to get buzzed in a studio and do a verse but now I'm seeing an image of Coolio on Jupiter if I was in the hospital I probably want to do the nurse out of all 80s movies I'm watching Ferris Bueller first I'll walk right up to a bully and be like homie do your worst if you don't got any gas a freaking razor scooter works this one ain't for the kitty so super Steve you can curse I really want to grow up cause I don't want to go down yeah. someday i'm gonna blow uh -huh. up they love it how my flow sounds yeah. you hate on me but so what uh -huh. i know you wanna throw down yeah. but i just wanna throw up someone give me a bow now yeah. i just wanna be a doodle chillin uh -huh. but i'm always dealing with the madness yeah. i just wanna be up on the beach uh -huh. How the white chillin' with a bad bitch yeah. I just wanna live up in the city and go bananas yeah. I just wanna yeah. hear the water and every little girl is dealing with a sadness yeah. I was a nice in class, I would always like to laugh And always get in trouble from my teachers cause I'm writing raps my bad. Vanilla ice was trash, I'm never on a righteous path nope. I throw a diaper at my wife and then get sliced in half One day, 
<laughs> one day Vanilla Ice is gonna confront me about that. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, so why'd you say I was trash, man? Um, honestly, I don't feel like that passionate about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 you know what I'm saying? It is one of those things that I do, I do look back on and I'm like, you know, I probably could have said something else right I in there. Um, you know, it's not like he's, he's, he's the worst, right? There were, there are definitely worse artists. Uh, and he has, he has some decent figure shit or whatnot. So if asked, I'll always, I'll come with that. So what did you say? Did he say four? I forgot the number six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. Sucker. What happened to the sound of it? The wheel spinning and shit. Now, there are three thresholds as of right now, 200 and 300. If we get to 200, whoever gets us there will get to spin this wheel two times and or get two times worth the prize. All right, you just won two skips right freaking now. Congratulations. Congratulations. Those are two one song skips, not a two song back to back, just an FY freaking I or whatnot. Now these are two for you to put in your pocket. Whether you decide to send them on this episode or not, completely up to you. Uh, but you must always, anytime you win a skip on the show, you have to put hashtag free skip one of two. You know, like if you if like right now you want two, so hashtag free skip one of two, and then the next one hashtag free skip two of two, and you know what I'm saying like vice versa, all of that figure stuff. But yeah, congratulations. Let's go ahead and again get your official paid skip in the thing. Once again, I appreciate y'all patience in the building. Okay, there we go. Spell. You said this one is not mixed as well man yeah i'm not mixed though man be like what you talking about man what you talking about what else could you possibly gonna do what else could you possibly do all right here we go here is the essential beat once again y'all yeah, yeah, remember he did put in a uh, one song skip oh, this might be for a singer for show it might be for figure singer for show. Sure. I might be trying to figure out my flow. Sorry, I don't make melodic freaking records. I don't even want to smoke the chronic. All the freaking people, they don't even know what the hell I'm freaking about to freaking do. But you know that I'm, I'm honest. I don't even know if I'm honest. All the freaking people know that I don't even know what the hell I'm really talking about. But you know what, man? Hey, yo, shout out the comment. All of the people be running around and they asking the question. You know what? Like, I don't want to run away because you know what? I will probably like be blasting a weapon at you. And I don't even think that I like that freaking people will freaking be mad if they step in shit. There's a lot of people who will freaking probably get on this beat and be rapping so quick that they don't even think that I want to beat that dude that tell you that I don't even think it's sick, but you think that I always. I, like, I can keep going, but I just wouldn't stop it. A lot of rappers want to change the topic. All of y'all freaking don't know if I can tell y'all that I don't think but all about this. Listen, slaying in parts. Everybody want to pull the freaking whole game apart. People also know that this ain't just about freaking bar. Oh. Half of the Simpsons. Out of a fact, half of y'all would hit this Who would like rip it Up so much that when you freaking hear them on the freaking beat it's terrific Half of y'all would freaking eat them seeds up on this beat like it was a picnic People be like, hey would you pick this or Would you get up on the beat and lick it Is this one of those situations where you freaking sit and waiting and you ain't really got no patience but you Be like, I kinda like it but I don't so fuck you What are we doing here? Are you gonna go and clear the sample? There's a lot of freaking times and places where you don't even know if you can really go. Let me stop it. Yeah, this definitely ain't. <laughs> I like the first one a little bit freaking better out of the freaking two, but. I do think about like an artist such as yourself hopping on something like that. I think about more of a singer. In between R&B, soul,
this is definitely, you know, and if it's going to be a rapper, to be honest, you know, I think Mr. Works, you know what I'm saying? If you've uh, come across him from the uh, community, uh, quite freaking literally this, man, uh, just to give you a little bit of a taste. Take a seat. And after that, pick a beat. Get a hook ready. Get a verse ready. Because we about to make this heat. Who was that sitting in the booth? I really don't know. Let me hit the light. It's kind of dark in this room. Wait. I know who that is by the mic, man. Don't worry about him. That's a dude named Works. Don't waste your time. He let anybody say they love him, and if they lie, he let it slide. Yeah, he the type of nigga you can ask for help and give him nothing in return, knowing damn well he need help too. But well, that's his fault. You live and you learn. Plus, he the main nigga you can pick up the phone and call the one you can vent to. But when it's his turn to call, don't pick up the phone. That's what his kin do. He a local artist, but he's still at the bottom, moving slow on some snail shit. Man, it's 2020. Everybody telling everybody business. I'ma tell he has got a baby mama named Tiara. Who died in 2016 Got her name tatted on the left side of his neck Dude is a wreck Never seen nobody cry more than him Why you think nobody bothering him? He started the team Everybody left like fuck his vision Who following him? Wait a minute So just to think about that again Imagine his voice and just like him rapping a little bit fast Or something like that That's if he was just rapping I guess I can still hear some melodic artists. And like, look, by the way, the drums hit a certain level of, you know, trap artists can freaking hop on, but also the pianos hit a certain level of, again, straight up R&B, like real R&B, real soul artists, even gospel. Now, you know what I'm talking about anyways. Uh, shout out to freaking STO and stuff like that. So that was, again, PG Brown. He had sent another freaking beat and stuff like that. These were sent as freaking MP3s. Of course, there's no link as far as, I don't know, man. PG Brown, do you have a place that you do put any of your finished uh, product when it comes to sort of like beats? Some people can, you know, check them out and possibly, uh, you know, uh, 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 take a poiches. Uh, or, or, or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And, and if not, might I suggest, you know, there, there is, there is of course, uh, a band lab. There is Beat Stars. There is, of course, your own website. There is also, you know, uh, uh, I, I recommend that uh, you guys upload your beats to all platforms, you know, via distributors and stuff like that. And then, you know, give an option to where, like, again, if people want to pay the exclusive price for uh, that, whatever, again, you choose the price. You choose the exclusive price for them to, you know, for 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 you to be able to take the beat off of all platforms to allow them to then, you know, monetize it in, in freaking that way. Uh, you know, because at the very least, if people are playing your beats, uh, you know, whether it's over and over for free or just like, you know, trying to make random songs or like one verse kind of situation, at the very least, you know, every time it gets freaking played, you know, you're also getting paid for that play. Even if, again, even if it was on all platforms right now, Right. Uh, even if you sent me that MP3, it would be registered right now. Like the 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 audio would have been picked up and it would register as a play, uh, you know, that would, uh, you know, like literally when the, when my YouTube then is saved, if, you know, we're lucky enough to, to for it to be allowed to freaking do that, um, it'll actually show you what specific songs might have been played on the stream if it 
is on all platforms. Like they'll have a sort of like little sort of like list right in there. And again, you'll get you'll get actually get at least a little songs. Huh, man. My guy. Oh, and then uh, um, if it's SoundCloud, you know, leave a snippet on SoundCloud and then tell them, hey, it's oh, uh, you go to my website if you want the full version, go to sound, go to Spotify, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can do all that. You said it's yes, it's already ready. Oh, there we go. Okay, look. Who am I talking to right freaking now? He said, but I do have, you know what I'm saying, contract already written up. That's what's good. And he said, uh, no, just started, but uh, they can directly hit me up. All right, well. Uh, third thing I, that I'll um, recommend to you is for you to make live action videos of you making some of these beats on um, TikTok and IG and YouTube shorts and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Or is it YouTube Reels and shit? I, I honestly forgot. Um, but essentially, even even again, whether you whether you can, you know hit the pads and do all of that or you're just like playing your beat and bobbing your head it doesn't matter man producers need to freaking know this for a fact you know what i'm saying like so many of you guys can sell beats just like freaking that all it takes is you showing it in the right sort of places at review shows like mine is a freaking great place because we have a lot of freaking artists in the building and stuff like that right so there's always somebody that whether they rewatch the show or they're they're freaking they're live they'll you know Show that freaking interest and, you know, tap in to see what else you freaking got and uh, freaking all that. But then uh, for those of you who can, you know, do the things where either you're making the beat from scratch on a TikTok kind of video kind of thing, or you simply play it from, you know, its completion on like, you know, Fruity or Logic or your keyboard or freaking something like that. And just, you know, bob your head with a text up, up top or somewhere that says, you know, spit your hottest 16 or something like that, right? Essentially, you want to get the word out about the freaking beat, right? You know what I'm saying? The, the right people, if they're interested, they'll always actually freaking reach out, right? Uh, and aside from that, you'll get the most promotion that you could ever possibly get on, you know what I'm saying, most freaking platforms, right? Because when we enter any kind of challenge, when we see that there's a thing that we can duet with, we always are going to promote it. There's no way that we're going to make any kind of freaking post or waste our time with something that we're not going to want to promote the shit out of, right? So if I enter a challenge, I'm going to freaking share that shit. I may pay for the, you know, the for it to be seen by more people or something like that. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll make sure to tag you. Uh, and again, then you have the right to then go do a reaction to whatever anyone like myself or somebody else has done to your beat. And then that will also bring everybody right back to you again. And you know what I'm saying? Like it'll literally just topple on itself like a million times and stuff like that. And again, uh, 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 I've seen whole music videos happen like that, like where, you know, the producer put out the freaking beat as a freaking little bit of a challenge, hot 16 kind of freaking thing. The artist, you know, entered the challenge, promoted the thing enough to where the producer actually reached out to the freaking artist and they got, they linked up and did a music video, like an actual together, let's have a thing where we're in a classroom and yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I wish I could sort of have that trajectory because I remember I remember seeing it like literally one by one. I remember seeing the the beat first, right, by the producer. And then I remember seeing one of our artists from the community actually hop on that freaking beat and then eventually do their little, you know, version for the for the TikTok. And then eventually I saw the uh, the the music video that I did, which was very good quality, which was dope, you know what I'm saying? Cause you got to sort of like get a little bit behind the scenes, but in real time uh big salute let's go ahead and head back into the free line of course i appreciate you for that right figure man Once again, to everybody else in the building, I appreciate y'all freaking patience. We're going to go ahead and jump right back freaking in and see where we are freaking at, man. Mr. Daddy Money. Where is... Let me check Band Lab freaking real quick, too, because often uh, we can only stream about four hours on the Band Lab side before it cuts, and then we either got to bring them back or leave you be... Dirty money entertainment. 
Yeah, I think we passed that threshold. Hold on. We've been dreaming so for more than four hours. Jamaican has no but another hit on take gun. Smoke the tech, they're going up a damn from break gun. Hey. Think I'm sleeping, yo, highly mistaken. Okay. As soon as I wake, I start smoking like Jamaican. All right. Has no but another hit on take gun. Dirty money. Smoke the tech, they're going up a damn from break gun. Medication traveled all over the nation. Don't matter where I'm at, you know I'm blazing. Like a full 20 celebration. I should have tried meaning of levitation. Play your mom from in a situation. Or if you need some ah, motivation, that's me my medication. As soon as he is everybody's expectation, I'ma break it down and put it in the rotation. Rather have you higher than a space station. Since you hit the wish, you at this galaxy. No hesitation. Think you're stuck in meditation, but we just your make a blessing. Soon as I wake, I start smoking like Jamaican. Highs low, but another hit on take gun. Smoke your dead thing going up and then from take gun. Thinking I'm sleeping, yo, highly mistaken. Soon as I wake, I start smoking like Jamaican. Crazy freaking thing is, this was a completely different approach for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, in like, no, that don't get me wrong. Like, he's made records where it was. And I I have to kind of go back to the freaking beginning or whatnot. He's made a lot of different records. Some of them are torque records. Some of them are are trap records. Uh, some are drill. Some are, you know what I mean? Like he, he tries a lot of a lot of genres, um, but it but it usually has been, you know, most of the more mainstream centric or whatnot. He's he produces freaking most of his freaking stuff as well. Um and he has a few that were like 420 centric, but uh often he uses a different kind of energy. He has he has often like a, a more aggressive kind of voice and, and I'm often, you know, uh uh, uh relating him and a few others back to like the big bad wolf and and shit like that in terms of like how their voices will sound um this is a lighter version of him it's a more on beat version of, of him a more structured version outside of again i think you switched up the chorus a little bit on the uh the, the last one or whatnot which is again whether it was on purpose or you know a little bit of an accident and you moved it on the wrong side of the beat kind of situation um those are only the little imperfections and stuff like that that i would sort of you know fix or whatnot because again you want people to know exactly where they're supposed to freaking say stuff on the record not be confused um when they're on a different freaking part um 
as there have been some times where that has uh, happened or whatnot. Uh, let me see if you haven't heard. Let me see. This reminds me. Yeah, I, rem I remember that one. I remember that for freaking sure. Um, and shout out to freaking Nas or whatnot. Um, Nas is, you know, listen. You know, he, he, he's always, you know, tried some freaking dope things like that and done the thing. He said, I do go uh, live a lot when I'm freaking doing it. That's what's up. Be a mind. Uh, yeah, so you were talking about freaking that. Joy said, you know, some of my music is very popular. Or is not very popular. And so that he always will be one day. You know, you did need to figure it out. Joy, all you need to do, all right? I'm getting you the secret right now. Shout out to freaking Ramsey. Uh, all you need to do is take your freaking time, you know? Figure out, figure out what type of artist or producer that you actually want to be. What do you want to be perceived as 10 years from freaking now, you know what I'm saying, for the type of music that you actually freaking make or whatnot. For me personally, right, all I ever want to make sure that I'm doing when I'm making any song is like if I give you like a slight awkward eye, but then you, it's also something that's kind of freaking dope. If I, if I, if you, if you know what I mean, if you, if you chuckle smile laugh you know i just want you to have a good time when you're listening to to what i do and you know yeah i am of the genre that i need you to be able to hear what i am saying uh so that you can again determine how dope or not freaking something is or whatnot right so i don't try to uh just make it about you know just just anything that's not the freaking lyrics and shit like that i try to make sure that i'm you know making or hopping on uh, you know, dope beats that I freaking feel and shit like that. And again, I can't wait to, you know, start working on a new project and, you know, seeing what I freaking got and to see what you guys freaking think or whatnot. That's the other thing, man. Always be humble and know that not everybody is going to like every song that you do. Your job is to simply make your art, hopefully make the best version of that freaking art and see what people think. You know what I mean? Like literally, how many albums do have you heard from some of the bigger artists where sometimes it was like the dopest album on the freaking planet and then other times, you know, might have not been their their freaking best or whatnot, but they were able to try again later with another freaking project and stuff like that, right? Um, so just like them, you know, we're susceptible to that same thing, but your job is to try to make the best stuff, right? If you work with the right producers, if you have your track listing, you know what I'm saying, properly, if you market everything right, if you have a good quality, you know what I'm saying, album covers, music videos, content for all of the above on all of your social media and are just really active with it. Like people just want to know that you do this music shit for real and not just like, you know, it's for fun or once a year or you know what I'm saying whatever it is and you know you guys will be freaking good let's go ahead and see if we can hop back into the free line once a freaking again as we roll freaking it through uh and once again Ben Lab is gone at the moment but I will think about the break no I don't want to we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll leave it and um you know what I'm saying most people freaking know if any other platforms die, we're on everything. So head to TikTok, head to freaking YouTube, head to Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got, we got. You know what I'm saying? So we're in there. All right, let's see what we got right freaking now. Speaking of what we got, K47 or KK? KK47, whole ransom. Whole ransom, not whole ransom. Hey, man, give me a bitch. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me see. Yeah, ah, yeah, ah. I've been Cause killing. Cause like Gordon, you already know I caused the ransom. Oh, you said the, uh, you know I'm yeah, alright, I got you. Got this gun up in my fucking mind, just broke like a moment. Like cop. So the bitch, I never snitch, I'm never right inside your spot. I might catch the niggas, but I just can't let the dots. I don't give a fuck, niggas think they're hard to make your plot. If these niggas think they bustin' bust, you niggas might get pop. Uh-oh, we, we gotta duck it up later. What the heck that you saying? You freaking rapping on this beat, but bro, I think that you playing a lot of time when you be freaking on the mic. I really think that you winning the food, but then had a bed and was laying on the floor. Maybe there's a lot of times where I wanna rhyme. I'm doing this.
these freaking shit all the freaking time when I be telling y'all freaking y'all need to stop it cause I'm at the time like half of y'all rappers should change the topic and I'm this shit like Gordon y'all need know I call <laughs> I was just trying to listen I wish I could do that with everything and shit like that I could just like take y'all shit out all of a sudden uh, honestly, this, it's the mix a little bit with this one. I like the beat. I like what energy could have been there and shit like that, man. Like, you, you can tell this this would have been dope if you had a dope energy and shit like that. So, for me, I need you to go in a little bit freaking more and, uh, you know, rip this shit. Feel, get in here like this is the best song you've ever freaking made. Like, Mystical's, you know, gonna feature on it or some shit with you right along with, like, Lil Wayne or, or some shit like that. Always, at all times, think about the artists you listen to yourself, right? And what they are going to hear at the end of the day. I was trying to get to the freaking dorky don't play that so I can actually officially hit it. Yeah, beat is suffocating the vocals. <laughs> For future reference, make sure that when you do send those, uh, you know what I'm saying, that again, you put it in the subject line of the email, not just the, the chat or whatnot. Reason why is because, again, if we end up having, you know, like five or six different people who are, in be or, you know, paid and free skips, right? Um, you know, we want to be able to properly put you in that lineup. Um, and you know what I'm saying? If you just do it in the freaking chat, that doesn't sort of like help where it would be at in the, in these sort of freaking lines. So make sure in the subject line of the email, when and if you win a free skip on the show, uh, that you put that. It would help if when you guys pay for skips, you do the same freaking thing, by the way. Uh, you know, just, just so we know what emails that you sent were, uh, you know, skips and stuff like that. We are in the skip line right now, and after this, we should be back in the free line. Assuming he doesn't send the other one, and or one of you guys don't send a skip or something like that. South African STL. Yeah, uh, 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 why? What's up now? Mr. Y-A-K. In your fresh, huh? In your fresh. Leo Queen by PG Brown featuring Sheldon. Beat done by me. And well, I'm when our bodies in sync. Let me get a piece. Let me find details. out what you do on a deep. Leo energy. But you know I'm your king now, darling. Rockin' to your beat. The way the thing was made not for the week. Bring that thing a little closer. Why you playing like I don't know? Passport ready, massages, manis, and patties. Sunsets over the ocean. Girl, you got the perfect potion. We got motion. Pour some Remy for her. It's a Dulce for me. Ain't no place I'd rather be. It's just you and me.
<laughs> um, first of all, big salute. <laughs> Y'all saw that spit that just flew out my mouth. Now, um, so straight up freaking R and B, uh, in between. As a matter of fact, didn't we have a record? Um, that that right there, that did that. This is hilarious, man. That right there, if like you wanted to do a record that was that that would have. I think paired even nice nicely with um you know Andrea's record earlier. Uh that would have been it, man, cuz that was almost in that same kind of freaking lane when it comes to like the production and stuff. Like literally, if you remember that that record from her from earlier, it had, you know, that kind of, you know, uh a beat and uh you know, a little bit little bit between that afro beat, slight reggaeton, slight R&B and, and stuff like that. Uh, both of them could be played in that back-to-back -back fashion and uh, both had great vocals, right? So, uh, you know, uh, big salute to, to you being able to get in there with this one. Two minutes and 20 seconds, honestly, man. You know what I'm saying? It didn't really feel like it was, you know, too freaking short. Uh, but as we did say earlier, you know, we, we kind of do request you to make a song with her. And you know, if she was looking to <laughs> do like a remix, you know, that would be that would be freaking nice. But honestly, I do want to hear something. Um straight up new between y'all. I feel like magic, 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 magic. You know what I'm saying? Can freaking happen. Uh mix fairly freaking decent. Uh, you know, melodies, harmonization, you know what I'm saying, proper for freaking sure. Definitely something that I could uh also freaking see like Chris Brown and um who else am I thinking of when I hear that? On a deep, Leo energy. Neo. But you know I'm your king now, darling. Rockin' to your beat. The way the thing was made not for the week. Bring that thing a little closer. Why you playing like... I'm trying to freaking still freaking think, but yeah. We drew out some linkers. How come you didn't go to the freaking... No, didn't you already, uh... Didn't you already um follow her on um on uh TikTok earlier? Cuz when you went over there, you were when you went over there like pretty much when we were talking about it or whatnot. Literally, you popped up right after we had played her song and then she was re responding and reacting to your song and stuff like that. So uh you know, at that point and then I saw you go over there, so I thought you, you guys followed each other and so like that. When you, were you there, STL? You know what I'm saying? Confirm and confirm or deny. Confirm or deny. Have you ever heard of chicken sandwiches live forever? No, I don't know what you mean. Bro, it's two in the morning, fell asleep and I'm yawning, waking up in the lawn, I'm seeing blue and orange. People follow me to school and copy me she until she I stopped him. and put my music on. I'm just All right, so she said she followed you and stuff like that. So it was Andrea May. Go back to your TikTok and you uh, see, I guess, I don't know if you can look at your followers like that or whatnot. But yeah, Andrea, yeah, you can. You can look at your notifications for who followed you or something like that. So go and, you know, link up, get her on the remix, and then do also another original song if you can, because I think those would def de definitely be freaking uh, dope. Give me a second. Why do I still have... You hit it to a T, shit is hard. Hold on, is it? Is my thing still there? Or were we talking about something else? Shout out to freaking Tippin. Hold on, let me, I'm checking. Oh yeah, man, Band Lab is gone, man. We need to have a few, we don't have like a sort of a button for the death of, I need a button for that. Every time uh, Band Lab, you know, say dies after the four hours, you know, I, cause I don't wanna. <laughs> That's not the right sort of sound, you know, for for freaking that or whatnot. You know what I mean? We need like a, you know, and it's not a celebration, so we can't. Yeah, I'm saying it, and you know, it, 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 it's <laughs> y'all know what it is, man. Uh, what are you saying? Shout out to freaking STL in the freaking building. Hold it down to one of them thing. Ina Bini Cheese sounds 100 every day, all day, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for uh, your modism. You said I smoked too much. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that was her. Yeah, that was her. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So rock out with her, man. We had 6.5, by the way, on that from uh, Ramsey, uh, smoking the bear. 
with a freaking eight uh slanging parts with three fire emojis uh you said this uh a lion at the end uh singer is good has a few breath control problems in the chorus but i like uh, his voice ramsey said um and he said yeah i still work with a man so d dilts shout out to action to, shout out to him you know what i'm saying rocking out of whatnot man he's uh been a producer who was a part of the community for uh, some time i haven't seen him in a freaking while though uh but you know to shout shout him out let him know that uh you know we miss him on the on the the channel and uh for him to come through send some beats uh, uh, uh again one day or whatnot now we are gonna go head back into the free freeline some of you didn't send another one no you did not so we're gonna go ahead and jump back in the free line and if anybody does want to send a skip oh, nonsense and sir mike this song's gonna burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your eyes birdman will talk to an actual bird like i'm yes, gonna choke through this beat like a termite don't make me put you or actual worms lie don't like my ocean Shit, I'm thinking you I'm trying to think of like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye view when I'm cool but her act like you surprise head to McDonald's I'm about to steal your fries trying to think of a proper uh solution or freaking something like that you know what I mean um and but don't worry we will find one Joey the gent we got you freaking right on up hey yo what's up man I've been chilling and eating bacon what's up man I've been chilling and eating bacon What's up, man? I've been chilling and eating bacon. People are like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Chilling and eating bacon? You kidding me, man? LOL Pokemon, man. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Pokemon in Indeed. Why is it acting like this one? No, see, why did it say it was blocked if it wasn't blocked? So you're just going to trick me, huh? You're just going to trick me? Please don't make me download it again. Cause I know your shenanigans. It's called chasing a ghost. Yo, listen, check it. Yo, every freaking night I'm chasing a ghost. Matter of fact, or I'm making some toast. People also freaking know that you and your girl are freaking cool, but you ain't even close. So you could have went hungry. You could have had a dad that was running from the tab, or you could have had some money. Maybe your book bag look cruddy. Maybe you got whooped if you looked that dad funny. Maybe the roaches fed on you while you slept. Maybe the whole thing was a mess. Maybe dope things on your steps. Maybe so. Maybe yo mama was a hoe Maybe everybody knows Maybe heavy When you're ready, it'll flow Now imagine every several months you go Get sent off to a whole new home In a new town Shit There's levels you don't know When the devil come, you better keep your head Cause it's those of us dwelling that they settle on and vex Don't get all sentimental, just know better There's no better success than growth It's so crazy, I'm slowly paving, I'm blessed With a statement from a baby that was left To the man I've become, I'm obsessed With raising my next yeah. how you raise give you hope or you cage then it don't Whoa. in ways in this game i don't know it's like i'm chasing a ghost who they praising the most these days is a hoax you can take it how you take it i always been the one to go make it it's a trip to see me leading my sons Real shit, just trying to lead them not to be what I was But at the same time, it's game time We beefing them up And I can see me and them But that scene can be tough Cause I couldn't even dream to have done To my seeds what I received Well, shit from the jump See, when you were water the state You exist where they haul you away Ain't nobody calling your name The hard part is when you really trying hard to behave And doing everything you thought would get you part of the praise But as the days go on, you see it start and they face and after so many homes you know it starts in them plays cause when you see that car crawl and park in the way you know that it's just another start of a day uh -huh. better hope that the home they caught you to stay That's don't right. hold you underwater if you talk at your plate so much darkness in the hearts of the fake so some homes just wanted a slave and nobody gives a damn 400 grand a buck for every child in the land with no home and no real chance how you raise give you hope hope or you caged and it don't In ways in this game, I don't know Like I'm chasing a ghost Who they praising the most? You kinda remind me of Method Man, just a little bit 
You can take it how you take it. I always been the one to go make it. By my lonesome. No matter what you do when you in the house, man, you better run if like this is a ghost that is after you. If you have a gun, you won't even be able to freaking hurt it with bullets. Like you could like, open the freaking door, but a bullet freaking make it freaking close. I don't know what the hell is happening, but there's just no way that I can talk to all the hoes if the freaking ghost was right there. There's a freaking time where I was trying to make this chick up, but then the ghost was like, yeah. Uh, let me freaking go over here. That's not even what I wanted to say either. Damn it. I like I like that. No, so, I wouldn't say that. I like that. Um production was freaking nice. Overall, you know, storytelling and stuff like that. You got in there, you definitely did your freaking damn thing. Overall performance was freaking nice. You know what I'm saying? Mix was kinda of freaking cool, you know what I'm saying? Nothing freaking too crazy. Uh but I appreciate uh what you freaking did in there. I would definitely love a video freaking to this. Uh, and you know, there's, there's, it, it's like in between, you know, intricate and something that, you know, I think pe people can sort of, you know, definitely approach, um, trying to think of like, who else I would hear on that with you, I don't know, too many things that I'd be hearing Cole and, and stuff like that on, but yeah, PG Brown said that was hard, eight from Miss Ramsey, I remember your mama. Uh, is a whole <laughs> yo. Um, let me see. Red, he said, Yes, Red Man likes. See, that's a good one right there. You know what I'm saying? Red Man would definitely kill that shit with him. Uh, maybe Killer Mike. Uh, Joy 3000 with a freaking nine. Uh, uh oh, he sent his skip number freaking two, Mr. PG Brown. So we're gonna get into some more auto beat vibes and or a potential beat. Who knows? Also, 8.6 from uh, Mr. STL. Um, what'd you say? Great boom bat beat with uh, fire lyrics. I'd add uh, to this my playlist for sure. Now, only problem with that is this was a freaking link. You could have had a dad that was running from the tab, or you could 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 money. You might be a book bag, look cruddy. Maybe you got whooped if you look that dad funny. Maybe the roach is fed on you while you slept. Maybe the whole thing was a mess. Maybe dope things on your steps. Maybe yo mama was a hoe. Maybe everybody knows. Maybe heavy. When you're ready, it'll flow. Now we're mad. Maybe yo mama was a hoe. Maybe yo mama, maybe yo mama. Maybe yo mama. Excuse me, mister. Do you like eating bacon with cheese freshly squeezed out of the bosom? Bro, you ask me that every freaking day. Bro, it's two in the morning, fell asleep and I'm yawning, waking up on the lawn, I'm seeing blue and orange. People follow me to school and copy me until I stopped and put my music on. I'm just crawling like a zombie, gnawing on a Nazi, probably in his uniform. Born identity, homie, you've been worn. My brain is sore like a unicorn. That man sure has cancer, ask answers, get questions, big weapons, blast master, quick faster, mix master, zigzags in a big bag for the kickback. Let me hit that sir, switch back in the Chris Daffer. Listen, man, there is no way in hell that you're slower than I am. I will donate a snail. This is why we're here, Meg. You're going to jail. Peter Griffin, hashtag, where's Steve Carell? By the way. The ironic thing about that verse right freaking there, right, is at the time I wrote that song, all right, and then in that verse, I'm like, you know, Black Panther, you know, said Black Panther, that man sure has cancers, acts answers, get questions, big weapons, you know what I'm saying? I was essentially, honestly, it was my mind jumping into random points or whatnot, right? So I'm like, Black Panther, really just thinking about freaking Black Panther. And then when I got to the freaking cancer part, I was honestly thinking about breaking uh, Walter White from Breaking Bad or whatnot. So if you if you watch sort of like the cutaway for freaking that in there, that's why you see Walter White, right? However, ironically, Chadwick Boseman, who plays Black Panther, ended up actually having, you know what I'm saying, cancer. Uh, and so now when I hear that verse, I'm like, man, I almost like foretold what was 
a thing that was that we had no idea Black about. Panther, lap dancer, that man sure has cancer. Ask answers, get questions, big weapons, blast master, quick faster, mix master, zigzags in a big bag for the kickback. Let me hit that, that sir. Switch back in the Chris Daffer. All right, PG Brown fireworks. This is the music video. If you like it, take a dump. I don't know what I don't ask. Just enjoy it and share it. Go like it. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit this. I can see what you wanna do inside your eyes. I, I. I can feel your body move to the grind of mine. My, my. All I'm really trying to see is inside your mind. freaking was that it was that video old or freaking new hold on let me go back to the just to freaking see Jeez, man how you never freaking send that freaking all right well we'll talk about freaking that essentially this is a dope song it is a song he has sent you know what i'm saying a few times to the freaking show done really well on the freaking show in terms of you know what i'm saying how it freaking sounds right you know what i'm saying real r&b record voice amazing on you know what i'm saying there melody's freaking really good he has the freaking talent to be able to like really freaking sing and not really need effects to sort of like show that uh like like quite literally the way that i usually freaking tell you guys you know to to really try to make your record is like look you have to be able to even just perform your song as an acapella and sound good. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, you freaking know if someone cannot sing at all, what do they freaking sound like when they're doing an acapella, right? You've, you've gotten your taste of that. Island Boys. Island Boys. And the first thing that everybody saw for them when they was in the pool with their crazy ass freaking hair, 
and just like I'm the island boy, I'm the island boy. Like nobody knew what the fuck then, what the melody was and the, it was like what the song was, like nothing like that. It was, but they just knew what the fuck. I'm, what am I watching right now? What is happening? Why? <laughs> Why am I watching this? You know what I mean? And then you just, you just, you know, it, it, it was one of those moments in just sort of like you know rap history where you just like. This is getting ridiculous, man. Like, it should not be... It, we, we should not be at a point where we have to do something crazy with the way we freaking look to make people pay attention, you know, to, you know, our freaking songs. And even with the song, like, why... All right, why isn't everyone still in that, like, yo, you're not, you're not getting listened to. You ain't getting heard unless there's actual talent behind the songs that we freaking hear, right? And so, again, it was always, you know, just funny to freaking see that, but... Um, you know, with PG, I hear the freaking talent. Um, you know, video is is good quality and stuff like that. Glad you actually freaking did this. And honestly, as someone who's heard the song kind of like several times, I'm curious on why you never sent, sent the video until like right freaking now. Um, you know, but yeah, this this is a good one. It feels like a freaking hit. Even though, like, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. Even though this is three years old, I would still promote this today. So I'm glad that's what you just did right now you know what i'm saying put it in and still are are letting people freaking hear what you freaking have um you know because there are going to be people who don't know you exist just yet until they do right until we hit that threshold of like all right now certain you know you go you go through a point where you are hitting people up to be on you know talk shows platforms podcasts different things like that and then once you hit once you've hit that point where you know okay i'm getting somewhere they will be hitting you up they're gonna be like hey we need who's that we had it he he performed over there on jay letterman or whatever you know what i'm saying just like what whatever and then you know we need him to come over here and, and do that and and you know perform that song i feel like our crowd will, will rock with him and stuff so you want people to get in there and um you know essentially freaking love that i don't care if it's three years freaking out you know, re-release it, uh, do whatever you got to freaking do, uh, get get a, get get a remix with a Vaunt and, you know what I'm saying, or Mariah Carey or, or Rihanna or something, I don't know. You say, you say, right, and we've been rocking, you know what I'm saying, for a while now, you know what I'm saying, out the air with a freaking seat to go, hell yeah, man, hell yeah. Second part, uh, as I said, you know what I'm saying, we do now, bro, you know what I'm saying, you ready for a Grammy? Ah, shit. Uh, let me see, sorry, you know what I'm saying, never uh, freaking uh, thought to. I can do in a cappella and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, there are gonna be those times where quite literally you can have anybody playing the guitar and then if you can like literally just sing with your own vocals and you know impress the crowd that way. Same thing at for rappers, man. Like you just wanna be able to do your stuff and feel dope about it as you're freaking saying it. Not just you. The listeners should still feel dope as well. Beat or not. Um, it's also one of the reasons why I usually sort of, you know, go back and forth between the, you know, the, the artists who tend to punch in a lot and cut themselves off. I'm um, like, you make it harder for you to like perform those kind of things all the way through. If you don't have a backing track or like a hype man freaking there to sort of say those extra freaking parts. Um, so always make sure you write your stuff in a way where that is not the case. You're not necessarily, um, you know, uh, 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 cutting yourself off, right? And 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 the other thing is, if you're gonna cut yourself off, if you're gonna write in that way, let the thing that cut that cuts the other ver the uh, the word off or the line be another artist like your homie bring your homie on there do a collab go back and forth and every time you know what i'm saying if i'm saying a freaking line and then if before that line ends another one is coming in which is usually again it's it's hard for you to manually do that shit we can't like throw our voice outside of our voice and you know what i'm saying uh anyways let's go ahead and go back in to the freaking line as we scadabulate in the lineup. Like I said, Dorka, you don't do interviews, you know what I'm saying, on Zoom. I don't freaking show what art. So I do it's on, I do it on Skype now and stuff. Zoom I used to freaking do, but Skype is the uh go to and I believe I you I'm able to have it so you guys can actually hear the audio and all that freaking good stuff from your end and all that stuff. Alright, we got slanging parts up next. 
Let's go ahead and see what you got. You, I think, sent a beat as well. So we are in Producer Central. Honestly, anytime we played a beat, I think I was supposed to go to the Producers Arcade, which I completely forgot about. Hold on. Let me find and see if I still have Producers Arcade in here. Honestly, I need the intro for that freaking so it feels a lot freaking cooler and sure of that. Nothing too crazy. It's, it's just me here and this little freaking shit. Playing in parts. Let's see what this is. Yeah, there. So I can flow A lot of people come to the show But they do not know Like what the hell even happening And where am I at A lot of times I don't even know if I can rap I fall above a building And then I go splat And I don't even know If the hell I just need to get my whole damn freaking leg If my toes black People even flow away Try to freaking figure out Ways that they can go and get a bigger house I can freaking put something all into the flow And then I'll dig it out P3. That's why. So, but he's on YouTube right now. He also said I'm everywhere. 
Sling imparts all one word. At least from what I see on the on the YouTube side and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, slinging, uh, you know what I'm saying? Again, uh, a, a slang and then uh, I in, uh, and then uh, parts with a Z and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just so you can uh, get there. But yeah, head to my YouTube, that dorky review show if you want to link up with them and, and start that. In terms of like the production, I like the sort of abstract, you know, free-formed feel of this like it doesn't feel like just some you know let me again not like a loop or, or or you know just something basic or whatnot it literally felt like okay each person is going in they're just playing their do like we're warming up right we're warming up as we get ready for the official song that we're about to, you know, play. Lead singer is not, you know what I'm saying, doing anything. They're just letting the band do what they got to do. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? And you're hearing everybody, you know, sort of like riffed in there. Drummer starts it off, right? Uh, and then as things start going in, you know, you you hear the beat building and just sort of having this very abstract sort of like uh, feel or whatnot. That is what allows, you know, it, it's definitely perfect for, you know, even like the sort of freestyle aspect uh maybe not so much myself at first or not i think it was a little bit fast for freaking my personal freaking taste it was a little bit slower i might have sort of like felt a little bit better in that in that right but i do see a you know what i'm saying a, a nas cole you know what i'm saying kendrick uh uh you know what I'm saying Th different things like that again there's always a lot of freaking nodes we got 15k likes over there on the tiktok side youtube you guys are falling off what are you doing what are you doing doing twitch you falling off what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing tiktok i mean twitter you falling off what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing facebook you falling off what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing man you know what i'm saying get it up <laughs> get it up nah it's not even fair it's not even fair look the crap the thing is is about like every other platform has a different sort of like setup when it comes to sort of like likes or whatnot. They 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 sort of at least from what I what I've seen, they look at they look at it like one like per individual on the the channel or whatnot. So if you come in, like I don't know if you can come into the show, hit the like button on the uh the stream on, on the YouTube side and then leave for five minutes come back and then still have the ability to freaking like it again like will the like still be there or can you sort of like do it again but nobody wants to do that either everybody wants to stay on the show not have to freaking leave to come back to then hit the like while tiktok every single time you tap the freaking screen and hit that like it sort of adds to the you know overall uh collection of sort of freaking likes and then they uh freaking count that uh, you know, and it just lets you know how much, you know, one is liking whatever is happening on the stream. If they like a freaking song that's playing, you know what I'm saying? People usually show that freaking love like that. Uh, if they like what is being said and, and talked about, you know, same O, oh, same O. Oh. Now, shall we go back in the line as we are speaking? Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. Oh, no. And Sir Mike, this song's gonna burn like some hot sauce from hot ones in your eyes. Birdman will talk to an actual bird like I'm gonna chew through this beat like a termite. Don't make me put you or actual worms lie. Don't like my old shit, I'm thinking you were high. Like me when I'm looking down at a bird's eye view when I'm cool, but her act like you surprised. Head to McDonald's, I'm about to steal your fries. Standing outside. I just need a, a mask, a mask on my face. I need a back up my face. Uh, let me see. Honey's honey 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 with issues, man. Let's see what we can got right here. Come on now. Come on now. Oh man, that was one of those. <laughs> That's a bit, yeah.
fights and get along. If I have to figure it out, uh, we got to throw it on play that figure now here, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? But I'll try to explain. Honestly, I don't feel like it's a one out of ten. I don't feel like it's all that. Really garbage. Speak here's the thing, right? I you okay? You know me. A I don't like. I don't like. Uh, so I like the energy, but I think there has to be a switch up. I don't like repetitiveness and stuff like that. Initially, the flow and just sort of like how you rap. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of keeps going freaking like that or whatnot, which is not impressive, right? That doesn't really get people as into a record. You know what I'm saying? Yes, there's some conviction there. The beat is freaking hidden hard. It's like a, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a certain energy that's electric in there. But the other thing is, like, outside of freaking choruses, I don't really like a lot of layers when it comes to the verses. I want you guys to be able to stand on your own. And again, the the choruses should be one way, right? Which is fine with the way that you're sort of like, and then on the verses, that's where you got to flip it up. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, you know what I'm saying? You got to flip it, switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Rap a little bit faster you know what i'm saying uh uh just figure out how you can like really flow and and navigate through through the beat freaking like that so you can sort of you know keep that listener engaged uh, in a way where they they want to they want to not only listen to the freaking song but go through the record uh and learn it uh and stuff like that when it's repetitive to me to learn a song is a chore when it's a little bit more, you know, structured, uh, and it feels like the artist actually freaking cares. They don't want to be, too, you know, too simple and stuff like that. Again, it's too easy for the artist to, you know, just again, we'll, we'll just say like, uh, uh, it, it's the same thing as as the ABCs or whatnot, really. Um, you know, like we we know we almost know where you're gonna go before you freaking say it to a certain extent. Um, and again, it doesn't it doesn't become something that's fun to sort of like uh, do as a record. That's all I can really freaking think about, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, it wasn't as bad where I needed. I wanted to hit that door. You don't play that though. We did have <laughs> SDL. All right, freaking over there. If you guys also freaking agree on the um, uh, well, Joy was like a freaking. It's okay. It's like a freaking seven. You know what I'm saying? Staying in parts was just laughing. Uh, and you know what I'm saying though, but like, yeah, like, listen, I will let you know, you know, okay, so I remember when this came to the show first. I was like, what the frick? And you know, and the funny thing was this guy had sent like five different freaking emails uh, with different beats with that thing on it. You know what I'm saying? It was like faster, slower, you know what I'm saying? Trap, the hip hop beat is like, and it just had that shit on it. And it was a, definitely a troll kind of freaking record or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And that definitely, you know, it was, after a while it was, you know, funny and shit like that. Then then annoying, of course. Um, but, you know, like, it, it, there are always going to be worse freaking records and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then there are those gems that somehow happen to be in between. What the hell was that? Oh, hell no. Nah. But also, I kind of like it. What the hell was that? Bitch, I'm out here and this is my amazing grail. I can fill up water in my amazing pail. I will tell you this awesome story. It is my amazing tale. I will fail awesomely. This is my amazing fail. Call that an epic fail. I pull up to this slow ass animal. It's the epic snail. I pull up to this other animal. It's the epic quail. I pull up to this awesome sea mammal and it's the epic whale. There's an awesome guy here, he's an epic male. I might send that awesome guy to epic jail. Awesome blind people read epic braille. I might
might slash your throat open with a blade. Pull up to your bitch, she's listening to Blade. Pull up to your bitch with the money that I made. This is my amazing grail. Music on. I'm just crawling like a zombie, knowing I'm a Nazi, probably in his uniform. Born identity, homie, you've been warned. My brain is so like a unicorn. I said I'm losing brain cells here. Yo, man. Listen, somehow that shit was like, what the hell? But then, like, soothing and shit. Peaceful. Peaceful record, man. Cardi. Good luck, man. Where the fuck you niggas at? I was down on my dick. Two block work, yeah. When I had a flip, had your greasy nigga playing with the chicken. Yeah, we're in the, yeah, we're in the free line right day. now. Yeah, how about we just gon' listen? Seven six twos, yeah, hit him like a hit shit. Bitch play with my meat, sound like a stick shit. Remember days I was broke, I just had a kick shit. Block work, nigga. Brothers and sisters of Dorkerville, USA. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, um, you know, okay, so I don't know the type of record that you freaking try to make or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? In terms of the genre and the type of freaking song, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that it's necessarily freaking bad, you know what I'm saying? It's not also that it's freaking good either. None of those things are freaking a thing, right? Um, however, I'm not impressed either. Like, it just is there. What you're saying is not making me want to say what you say. Right. And I feel like those are often the best songs. Right. When we're hearing a freaking artist, you know, as we're hearing the song, as everything is sort of going through its motions, are we getting bored with what we're, we're freaking hearing? Uh, do we like what we what we're hearing enough to like if we've heard it, you know, whether it's in a, uh, you know, a repetitive state of like, you know, just continue to hear the song, you know, every day on the radio. Like, are we are we going to say the words and shit like that and and you know just like it's a song out there in the zeitgeist or whatnot you know what i mean um or are we going to ignore it i'm sure every one of you have one of those songs from an artist out there you know even within the uh the industry and so like that that again you did you hear but you don't really pay attention to but it's also not necessarily freaking too hard to get yet also it is i mean i don't freaking know that one again i just needed a lot of freaking more uh you know what I'm saying from that you know i do always invite you to try uh, again do a little bit freaking better sometimes you guys will freestyle your records in that case man do not freestyle your records please sit down and write to anything that you are going to freaking do you will always make the best record i can kid you freaking not but it depends on the actual work that you want to freaking do don't rush yourself through a record like you know what i'm saying a lot of you guys think that because like if you get writer's block to something then it means that you need to freestyle to the record that is not freaking true at all literally keep going through different beats until you hit something that like makes you literally have that stank face make you want to sit down uh, and write some of the best stuff that you possibly freaking can. And again, write to every record with the idea that your favorite artist, your future wife or your ex-girlfriend, your freaking, you know, that crush, that whatever, all the people that you look up to will eventually hear 
one or all of your records in some freaking way, whether or not they sort of, you know, listen to them in a bad way, a good way, listen to it for a freaking a second and immediately freaking skip to a whole nother freaking artist or whatever. It's always going to depend on your performance alone. All right. Just freaking know that. Keep chatting by the shit. It's a lot of Nigga, my bitch. Told her to never be talking that shit. Cause the other week you wobble on my dick. Rocking my heat, Danny got a big. Fuck up his mind, niggas ain't slaves. Take away pride, make you forget. Open my eyes, I'm all on race. Knocked up on my side. This is Trino. Ass on it, some shit. Never go gas. I got his besides your trash. Talking that shit. Now you got a gas. Turn me to shit. Digging on my past. I never glitch. Cause my shit still. I'm on the top. I've been real. Fake rappers weak. What she can't feel. I can back a heat. I can lane roll. And I back a beat. Like bitch fuck. Two weeks ago, I got my dick stuck. What you need me for? If you paint high. On 17. And I can't stop, keep testing me, you gon' fail Cause I get angry, but you see you niggas above me I never chose a bitch, cause none of them love me Laying down, tipping me mama's Shout out to the future and turn to a fuck, nigga It's been a hot minute, pussy cold stuff with you I put the top in it, I never come with you I'm going hard on it, I got the love for you, nigga I never rap for the trenches So you and mine, I'ma rap for your bitches This not a remix, I'm more than a stick Shut up the phoenix, I'm hot as a penny I drop a heat and this world is related I put my DNA, that's what you stand now Tell her how baby, I'm not playing Think of love, so fire and I'm thankful It's a detour, this shit for I'm grateful I got a foot for a nigga you born I put a horn and never be foreign That's how I go where the pedal was torn I got some knowledge, I'm cracking the full shit, yeah You get hoes, but you be catching diseases I gotta go and play that in the weekend This shit is hard, I'ma knock you see Since so you go harder, what's some nigga be? Nah, don't be confused, cause I'm doing mine It's a mirror in the front of me, and I know I'm fine When nigga rock covers to the original right They had his first song, but wasn't hopped on They put on me, turning all his shit off It ain't shit, nigga, I'm on the beat He sit right here with his bitch, she telling my lines Right from the seat, I'm good, I'm Gucci Keeps on the beat, not hood, I'm pushing Keeps to the street, what's good, I'm spitting this real on G, been good, I knew it's treat AP, yeah, after points It's up on me, I'm hard, I know, can't fuck with me I'm sorry, I know there's love for me No love for you, I fuck the beat Try to make me gangsta, I don't wanna be street from perception was harder than me, you learned this lesson I'm caught a three-hand Wayne, but I used to be Sorry, nigga, I'm pushing P I go so hard, don't fall asleep Trino, yeah, hot Alright, 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 alright Listen, had to freaking keep that freaking right Like, listen, I'm, we, gonna, we gonna talk about our, our, our critiques Uh, I thought the uh, outside of the fact that it sounded written like you were reading it though, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, how you were rapping was freaking dope, but you need to actually, you know, again, more feeling, more confidence and stuff like that, but everything that you freaking said on it was was dope you know what i'm saying and uh you know i'd love to hear that with you know more freaking energy confidence you know what i'm saying good mix in there uh you know what i'm saying like what how you did it freaking now it just feels like you know it feels ever so slightly like you were you know kind of bored or whatnot or just sit standing there looking down trying to make sure you get you know what i'm saying all the freaking things i appreciate you know you not you know again punching in every single where in the freaking record uh you know you know, not not every place but um yeah man uh just learn i mean look you can always sort of do your records like this and then take some time to actually listen to it over and over so you learn it to the point where you can perform it without the actual record there and just the beat uh, and then actually re-perform it and stuff like that anytime that you can if you know that you can give a better performance on the record you know, definitely freaking do that because you'll you'll definitely stand out um, with whatever it is and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The beat was freaking dope. Um, so yeah, you're freaking much you're gonna have in there. Let's go ahead and continue. We got Gamma Kaz. Gamma is it Gamma Kazi? Gamma Ka Gamma Ka Gamma Kazi Gamma Kazi. Gamma Kazi. Everybody know that I'm saying probably. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Look at 
about to be a big, it's 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 about
make it right out of my sleep. She stay fucking with people better than me. Who really just help me am I not enough? I thought I was locked in, thought it was tough. See that I'm tripping, so I leave it alone. Born you would just fuck with a smoke off the dome. But I'm killing myself, is that what you want? If that's what you want, I'ma leave you alone. Can't take all this damage, it's all on my own. Yeah, praying on my set of red flags, I was seeing. Thought it was for some. You thinking she fucking with people that's better than me? I wish it was me, but it was a whole team. I'm thinking that's not, but it was just abuse. You know, my mind is all shattered, like, are you a mule? She thought she was big. Baby, you play like a fool. Are you misburning? They feel like disease. Feel like you teasing my mind with these words. My force shut up. I feel like I'm starting to stay feeling like he's like a little bit of 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 Saying. Waiting for somebody to pull us out of the freaking uh, the shlump, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now listen, I don't want to get you wrong, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of a vibe there, but a lot going on in certain freaking places, and of course, repetitive or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? No secret on the freaking show. Listen, if you send something in, uh, at all repetitive. I am always going to feel a certain freaking way about it or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Quite literally, what I do with the freaking show uh, is if we're in the freaking free line, um, you know, if I if I feel like if I was listening to it on Spotify or Pandora Radio or whatever, whatever way that we're listening to music at any given moment, if I feel like I would change the station or you know anything like freaking that you know what i'm saying i pretty much i'm gonna freaking hit that button or whatnot but there are times when again you know and it's the same thing if i was hearing the song in a movie or something like that and then and i start to wonder man why did they choose that you know what i'm saying because like there needs to be you know a little bit more in here and stuff like that right i try to think about you guys uh with industry artists as you know collabs and stuff like that on your songs and, and stuff like that uh, you know, there mel their melodies in here, you know, it sort of like vibes with a certain, you know, type of freaking style and stuff like that. It's not not nothing I haven't freaking heard. But that also is a little bit of a problem and stuff like that, right? If if people are hearing you and then they're also hearing, you know, XXX or, you know, Trippy Red or freaking something like that, there is there's still this essence of originality that needs to happen so that, you know, we hear you. And then again, even with the beats. You know, we need to get back to that freaking place where like like the reason why there is a certain type beat where you insert a certain artist in there is because they as an artist were original at least a little bit to the point where they had a certain different type of production that people are able to go insert their artist name type beat, right? So you guys always need to make sure that you start thinking about, okay, what's the insert my artist name type beat? What does that sound like? As opposed to, you know what? Let me let me download a, you know, J. Cole type beat, Drake type beat, uh, Future type beat, uh, you know, that, whoever. Insert your freaking artist name freaking here. Stop downloading their beats and try to figure out what can your production be? What producer can you work with to create sort of like a new sound? that uh really does sound you know what i'm saying pretty freaking good and structured and you know what i'm saying stuff like freaking that eventually you guys will freaking find it and again once again no hate no hate no hate what so freaking ever or whatnot i want to always give you the freaking you know what i'm saying truth so that like again if i do love something from you guys you know it you know for a fact that it is real um and i will always show it that freaking love and stuff like that you know by how i freaking talk about freaking things uh, and I always give you guys that, that opportunity to try uh, freaking again, man. Every single day. All right. Next up, Jason Tena. Eyes on me. I got my eyes on me. I'm looking around. I know the I want to. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want to. Uh, keep your eyes on me. What up, Empress? Go down south if you want it. We'll be fucking till the morning. No, they got much of my pera. Tell her that it come on, get us. Go down south if you want it. We'll be fucking till the morning. No, they got much of my pera. Tell her that it come on, get us. Girl, you know I want to. No panty 
short dress she came through So I guess it's my move Since she want me, she can't lie She on top of me, she want right I'ma kill a pussy, I'ma make the news Oh na 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 Pick her interest so I know I can't lose She gon' get tired from the night till the morning I know what she want tonight Baby hold them high, don't let them go Since she want me, won't let me go I'm in real deep, I'm about to blow Mami, tu sabes te lo pondré Oh na 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 Keep your eyes on me for a moment Lo tengo todo que tu quieres Slide on me if you want it Todo lo que prefieres Go down south if you want it We be fucking till the morning No diga mucho mami, pera Te lo daré como Turn it up a little bit, shit, cause it was Dripping from the side, I'm trying to dive into something, uh Nice I'm the igniter Move the body like it's on fire Ain't no time limit when I'm in it Kill a pussy, raise the crime rate I'm satisfied, crime pays Hope you got insurance, all state I'm trying to give it to you, sideways uh. Shit, I'm a freak, baby, can't you tell? I guess I turn you on just by the way I smell If I fuck you now, but ain't no kiss and tell Yeah, you got your wish, but ain't no wishing well uh. Work your body, move it real slow Yeah, that's the type of shit I feel for Yeah, bend it over on the angle Yeah, then go low and touch your ankles uh. Keep your eyes on me for a moment Lo tengo todo que tu quieres Slide on me Listen, you never can go wrong uh, with a, uh, you know, Spanish guitar kind of freaking, you know, uh, themed freaking record or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And of course, this falls even more in line with, you know, a few records that we've had today from both. P.G. Brown, you know, and Andrea, of course, man, you know what I'm saying? All three, I think, would have, you know, gone into, you know, uh, a sort of nice little uh, 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 setup if they were performing at a venue and, you know, doing something for the freaking night that was not just simply a competition. Um, You know, uh, I had some decent freaking singing, uh, you know what I'm saying, within there and even had, you know, some rapping and stuff, you know, both in... Uh, both things with different, you know, uh, languages and uh, stuff in freaking English or whatnot. So, you know, we have we have a little something for everybody, depending on, you know what I'm saying, what you are listening to. Uh, of course, um, uh, you know, the production, uh, you know, almost feels like Dog Child, um, who I believe did um, the, like the record, that first record from... Um, like he did some B2K records. He did, uh, I think the R. Kelly and uh, Jay Z and shit like that. Like again, the ones that that have that you know, his fantasy guitar, but it's like a little bit like you could rap and sort of like sing to it kind of thing. You know what I mean? And all of that, my brother. All right, next up, next up, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what what she the shit us, man. Let's see what. what Let's see what we see. Uh, see that. Hold on, let me go ahead and uh, put the X on some of these things. Oh yeah, let me freaking stop that for freaking now, man. Good looking. All right, so let's go, man. Yeah. Uh, right into some crazy shit. Really garbage. Speak what's on my mind, cause I'm actually honest. You feel this in your eyes. 
<laughs> Do I even have to say anything? Uh, listen. Um, it's the performance and the mix. That's it. I'm just gonna freaking just leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? A lot going on there. If you listen to that sort of, uh, you know, tremendous amount of freaking 808s that you just have freaking all over. You know what I'm saying? 808s aren't freaking bad. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, uh, we 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 love them. But when it comes to records, you do not simply turn them all the way up and 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 crank them to make them louder that is not how mixing freaking works uh there is a right and a wrong way to sort of you know really make things freaking come out and be able to be heard you know across the board on different devices you got to figure that out of a freaking course and or get your stuff mixed and mastered uh by somebody else uh and you know what i'm saying actually put some time and money into that uh but it it is it just kind of felt like there was a lot too much going on you know what i'm saying all in the span of freaking uh you know what i'm saying seconds or whatnot you know what i'm saying so uh you know uh, me apologies uh but i do believe that uh you can do better you know what i'm saying matter of fact i give you 10 more seconds <laughs> Like, what did you even say? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's basically... We should, be, ne we should never... We should never have to pull into question what you're saying on a record. You know what I mean? It's the one thing that we have as artists is that things come out of our mouth and people need to hear them, right? So, uh, good luck. We got tipping to timers. I mean, dipping through time. With type of time. We might just do the give up, wait, and a little bit, figure it out. No. Are we supposed to be listening to this part? Like, I don't need you to tell me I'm crazy. I jumped on the track like a runaway train. I'm a punch, punch, full low kick, strong punch, crippling posture. Okay, well, I can barely hear what you're saying as well, thanks to the effects and the mix as well. Let me just see if that's just the intro. Let me see if that's just the intro. A lot of freaking times I just wanna freaking be not doing that show and playing Nintendo site. I don't know what they had to do, but a lot of freaking people know that they freaking be sound. They don't write. I'm just a fucking love. I think I'm gonna fight. They freaking die. Get the knife when I'm getting the knife. I'm freaking trying to figure out. Freaking dip in the pack. Get 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 the pack. I know there was an open verse in there. Um, but listen, man. Here's the freaking thing, my brother. My brother and sister. Oh, don't hit me. You ain't. Hey. Uh, I do feel like, uh, why would you add the effect to your voice and stuff like that? Sometimes it's, it's, you know, cool depending on where you freaking add it. I think it's best to use in choruses or anything, but that mix, like, you're so far away. You know what I mean? You can still barely freaking hear you, not just because of the effect, but because of the, you know, the, the, you just not doing the, the mix right and stuff like that. Having you, you know, be right up freaking front, uh, still needs to be crisp, clear, and, you know, uh, leveled freaking properly and so like that. Listen, I'm just gonna freaking uh, do the giveaway probably head out for the freaking night and as you know freaking head out um, or head pop back up tomorrow and all that good stuff or whatnot. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah, buddy. So we will uh, be able to figure that. So if you're in the building right freaking now, man, tap in. Uh, we'll gear up to be able to do the giveaway freaking right now, real quick, and then uh, freaking head out and stuff like that. You must be on the YouTube side if you want to enter, though, and we will be starting in about thirty. Sick. I think I've taken too many drugs and I'm in another universe and I was trying to get buzzed in a studio and do a verse But now I'm seeing an image of Coolio on Jupiter of 
I was in the hospital, I probably want to do the nurse. Out of all 80s movies, I'm watching Ferris Bueller first. I'll walk right up to a bully and be like, homie, do your worst. If you don't got any gas, a freaking Razor scooter works. This one ain't for the kitties, so Super Steve, you can I curse. really want to grow up, because I don't want to go down. Yeah. Someday I'm going to blow up. They love it how my flow sounds. Yeah. You hate on me, but so what? I know you want to throw down, yeah. but I just want to throw up. Someone give me a bow now. Yeah. I just want to be a doodle chillin', but I'm always dealing with the madness. Yeah. I just want to be up on the beach up in the white chillin' with a bad bitch. Yeah. I just want to live up in the city where they hear me and they go bananas. Yeah. I just want to hear the water and every little girl is dealing with a sadness. Yeah. I wasn't nice in class. I would always like to laugh and always get in trouble from my, my teachers because I'm writing rap. Bad. Vanilla ice was trash. I'm never on a righteous path. Nope. I throw a diaper at my wife and then get sliced in half. I, um... Chilino already dork squatted. <laughs> so I got you, man. Um, what was I going to say? We, you're funny, man. Like yesterday, I think when we did the, I think we did a giveaway freaking yesterday. And then you were like, don't put me on the wheel. And she went that. Now you're here. Here you go. Uh, and listen, you know, ironically, you know, who knows? You might be the only fun on the field. You know what I'm saying? We will see. Matter of fact, I'm gonna already hit the freaking countdown, man. If you're trying to freaking get on this wheel right now, you must hashtag Dork Squad on the or in the chat. You must hashtag Dork Squad in the chat. Hashtag freaking Dork Squad in the chat. There's a lot of freaking people who will try to put shit up in the rap. People always thinking, figure out all the ways that they can blaze and always figure out ways to get up in the back and the sack and the thinner sack and the sack and the bin and the the bin and 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 the Yesterday you said, don't put me on the wheel. Don't put me on the wheel and shit. I was like, okay, I, I guess, man. You just really want to chill and shit? It's the kind of freaking shit I be having to deal with, but freaking a lot of people always like, you on that silly stuff. So, Mr. Chil I need a 1 to 10 from you, Chilino. I need a 1 to 10 from Chilino. I need a 1 to 10 and I see you. I need a 1 to pin and 1 to figure pin and a 1 to pin and 1 to figure 10. So, I can spin this wheel. And then, as they say. You said remix me not never wait what four one two three four bam good luck sir burn rubber da -da 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 -da. Everyone is trying to see what's happening. Da -da 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 -da. Excuse me, mister. Listen, if you keep saying excuse me, mister. But I need to make sure that I'm saying excuse me, mister, every day. Beat this count, which would make it only $50. Too. Oh, no, you know what? I always, I always go, I always reverse it. So that it would be fit because I only really charge 60 for beats or whatnot. And so I do $60 off. No, $50 off. I mean, so it would be $10 for a beat uh, if you wanted one from me. Um, however, it also comes with a free skip. But also, if you wanted a to 
trade it for a uh, $50 off a feature kind of thing, I could uh, credit it for that too. But you guys know the feature um, price is different than the beat price, but it would bring it still down to, you know what I'm saying? Something. Depends on what you would want to do. But yeah, it comes with a free skip and it's a beat discount. $10 freaking beat kind of freaking thing or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Now, even if you produce, which of course you do, right? Uh, we could also, you know, collab on production when you get when you get those and want to use it, right? Uh, or you could produce something, I could hop on it, you know what I'm saying? Again, in terms of that sort of feature kind of freaking thing. And, uh, uh, vice versa, goodbye. It's two in the morning, fell asleep and I'm yawning Waking up on the lawn, I'm seeing blue and orange People follow me to school and copy me until I stopped and put my music on I'm just crawling like a zombie, gnawing on a Nazi Probably in his uniform Born identity, homie, you've been warned My brain is so... And, uh, or you can, or you can respin, you know what I'm saying? Try your hand at a different freaking prize or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? You got, you get, you get one free... A potential, you know, what I'm saying free spin, but all prizes are final on that uh, respin figure wheel and stuff like that. Depends, it is of course up to you. It is up to you what you want to do, what you want to do, because you're really cool. And then your mom is there in your underwear. Excuse me, can you? All right, man. Um, I suppose I'll head out and uh, have a good night. Uh, okay, I'm going to now press a button. Uh, the button wouldn't take me to another.